waiting for the bus. Oh, yeah. Now can you keep talking about yeah. like shit about my fucking kick? And you annoying me and aggravating me. On your wrist, a plain giant. Standing at the bus stop, sucking on a lollipop. Once she gets pumping, it's hard to make the hottie stop. Hottie stop, stop, stop. You ready? All right, now. <laughs> this will be a crazy ride. I'm warning you now. The following video is broadcasting live, and thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. What up and welcome back. What is going on, everybody? Sorry we're late, okay? If you already know what's good for you, okay? <clears throat> you want to make sure you don't ever lose contact with me. And y'all know YouTube deleted my channel once before. I was at 102,000 subscribers and bitch, yes, I cried, okay? So make sure you subscribe to the backup channel because that's where we were pre-gaming, doing a little bit of a pre-show, just talking, okay? It's Friday, let's let the... Who let the girls out? Okay, so the girls are out, right? Um, make sure you subscribe to the backup channel because that's where we were for like 40 minutes before we went live today. Um, and it's it's more of a laid back vibe over there. I'm still unsure of exactly what I'm going to do and how I'm going to differentiate the two channels. All I know is I want that channel to be a bit more laid back so that I can do more impromptu things over there, Okay. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Come on in. Hit the like button because it's free. If you don't want to hit the like button, baby, send three, four, five dollars on Cash App. Okay? So you, you, you got options. You can support for free or you can pay your money. Either way, you're going to have to give me something. And give me a like before I get you off this bus. I'm picking y'all up from work. I'm on here early. Are y'all proud of me? Y'all know I'm always coming on late? Y'all know I'm always coming on here late. Last night, I ain't go live till nearly 11 o'clock. I can't hang no more. I'm an old lady and I accept it. If y'all was here on the live yesterday and drop some pancakes in the chat, okay? <clears throat> if y'all was on last night's live last night, y'all understand that my battery literally died like an hour and a half into the thing, baby. We were listening to Lamar Head and, and why he's beefing with Kirk Franklin and my battery literally Almost just about died. They came in the Discord. They said, Jane, baby, I saw your eyes closed just a little bit. Consider wrapping this thing up. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and call it a night. I hadn't gotten through all my topics last night, but I did read Robert's email. So I put that video on members only. Um, I didn't fall asleep, but it was obvious that I was getting sleepy. Okay. Uh, so that was last night's video. Come on in, come on in, come on in. How many people are here? 127 and 68 likes. Don't make me fight one of y'all, okay? If you want to survive on this bus, you know what you need to do. You know what you... Ex exactly, Leo. Tell them. See, what I got I got my anger translator right here. I'm telling you what's going on. Ain't that right? Exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying. And I appreciate you letting them know what's going on. Okay, Big Drip. I see your chain. Okay, okay Big Drip. Okay. And that's on period. Mister, okay. All right, now back that. Uh, okay, yeah. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't just walk across. Come on, come on, can't, yeah, baby, baby, come on, come on, get, get, Leo, get down. I'm trying to be nice. This is the beginning of the video. You gonna have me turn into a black mom, Leo? Get down, get down, and get that butthole out of here. All right. What is going on? <laughs> Get out my face with that, just Jay. I'm not. I'm not playing with you. Okay, come on. And we got some things that we need to discuss. I want you all to call in, right? Y'all can start lining up now if you would like to. Is Lori Harvey a hoe? Is Lori Harvey a hoe? I want to know. What do you think? I'm gonna drop the link. Y'all can line up as I as I get out my uh, preliminary thoughts about it. Of course, you don't have to agree with me, but I think it's a really juicy discussion, okay? And um, let's talk. Let's talk. It's early. I'm, I'm proud of me. Does anybody want to send me $2 on Cash App for being early? Because when am I ever this early? And then I had time to go live on the backup channel first and then come over here? Baby, stop playing. It's a new year. I'm, I'm doing better. New and improved Jane on deck. You heard me. You heard me. 
Shout out to Admin's Love Zone for the 999 super chat. I really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Make sure y'all subscribe to Admin's channel as well. He, listen, y'all know I'm very thorough and detailed when it comes to this R. Kelly stuff, you know, especially the proceedings and the paperwork and the transcripts and all that other stuff. But when it comes to like the interwebs and the, and, and the backstory and all this stuff, and uh, there are a lot of different players and characters when it comes to Admin's B on it. Okay. So come on in. Is Lori Harvey a hoe? Let's go ahead and get the vote started. Okay. Put a one in the chat if Lori Harvey is a hoe. It's Friday. So yeah, we, we, we go in there. That's early in the stream. Okay. And I have a couple different things I want to talk about today, but I, I think the main topic of discussion, right. And I've, I've done a video about this before, which is why I brought out this old thumbnail and I, I kind of tilted it and put it to the side. Sexual economics. What's really going on? Put a one in the chat if Lori Harvey is a hoe. Put a two in the chat if she's not a hoe. Okay? Is she a hoe? What do you think? And look, if one or two ain't enough for you, call in and let me know how you feel. Let's have the discussion. Let's talk about it. Okay? Don't be shy. Don't, 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 don't be shy. Somebody call in. Call in. Hit the link. I've been thinking about getting a call in number, but shut up. Oh, Leo, stop it. Which, Leo, you think she a hoe? Okay. Okay, you don't think she a hoe. You just got something to say. Okay, I got you. All right, buddy. Um, so come on in. Happy Friday. We're going to talk about several things. I want you to call in about any and everything that we've discussed on the show. When we are on the backup channel, and again, it's linked down below in the description box. It should be... Probably the second link you see in the description box. The first link that you see in the description box is a channel that you really need to be subscribed to, especially if you're into makeup, if you're into high-end makeup, if you want high-end makeup tips and high-end skincare tips, you definitely want to subscribe to Deeper Than Skin Deep's channel, okay? Because she be there, okay? You want to know when the sales are going on at Ulta, when you can get some of the high-end stuff for you know, a lower price. Make sure you check out Deep in the Skin Deep. It is the very first link down below in the description box. Okay. Um, I believe whatever you'll see at TPJ Network down below in the description box. Okay, I gotta pay the cat because he's clearly doing too much. Leo, come on, you want a treat? You want a treat? Come on, come on. Because you're you you, you you're doing too much. We got a whole caller on the line and everything. And you stopping the show because you want a treat. Okay, get your life right. Get your positioning right. Is you chewing it all the way? Because at this point, you're going to get some indigestion. All right, buddy. That's it. We'll, we'll give you a little bit more a little later in the show. Somebody remind us in the chat when it's time to give Leo another treat. We're we, we going to need to at least put 20 or so. Nigga, I know you didn't just get comfortable in front of the. He going to sit down. What? Big drip. I know you feel cute because you got your chain on and everything like that. But you going to have to move. Excuse me, Leo. Can you move? You need to move. Leo, get down. Get down. Leo, get, get your... Why I gotta go there? Why, why do I have to go there with him? All right. Let's, let's bring in our first caller, child, because Leo trying it, okay? He, he want to be the star of the show. He want to be the star of the show. Okay, um, what chat is that? Okay, got you. Okay, boom, let's get into our first call. We are getting into Lori Harvey. Lori Harvey, Lori Harvey, Lori Harvey. All right, we got our first caller. Caller, you are live on the air. What's going on? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you so much for calling in. Wait, let me read your super chat. It says, and thank you for the nine ninety nine. It says, pay your bus fare as you head in and get these likes. Okay, thank you so much. Cause they be playing, they be playing a little bit. They be playing a little bit. <laughs> they, 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 they be playing, you know. And I appreciate the super chats. It helps us provide the premium, 
you know, treats for Leo. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and and to get him some chains. He got his silver chain and he got a gold chain too. Okay. Oh, you looking perfect up there. Okay. Here he is. We we had to retire <laughs> that old fray, that old old collar that he messed up. No more cloth for him. But nonetheless, what do you think about Lori Harvey? Is she a hoe? Yes or no? And what's your reasoning? Okay, number one. Um, before I even get to that, well, actually, no, I'm answer. Uh, no, she is not. <laughs> I mean, and my reasons. Well, actually, before I get to my reasonings, number one, I would like to tell y'all that Lori Harvey has kept telling y'all she's quiet. She never tells y'all anything, but she tired of y'all telling her what she did with her poom poom. She did not mess around with Diddy and his son. What she was doing was playing coy with his son. They were friends, but she didn't want y'all to know that she was really messing around with Diddy. So mm-hmm. it was kind of like, because everybody was kind of speculating, but it never came out 100%. Like, yes, we are together. But she wasn't really like, her and the son both said we were not together. We never dated. She did not date me and my dad. I know people be lying, but I kind of believe her because what are the reasons that she didn't need to lie to us for? I believe her too. It, it, it is so easy for the general public to um, make an assumption based off of a photo. We see her in a photo with the son. We see her in a photo with Diddy and it's automatically, oh, stay together, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. And the thing about Lori is she stays quiet. She 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 was taking the Beyonce route at first. I'm gonna let these people assume anything because trying to prove stuff to people who are, people already want to believe certain things about Lori Harvey based off of Steve Harvey, based off her stature, based off of what she looked like, she dealt with future, whatever the case is, people already want to assume stuff. So you could come mm-hmm. out and show people the receipts, a birth certificate, uh, you know, an alibi based off of receipts. And you weren't, it's a losing battle trying to prove anything to people on the internet. So sometimes you got to take the mentality of why even try arguing with these people when, when they're determined that they want to believe a specific narrative about you, you can show right. any every receipt in the world and it, and, it, and it makes sense it's logical but they're going to defy logic they're going to connect dots that aren't there mm-hmm. and conspiracy theories to make sure they are able to uphold the narrative that they want to believe about you so for a long time she took the quiet route you know what the people want to think what they want to think and no matter what i say they're going to think this because this is what it, it satisfies them to think and say these things about me mm-hmm. now this is her season where in the last uh, two months, she's done like three interviews. Leo. He is not having it, okay? So, so she's <laughs> interview. I, just, I can't. He just wanted at the damn door. And it's, he either want more treats or he wants some attention. Um, both. Right, both. I really <laughs> had nip up here to, to keep him uh, set, but uh, th- this is the season where she's she's talking and she's clearing a few things up. I'm hoping that Lori Harvey's season of talking, I'm hoping it doesn't last long. It's yeah. everybody's not going to be Beyonce all the time. Beyonce ain't ever going to address any rumor ever. She's not. But everybody's not Beyonce. I think mm-hmm. like being on YouTube, especially with, when the channel got deleted, people wanted to make videos and assumptions and people be throwing me into conspiracy theories. Baby, I'm not addressing because once you realize that you can make up a lie about me, and get me to respond about something. Mm-hmm. Hell, you're gonna make up an, a lot on purpose that you know isn't true just to get me to say things. So all the time, people don't want to and don't need to address the rumors about them. But every now and then, clear yeah. things up is cool. I'm hoping that it's a short lived talkative season for her. Not saying she shouldn't talk, but addressing rumors from the the, the miserable public, right? Yeah really they're, they're not seeing the bigger picture and they don't realize that a lot of them have done the same thing that she has done with none exactly. of them. that was my that was gonna be my reasoning why i was gonna say that she's not and i didn't mean to interrupt you i'm sorry go ahead mm-hmm. no no no. It's just, it's just a lot of people have done uh, she's in her 20s right right she's in her 20s over the span of what three or four years you've seen her in photos with six different men really and, been five are, are, are you five so in three years her going on dates With six different men, y'all think that's bizarre. Something's wrong with the way we're looking at this. Mind you, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, you're good. Mind you, as a 20, I'm 24 years old, and I can't tell you how many times I've seen my friends or other women who've been, who done talk to about half, more than half of that. And I don't judge anybody, like, do you, you're, you're single, you're dating. Some, some most times they're not even getting with these men physically, and if they were, that's their business. Like I don't know why people are poom poom watching. Like, are you good? You don't you 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 OB joining? 
It's worse than pocket watch. A pocket watch is one thing, but trying to poom poom watch, it, it, it's not like she's a superhead, right? Because superhead went out of her way to let us know that she out here sleeping with these married celebrities. Like that's different because she's bragging and she's being open about it. So being in Corinne Stephens or superhead, and we're going to get to her later, being in her business is different, but the assumptions that social media and the general public have picked up and tried to make stick about Lori Harvey is it's insane. It's, it's crazy. It, Mind it, you, it, she don't say nothing. It does nothing. It, exactly. And like somebody just said in the comments, Eminem said, I hope this is her last interview. I hope it is. You have every right, right? I, I tell I um I have a couple of mentees. I have a couple of people that I meant mentor on YouTube. And they'll talk to me like, I want to respond to this. Somebody's making some shit up about me. And nine times out of 10, I'm going to tell them, don't respond. You know, but I can't say that that needs to be everybody's reaction to when mm -hmm. people are making up bogusness about you. Because at some point you get tired and, and, and coming out every now and then and clearing shit up, you know, sometimes it makes you feel better and it, it, it debunks whatever craziness is mm -hmm. out here. And sometimes it debunks. And for the people who really want to stick with that narrative again, they going to make things up. But the thing with Lori Harvey is she is in her 20s. Why should anybody who is under 30, especially, and, and not to say if you ugly, you shouldn't do the same thing. Hell, you can get away with it, right? right? But when you're cute, when you're beautiful, you have a certain stature about yourself. Mm -hmm. You are a hot commodity. Let's not act like when we look at Lori you know, she she's she's something that hurts the eyes. She don't hurt the eyes at all, mm -mm. right? No, she's you gorgeous. Should not stay boggled down to one man because of what the general public. That's not how dating works. Everybody that you date, especially in your twenties, but honestly, at any age, if I'm single and you want to take me on a date to Outback, Ruth, Chris, wherever the fuck, right? Mm -hmm. we, we go down to the harbor. You know, we go to Ocean City. Whatever the case is. That doesn't mean that I need to cut off all of my other candidates and we need to be mutually exclusive unless that's something that we talk about. That's not how dating works. It's, and it's really limiting. If every guy that asks you out on a date, let's just say you go out on four dates with a guy over a period of a month and a half, you all of a sudden not talking to anybody else when the, the main or the best candidate or whatever, if they haven't asked that of you why should you be cutting your 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 options off you see because men they end up understanding that some women will they don't want to be looked at as a whole which is which is really it, it's it's really a faux stereotype because niggas ain't doing that niggas will go out on a date with you one day and go out on another date with somebody else the next because they're keeping their options open until something serious hops off the page or they have a, a conversation with somebody so why should I cut all my options off? Because you took me on two dates and you won't be vocally make it known that you want it to just be you and I, I think her phone died. Um, it, 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 it doesn't make sense. And so one thing that I do think, and look, you can agree. Okay. Okay. She's back. You can Sorry. agree or not, but it's like sexual economics is a thing. There are some women out here, right? Leo, come on, come get another tree. <laughs> well you feed him what I was going to say also somebody just commented this too um, is that I think this whole misogynistic view of how women date and especially this misogynoir view of how black women date is really messed up because I mean you're telling me there's, there's men in the comments there's even women coming at her calling her out saying don't she, isn't her poom poom tired or isn't it's not you know going public all these dudes I don't care if she just like if Nick Cannon can get a woman pregnant every single two seconds mm -hmm. and do a photo shoot, a, a whole little cute little baby shower photo shoot. Why can't Lori Harvey go out here and, and be quiet for a couple months, go out for a couple months and pop up with a, with a new little boo and take some cute pictures with him? Mm -hmm. What what's what's the difference? It it it, it just it 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 doesn't make sense. And these these be some of the same people, right? Who got an opinion about Lori Harvey? Who be in a club every weekend or every other weekend? doing one night stands, having sneaky mm -hmm. links and see they doing it for free and for no benefits. Come on now. Right? They doing it for free and that's what sexual economics is all about. Sexual economics is the exchange of sex for resources. Some people want to look at it like, oh, you you put, you know, I mean, look, if you're having sex with men for free, if you're fucking three new men a month with no benefit, these men not, you know what, let me, let me pay your bill. Or if you can't call this man when your car break down on the side of the road and he can't mm -hmm. even help you out, 
he don't Come even care about it, then you spreading it for free. And I'm so sorry as a woman being the prize, not to say you got to, you know, pull up and pay my bills. It's not about that. But mm -hmm. what, what are you getting in return for the goodness that you're get for, for, for giving away your sunshine? Exactly. And not to say it should be a price on it because it's, it's really not about the price. It's the thought that counts. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. could bring me a $3.99 bouquet of roses to my door. It's it's really the thought about what we have conversations about, what mm -hmm. I'm struggling with. Um, you know, it, it I could hell, I could I could be talking to you about depression. I could be talking to you about this. I, I could have just quit my job because I just couldn't deal with it anymore. Right. If you're really there, you know, all of the all of the resources in which you're getting in exchange don't necessarily have to be tangible or or um uh, or monetary. They don't have to be. But you damn right, I need something in exchange. For get, I, I should be getting some, and so for the women who are fucking for free and are running their body count up Come like on crazy, now. right? No One reason. night stands, but no, and 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 talking about her, stop it. it I, I feel like young Miami. Sometimes I do feel like she looks stupid. She but does. Young Miami is very strategic mm -hmm. with dealing with Diddy. No, the city not. girls are talented, right? To and, and 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 it's not all music. I don't think that musically they about to be the next Michael Jackson, Beyonce, or Destiny's Child because they not right. But they are <laughs> able to tap into the um the the Gen Zs and different things. They're they're more influential than they are talented. I would say I'm about to have to let Leo out this one. Um, <laughs> so what, what, what Carisha is doing and she's using Diddy, it's, it's, it's mutual for them. Diddy is tapping into a whole new fan base. Well, how old is Diddy? 50? Yeah, right? 50, 50, all 50, 50, 50, 50, They all or whatever, and he's limited. So him dealing with Carisha is this thing where he's able to tap into her fans and vice versa. Not to mention she gets an allowance too. And, and it, it look, it's sexual economics. I know a lot of people hear that and they like, oh, you you saying it's a price okay you out here and you go to double t diner or you're going and when when the bill comes for for 45 dollars the nigga wants you to pay or the nigga want to go half on a 40 dollar check with you and you fucking her like how yeah. i will say for, to interrupt a little bit with miss carisha i would not put her in the same boat or as far as not saying that you are as far as comparison as far as like what lord harvey's doing versus what she's doing like i get it that she's getting it's lucrative for her to an extent however come the way she's been moving been very anti-city girl-esque it's been very i'm in my feelings i'm catching feelings and i'm falling for this dude and he not really he not really feeling feeling the same way but I'm trying to act like I'm not, but I really am. But I'm trying to act hard. I want y'all to say out my business, but I'm gonna tell y'all my business. But I'm gonna look. At, I'm gonna get embarrassed. I'm gonna snap on people. Then I'm gonna come back and be like, mind y'all business. She. I feel like at first it started off with her. She get, it's a business thing. She getting her business done. She started her little podcast. He got her uh, a nomination and everything. Okay. And I, oh, Elijah, why would you do that? I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> but like, I think it started off like that. But I think it's turning into more. So now she's getting embarrassed because I. It's just certain the way he's moving, the way she's been moving lately. It's been it's been turned into the business relationship is kind of like, okay, it's getting too personal. She is in her feelings. I can't lie, and that can happen sometimes, right? Whether it's a sugar daddy, you know, casual, you know, buddies that you're intimate with, or whatever the case is. I guarantee you, when it's all said and done, because they're not gonna last forever. The benefits <laughs> outweigh how she's feeling and her emotions right now. Emotions aren't necessarily always permanent. Right. So the visibility that Diddy has been able, which is a resource, right? Sexual economics is mm -hmm. the exchange of sex for resources, the visibility, the opportunities, the 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 podcast, the show, and not to mention the allowance, but even even allowance is out. That is gonna outweigh her 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 feeling some type of way. I mean, hell, Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce, right? And that's Oof. a whole actual marriage in union. So, you know, to think, and especially she be out here, oh, it's yeah as if she know what it is like she she's disposable and she gets that and outside of this embarrassment it I, I i feel like i'm not trying to make excuses but at the same time it's like you act a little hurt niggas like that because they feel like they under your skin but mm -hmm. I, when it's all said and done the benefits outweigh her crying last week it's, yeah it's, it's, it's gonna outweigh that <laughs> so yeah her sugar daddy is is out here acting a fool he's not as bad as nick cannon Oh Jesus. He's definitely out here um you know acting a fool and 
Look, some women have sex for no benefits at all. They all, all they want is that 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes that they get. And that's it. But, you know, when it comes to, you know, to Lori and others. That, and, and the thing about it is, again, over the course of three years, we've seen her in photos with five different men. Where is that body count dangerous? I mean, you could even go to the clinic right now and tell and tell this to a doctor, and they'll tell you that that that's pretty impressive. There mm -hmm. are some body counts where a doctor will actually tell you, you know what, this is dangerous. Like, yeah, like, just, just calm down a little bit. Close and not to, not to even say she was necessarily having sex with all of these men, right? But in your twenties, why should you stay tied down to somebody that's not making you happy? Or once you go on one date with a guy. It means you're cutting off all your other options because that's the bare minimum is to go on dates. It doesn't mean that you have to be emotionally available. It doesn't mean any of those other things. And that's not the expectation that men have. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it doesn't make sense. And it goes back to some, some men when you, you go on a date with a guy and they find out that you may be entertaining other men, right? Mm -hmm. oh, you know, you're, you a hoe, you get around. No, did you tell me that you just wanted to be me and you, or are we dating? Dating right. and being mutually you know, exclusive are two different things. And you have to swallow your pride and say that as a man, but a lot of times men, they just expect for us to be in their possession, that mm -hmm. we belong to them if we go on one stinking ass date or two mm -hmm. stinking ass dates. It means that I'm not entertaining. Not in your 20s when you in your prime, baby. You are never going to look better than what you look in your 20s and early 30s. Never. So why give that away to a nigga with no verbal agreement mm -hmm. just because he expects you to based off of the 1950s? I guarantee you that nigga that you cutting off all your other niggas for, mm -hmm. I guarantee you he's still smiling at other... Good morning, queen. Good rising, queen to other women. So it doesn't make sense. People don't understand the difference between dating and being in a relationship. And if I'm cutting off all my other niggas, that means we're in a relationship. That's what mm -hmm. that means. So I don't think that there's anything wrong for a 26-year-old in the last three years to have dated five men. See, people don't even understand what dating is anymore. They it's don't. It's just this, this microwave society popcorn logic. And it, 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 it makes no sense. It's very limiting. It, it is like I, I notice like my friends, I always tell them like, do you guys, when you guys talk, when you guys, I don't use the word talking. I hate that talking. We're talking, we're talking, you're talking, this, you talk. No, I'm dating this person because I'm doing this with intention. That means I'm actually doing the right way. That means we go out outside of his living room. Okay. We don't just go in the car and just sit down and smoke, whatever. Mm -hmm. So my friends are talking about, oh, I'm talking to this guy. I'm talking like, and then y'all wonder why y'all in the same positions. And then y'all go blame Lori about, you know, getting mad. Not my friends. They don't get mad at Lori. But just in, just saying that they did, I look at them like, you're talking to a bunch of people, right? Lori is dating. She's saying, I like this guy. Let's see where it goes. I don't like him no more. I'm moving on. Get some time to wait. Little waiting period. Yeah, I like this guy now. I'm going to date him. Oh, I can't see this going somewhere. Oh, no, it's not anymore. And she moves on. That's how dating is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Whether well, you talk to a bunch of guys at one time or you're talking to one at a time until you figure out which one is basically kissing all the little frogs until you figure out which who your prince is going to be. I mean, be. yeah, and, and a lot of men they they draw out the the initial the the point of contact when y'all first start going on dates, right? Which means you you're susceptible to being seen in public. They draw it out because they notice some women, because I, I used to do that when I was in my early 20s, late teens, early 20s, when I was dating. I would go out on one date with a guy and be like, well, I'm not talking to none of these other niggas because um, I went on. It's stupid. It's so mm -hmm. it, it's stupid. Get your heart broken. Now, if, if the guy can clear his throat and say, <clears throat> you know what, Jane, I, I'm really feeling you. And I wanted to just be me and you. I'm not talking to anybody else. Can, can we just be exclusive? Can it just be me and you? That takes a, a level of courage. Mm -hmm. And that really shows that the man might be serious about neither one of us having other options outside of one another. And that's a conversation that needs to be had before I limit myself or any young woman limits herself when she's in her prime, which is ideal to catch somebody when, when, when you're, when you're, you're, you're looking your best, you know, you might have Meg to stay on your knees, baby. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just a year over 30. You know what I'm saying? So my knees ain't mm -hmm. nowhere near as, as good as they were when I was 21 and 22 and things. But it's 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 limiting to cut yourself off um and to not and, and some men will drag it out because they realize that that's the type of woman that you are all i gotta mm -hmm. do is take her on a date once every week and a half two weeks 
And she ain't deal with nobody else. I got her in the cut in the pocket. Anytime I hit her up, I know she's going to be home. She never going to be out with another nigga. She never going to be busy, whatever. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. I'm out here doing sneaky links every other day. Like, mm -hmm. no, absolutely not. And dating doesn't doesn't mean that you are um, intimately involved or sexually involved with, with somebody every guy else. You're right. it, it really doesn't. I've went months dating certain men either before I did anything with them or when I decided, you know what, I probably shouldn't be doing anything with you. Mm -hmm. and I, just, I just decided not to. But, you know, men play these games and, they, and they, they, I think they, they like to gaslight women by calling them holes for doing mm -hmm. After, some of the yeah. same shit that they're doing just to make sure that they can have women in their in, in their possession like mm -mm. it's not it's, it's not happening and it's that's why happening. i liked her moving in silence for a while and i, and I like i like you said earlier i hope that she doesn't confront us no more like confront it once confront it mm -hmm. twice that's enough keep it pushing because mama these are we, we, we can't even pay to breathe your air bro like we can't even pay to breathe your air so pay us literally no mind and i think that that people we definitely need to have a, a sit down conversation with the congregation of black people naacp probably about how the black people as a unit can learn how to date person for me i just started dating outside my race and it's i'm not saying it's just like oh i think it's like, i'm not one of those divesters but i'm just saying mm -hmm. i experienced a totally different thing since i oh, this new guy i'm dating right now my man and I didn't have to do all that extra. You know what this is. And, you know, we go on dates. He plans everything. I just show up. That is all I do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what Lori Harvey's doing. I didn't understand what she was doing at first. I never judged her, but I didn't, never, I didn't know what she was talking about. Because she was talking about, I just show up. And here, here's this guy. He comes along. He just says, here, we're going here. Don't worry. Don't bring your wallet. Just bring your ID and look pretty. That's all I need you to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, what? Oh. For real? For real? Like, look, there's nothing wrong with exploring your options and figuring out what a man can do to you, do for you. And like I said, it's not always monetary. If you're a handyman who can fix cars or or do a little something to a car, that that's that's a that that's a resource and that's a skill for me. And if you're willing to do that, if we're dating or if we're casually having sex, whatever the case is, those are things you know, that I take into consideration. Like, mm -hmm. how, how can you make my life better? I know what I can do to make your life better. Mm -hmm. I like to get up. I like to cook. I like to clean. What can you do? And 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 sometimes it's how you get to the next level. So it's, are you an electrician? Do you fix things? Are, are you, like, what what can you do? Like, and, and exchanging, I'm sorry. Like, I just, I don't want to have sex with anybody that can't do shit for me. And like exactly. I said, it's, not, it's, it's not all about money. It's about how thoughtful you are. Can you, can you think in advance? You remember me telling you five weeks ago that I get mm -hmm. sad around a certain time of year because of a certain life event or family event, or this is when my aunt passed away. And you can remember that and actually show up and invite me out and, and let's do a sip and paint and, and on a day when you know that I'm like, those are different things that matter. And if you, if you can at least be thoughtful, if you don't have any skills or any traits that are going to benefit me, then this is not worth it for me. Right. And I think a lot of it also ties into what I was telling my friends because one of my friends, she's got, she just broke up with this guy. And I told her she probably needs time to breathe because she has a tendency not to want to be alone. So I told you, time to breathe. I, unless you're one of those people who can bounce back and move on without no problems, most of mm -hmm. us can't. We need probably a little breathing period. But she's one of those people who need, probably more time than she gives herself so i told her that next time you're going to dating you need to think about what you want because a lot of us don't ask ourselves what do we want what do we expect mm -hmm. she was like i want a friend's benefits i said okay so what you, you want him to talk to other women or and you not talk to other men like how you want to mm -hmm. do that no i don't want him talking to other women because if i mess with him i only want to mess with him and i don't want him to mess with other people i said so it's not like you want a relationship to be honest because it's not friends with benefits mm -hmm. friends you can't hope you can't lock him down because now you're on an exclusive relationship and she was like really i was like yeah, dummy, because guess what's going to happen? He's going to remind you, you're just friends. And you also have to be careful. Another thing that women have to be really careful about, um, really careful about dating men and telling men exactly what you want out of a man. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful because, first of all, when you, when I won't even say it's just men, people in general, when they're first getting to know people, it's just like a job interview. You're not about to show up to your job interview as yourself. You're about to show up as what you feel like a model employee should be. 
So you're meeting people's representative when you first start dating. And if you go out on a date with this man and you tell this man, hey, what, what, what do you like in a man? Oh, I like A, B, and C. The nigga's going to morph into A, B, a, and B, C. And, C. and mm -hmm. you know, some men, that representative, it'll only last for two weeks and then you start seeing a real him. I've dealt with a guy one time, his representative lasted for five and a half months. And I mean, he kept it up. And that's tiresome. I, I would think that it would be tiresome to be somebody that's not yourself. But you go into this thing telling, I, I, I just, I learned years ago not to go on dates and tell men exactly what you want in an ideal man. Because all they're going to do is try to pretend to be that man. And then you're fooled because, oh, he, he's exactly what I wanted. Idiot, you mm -hmm. gave him the blueprint and he's acting right now. You're dealing with the representative. You're not dealing with him. Exactly. Never tell them what you've been through. Not to the full extent, at least. Just play. Oh, it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. That's why I say until I know I feel comfortable enough to tell you what really happened. But for the most part, I'm like, oh, it just didn't work out. Mm -hmm. I mean, because my yeah. mama say, you tell them how to, you tell them what you went through. You tell them what you put up with, quote unquote. That's how they're gonna take it, and then exactly they're gonna put you through. Just wait mm -hmm. on it. It is. Yeah. You 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 got to figure out what's important to you. It, it might be a man that can paint. It might be a carpenter. If that's if that's a valuable skill, it, again, that's not about money. That's just about what he can do for you. That's a resource. In the case of Lori Harvey and, and Carisha, they're you know, getting a certain amount of visibility. It sucks that Lori Harvey doesn't have any privacy, right? Because I saw some people in the chat saying earlier, well, Lori, Lori Harvey need to stop making it everybody's business. Da, da, da. It's not like Lori Harvey could get privacy if she wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, she she want to go to Noble one night. She can't help it that the paparazzi are stalk. The paparazzi they're looking are for who she's with. Stalkers, mm -hmm. okay. So it's not like she can get privacy. And does that mean she's got to stay in the house and stay stay hidden and stay cooped up all the time in order to um and and in, in in order to date somebody, she's always got to be you know in the house. So unfortunately, celebrities aren't granted that. And 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 she's young. You know, like I said, she she's 26. And I mean, honestly, even if she was 46, like, who the hell cares? Three years, five guys. Niggas acting like her body count is, is off the meat rack and it's out of control and she's damaged goods because even over the last was, three years... It's her business. Even if she was out here messing with every guy and every time she met, she opened her wild legs and just busting it open and everything. It does not matter because mm -hmm. half y'all if not most of us do i mean i ain't do i don't do that crowd but <laughs> if not most of us do it so i don't want to i don't i don't like hearing that because the same people like, there's one girl she got caught up in her tweet on and on twitter in her thread she was a man we're talking crap about Lori harvey mind you she tweeted a, a couple like literally a couple days ago and said that she got caught she know her boyfriend with this dude that she had just met a couple days before and she tweeted about it i'm just like this you mm -mm. <laughs> Talking about Lori and how Lori should slow down and uh, close her legs. And but, see, uh, it, it, it's, it's the hypocritical people for me. Everybody's talking about Lori Harvey got a body count over 10. Pair your point blank, pair your point blank, pair your point blank. This person says Lori is two men away from being damaged goods. And I say this with all due respect. Hey, look, listen here. Is And this, this is the double standard of it all. Is Nick Cannon damaged goods? Hmm. Uh, is, is, there, is there anybody, because he's got stature, he was assigned male at birth, he has a penis. And he's still a working man and 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 he's still desirable to a lot of people. Most of the people talking shit about Lori Harvey, especially women talking shit about Lori Harvey, would definitely sleep when they can because they would think that they could get a bag, visibility, notoriety, all these mm -hmm. followers on Instagram. And they, they verify. They would think that it's a meal ticket to getting a podcast or something like that. You know, future. Is he damaged goods? Now, you know, to a, to a woman who wants a certain amount of structure, yes, but... Um, I, I would never deal with a, a, a goddamn, you know, future or Nick Cannon or things of that nature. But it's a double standard for me. Nick Cannon out here got 12 kids. Future out here got a whole football team, baseball team as well. So, you know, to be in your 20s and to have dated five men. We don't know if she fucking them all. But even if she is, fucking five men in your 20s ain't a crime. And it damn sure ain't something to make niggas say, ew, you had sex with that's like a five right. you know, excuse me your 20s your 20s embezzle embezzle <laughs> <laughs> cut the cameras dead ass cut the cameras <laughs> because y'all are speaking y'all are not gonna step here and act like in y'all 20s y'all didn't have you know especially because look let, 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 let's let's paint the picture your 20s right i moved out at 18 i, I couldn't handle that shit Same. couple months at the graduation i said bye i can't deal with this woman 
<laughs> out of here. You get your first little dose of freedom, okay? And you get your first little dose of being able to be around the sex that you're attracted to. For me, it's the opposite sex, right? And you you be having fun. So for people to act like, oh, I only had sex with two men in my 20s and she didn't buy it. She's a slut. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Stop it. And if anything, when you are discovering yourself at 20 something years old, you're just, especially sexually, right? Wait, we got, we got Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Kevin Samuels who came back for the grade. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and Kevin Samuel, that, that Red Bull and that honey pack took him up out of here, right? Cause he was going, but see, you know what? When it, when it's Kevin Samuels, fucking five women a month, they like, okay, play, get it how you live, mm -hmm. right? But when it's a woman, when it's a woman, five men in three years, it's, oh, she's a hoe. Fuck out of here. Are you telling me that a body count of two and a half men a year is a, is a, is a, is a deal breaker? Are you kidding me right now? See, this lets me know who gets out the house mm -hmm. and who don't get out the house and who lived in their twenties and who didn't live in their twenties. And, or it just lets me know that a lot of y'all are fucking hypocrites. Stop That's acting like in your 20s. Because you, mm -hmm. listen, if you don't get it out in your 20s, you, you ever seen a 40-year-old that just be out here acting 22 and it's 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 appalling. That was my uncle. Like, What's wrong with you? Get that <laughs> shit out in your 20s. Wean it off when you get close to the 30s or in the, get into your 30s. And then you know a bit about yourself. You know what you do and don't like sexually. You know what you do and don't like in a man. You know what you require. You know what turns you on. You know what turns you off. Ain't nothing worse than seeing somebody in their 40s being a grasshopper. It looks crazy. It's crazy. You're supposed to be exploring yourself in your 20s. And fuck mm -hmm. anybody that's judging a 20-something-year-old that's really trying to find and figure themselves out. First of all, I couldn't imagine having cameras in my face all of my 20s. But that's, mm -hmm. that's what the celebrity life is. I was lost. I was confused. I was figuring things out. And... Just like every 20 year old is, I don't care how much money you have, you're going to be everybody but Blue Ivy is going, <laughs> is going to be lost and confused, ain't going to know which way is up, and really just trying to figure it out. So, for people to be acting like they holier than thou, like they body count is fucking two, miss me, miss me, because it's a lie. It is. And I honestly, I laugh at any guy who's ever asked me because I feel like you're immature. You need to change your socks and your drawers because you are a grown man asking me how many people I've been with. Now, if you're asking me to say when the last time I've been with somebody now is hit and I have tested safely because the same people who ask my body counts, you can't even ask them without them getting offended when it's the last time they got tested. But I digress though, right? So I don't like this whole, this whole little debate about like her sexuality and it is crazy because we do not do this to these rappers. We like, and then going back to Nick Cannon, Again, this guy, these five women were pregnant within the same span of months. It was like they were all pregnant. So, I'm talk um, so it leads me to believe that of the of the twelve kids, most of them were most of them were twins. The women that he got with of those the mother of those twins and, and um, those single babies, he was going in for one poom poom to next poom poom to next poom poom like in a day's in a day's work. I, I don't know what type of stuff he got going on, but you got you can't tell me that. No one sees that and thinks he's disgusting and get and has to ask. Nobody's asking him. Oh, isn't his is his dangling tired? Like he don't get tired. Like what's going on with that? No one's saying that. No one's saying that. At but all. you got at somebody all. who has no proof that she is messing with these people at all. And we that, all got allegations about what she don't do. Niggas, don't, niggas don't be calling niggas hoes. At what point did we look around and say Kevin Samuels is a hoe? Uh, Boosie's a hoe. Uh, Future's a hoe. Kodak's a hoe. Come uh, what like at what point do we slap? No, we just we just accept that shit from these niggas, mm -hmm. and these niggas be fucking, you know, know, however many different whatever. And when it comes to women, it's just like, oh no, you supposed to be pregnant and barefoot, and um, and only sleeping with one new one one one. E even even if it's one new, let's just say if it was one new man a year, that would mean from twenty to thirty, ten men. Oh my goodness, you're damn right. Like get the. 
And mind you, it's not even just women. Fear. It's black women. It's not, you, nobody does, like, people are saying this in the comments, too. Like, nobody does this to Kardashians. No one's telling them, then y'all, y'all weren't worn out. Everybody's r- r- rooting for Chloe to, to leave Tristan trashed and alone or whatever. Everybody, Kim K just talking about something. She's ready for her next wedding. Everybody's like, we hope you get it this, what? But lo and behold, the quietest mouse in the corner, Lori Harvey, just happened to pop out another man this year, and everybody wants to get mad. Child. But y'all over here calling white women. Taylor Swift did it. No one said nothing to her. The only time they got mad at her when she kept talking about it in her songs, but she get paid to do that. So what's whatever? Right. When, first of all, in the songs, <laughs> all the songs ain't always about you. Sometimes you're telling stories about common experiences in order to relate to your artists, and you understand that your artists don't necessarily live the same exact life as you. So sometimes you play things up. Sometimes you, you know what I'm saying. Tupac saying Brenda had a baby, but did he ever throw a baby away? Or did he have a baby mama to throw a baby? Away? No, it was art to get through to his people, right? Mm-hmm. So like. No, I don't. I don't want to hear. I'm not even a Taylor Swift fan. I promise you, I'm not. But that little white girl got a body count of more than three, right? As far as as, as far as we can, does she get the same labeling as no. a black woman who has no. taken pictures with five different men that she's dated nope. over the course of two or three years? No, uh, misogynoir. Okay, people don't understand how anti-black they are and how unforgiving and how they have no grace for their own types of people. And you know why? It's because they're so they're so possessive they're so possessive over us and they feel like we belong to them and i took you on two dates and you entertaining other men did you let it be known that she was only interested in me mm-hmm. or no you know what i mean like these 1950 standards people be acting like we in a whole new different day and age but really it's hard to tell it's hard to tell and nobody wants to be called a hoe even though sometimes that that gets thrown around so loosely that it's ridiculous but a lot of the stuff that we seen growing up from 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 the black family dynamic, right? Mm-hmm. What our um what our grandparents went through, what, what we seen our grandparents endure, right? I I mean, they they there was no such thing as social media then, but they damn sure wasn't out looking for another guy when Papa was a Rolling Stone, when Papa was pushing them down the steps, right? Abusing them, hitting on them they didn't want to go out and seek something better because they just this the, the idea of being loyal to abuse and mistreatment mm-hmm. is embedded in us unfortunately it is and and that's it that's 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 sick and that's 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 all i can really say about it and and so now as this newer generation coming up we not staying limited to a nigga that don't make us happy that's not bringing us peace it don't even have to come to physical abuse right mm-hmm. We seen Tina Turner go through it. She's scared because if Tina Turner had left Ike sooner and dated another guy, what would they have labeled her? Oh, uh, oh, Tina Turner cheats on Ike Turner. How long? What, what would they? Oh, she's sleeping with another man. I mean, she, she she's how dare she would have got labeled a hoe because she left an abusive man. She found happiness and she's dealing with another guy. Women are not tolerating all of the mess that they used to tolerate back in the day. But some of us, it's it's so you know, deeply embedded into us. And sometimes it's not even based off what's spoken. It doesn't mean that grandma said, stay with that man and be loyal to that man. It's based off what we've seen. It's based off what we've seen our parents and our grandparents endure and what they do. What did grandma tolerate? What did grandpa get away with? Mm -hmm. And whether you're a boy or a girl, you're going to duplicate what grandpa did. And if you're a girl, you're going to think that what grandpa did was at least okay. You should be loyal like grandma or ma was. No. I will I will say personally for me, and it's getting a little bit personal, not too much though. I was I'm a survivor of DV, and I think personally the reason why I went through that and allowed it to have I wouldn't say I allow you because you don't nobody you can't make nobody abuse you. Um, but I allow a lot of the abuse to happen, the physical and emotional abuse to happen because no one taught me any better, to be honest. In my family, I only have one person in my family who's married, who's happily married. My mother's not married. When she adopted me, she was already divorced. And she does not, she just, I don't think she really taught us how to love ourselves. And I don't think she taught us how to allow other people to love us. And especially dealing with a child who's a foster child and stuff like that. There's so much trauma that comes with that, right? And then I was abused as a child too. So abuse is what I grew up knowing. And I was always told that that's still your family member. You, they, you guys still love them, all type of stuff like that. So I'm 20 something years old. I'm 20, I was like 21. I got in this relationship with my first serious relationship. And he's putting his hands on me. He's talking, whatever, but he'll apologize. 
and it was just like I'm used to this. I, I've been told that when, as long as they apologize, as long as mom apologizes, as long as your, your brother apologizes, as long as your sister apologizes, as long as auntie apologizes for hurting your feelings or putting their hands on you, it's okay because they still love you because that's still family. So as long as they, still, they apologize, say I love you, you stay. So that's what I was. That's what I was inherently taught, and I brought into that relationship. And ever since then, I got out there relationship like three years ago now. Ever since then, I took my time, my hiatus from dating. I didn't want to buy, like, obviously I had PTSD, stuff like that. I took my hiatus, did a lot of self-work, and I realized that when they tell you do that self-work, do that self-work. Like, mm-hmm. I understand that we see all these examples of how it used to be. And even the music is still promoting that type of stuff because look what Moneybag Yo and Gorilla just put out. That is not cute. And people just like, yeah, I'm going to jam this, da, da, da. Y'all don't even see the message they're putting out there that you don't like him and he messes around with other people, but – you the, the the dangling girl, so you stay, or he she gonna hit you and go crazy on you if you leave her. That's not okay. It's not funny. It's not cute. And I look at that differently, especially because I'm a DV survivor, and especially because I took that three year hiatus of dating and just find out who am I as a person. And now when I date, they think I'm mean. They think I'm a quote unquote aggressive. And I hate being called as a black woman, but that means I protected myself from mix it up into that old old habits of accepting just anything just because then i'll do it and that's why now i'm dating this guy who's actually a good guy still on a bat about it because you know people show like you said show their faces for a while mm-hmm. so i'm listening to the representative right now and we're gonna see how it goes but in the, the day i feel so much more powerful as a woman and especially as a black woman who knows her worth because it like going through what i, what I went through and seeing my friends they're not in DV relationships, thank God, but they're in relationships that are more emotional abusive, I think, to be honest, that they don't see it yet. And I'm trying to pull them out, like, let them know, like, look, look, look what's going on. Like him acting like he don't want to talk to you and going days out talking to you or mm-hmm. um, telling you, you, you know what this is. And I want to ask you to be my girlfriend. Like, girl, what? He don't think you're out on dates. You got, you got- a man, a man got to be able to clear his throat. And ask questions and and have uncomfortable conversations, which a lot of times it 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 it, it leans in the direction of their feelings, which men discussing their feelings aren't men's typical strong suit, right? So no, you got to be able to clear your throat and 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 say things that might make you uncomfortable. Because before, like. To, to take it all the way to the proposal aspect, a man's got to propose to you one day, but that shouldn't be the first time that he's cleared his throat and 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 said or asked something that made him nervous about you or your relationship you know so mm-hmm. no men, men have to be able to have difficult conversations and sometimes a difficult conversation might be i want her all to myself and i don't want to deal with nobody else either how am i going to ask her this they need to figure it out they need to figure it out and if they can't figure it out well then we're just dating that's just mm-hmm. that Exactly, and and I, and I told him straight up, you get blocked for all types of reasons. So do not play with me. And it's more so obviously it's healthy stuff like calling me on my name. You get mad, like we ain't talk. Cause a lot mm-hmm. of us think that's cute too. It's not. That's not cute. It's not. Once you call me on my name, it's, it's you gotta go. It's a wrap. It's if it's not Bay or our little cheesy little nickname relationship thing that we do, I got this really embarrassing nickname that we call each other. <laughs> I'm not saying that, but. If it's not that, if it's if you're calling me derogatory shit because you're upset or you're in your oh baby, it's over. Like don't even expect nothing else here. Come pick up your brush and this sock that you left over here and get the fuck on about your business. Matter of uh, fact, don't even get comfortable till you leave and stuff over here till till we get some um some little some something going on because I don't know. Like I'm not. I told him I really like don't get too comfortable because. You know, like you said, that face stuff, people show up, they stay face for a while. Once they start calling you names, I'm sorry. I feel like that's a gateway into um, maybe putting your hands on me because you're already calling me derogatory things. It's exactly. Some, uh, it just, uh, uh, that's just, and, and I've been in a, uh, you know, in a DV situation before and there were some red flags that I ignored and that I missed. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, mm-mm, not having it, not having it. Not anger it. issues, just... calling me names. Mm-hmm. I I think how to, watch how they talk to other people is important. I think their views on certain things is important. I think when you just you're expressing some how you feel about something, is they be quick to say it's not that serious. Oh, you, you gotta go because you, you know you're not gonna tell me how to feel. You're not gonna dismiss mm-hmm. how I feel because you don't agree with it. You gotta mm-hmm. go. 
you've got to go. Absolutely. Um, let me see. Sister Viv says she's a hoe. About time she got married, her cop gonna be huge. I, I think they're talking about Lori Harvey, right? And they said she's a hoe. Okay, that's their opinion. About time she, I, maybe they mean by time she gets married, her cop gonna. Oh my god! You know, I, I'm beautiful. trying to figure out what they. I, I guess are are they, I'm assuming. I don't know. Are they trying to say that by the time she gets married, she's gonna need a big cock to satisfy her? Like I'm not. I, I, okay, but I, all, all I can really get from this is that this person thinks that Lori is a hoe. I asked that question. I asked for people to comment, and and that's their thought about it. That's Why don't they come up here and talk about it? If that's what, like they're saying all this rah rah rah, but they won't come up and say anything it's about it. it. it I would love to understand their point um, because I'm not. I'm not quite, I'm not quite getting the comment all the way, but mm -hmm. you know, if they, if they want to call in and voice their opinion, that is perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to drop the link again. What I'm going to do for you, Dream and Edmund, and I, re I really do appreciate you calling it. And thanks to all mm -hmm. the people who joined the membership. Um, what I'm going to do is I need to check on Leo real quick. If you want to get, um, give us your final thoughts as we wrap you up. I do have another caller backstage. Um, okay. And I'm going to get Leo while you do so. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. This is your show. I'm on your time. Okay. You know, I'm just, I'm just asking you to speak for, you know, just like two minutes or less or whatever. Um, and I'm going to go get Leo and then we are going to be right back. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm going to let yes, you go ahead and talk. Okay. Okay. In conclusion, everyone. <laughs> okay, class. We, my personal opinion is that Lori Harvey is doing what she's supposed to do, which is dating and figure out what it looks like for her Was well, that mean she dating guy for two months or two weeks and moving on she can do that she has every right to do so it's her body first of all we don't even know what she's doing with her body so again we shouldn't be assuming anything but if you're going to do that mind your own while you're doing so everybody remember to get tested you know every six months especially if you're being active and uh yeah date court yourself sometimes if you need to but leave Lori harvey and her poom poom alone and Lori Harvey, you coming after my man Idris? We're gonna have some problems, but bye, y'all. Because Leo want to be taking his time when I'm trying to entice his ass with a treat. We got... Uh-oh. Not me listening in the background. Shout out to Dreaming. Edmund clicked off quick. I said, dang, girl. <laughs> All right. So we got another caller. Let me go ahead and feed the cat real quick. Let me go ahead and feed the cat. Okay. This is not the best angle, Leo. And then you got your button, these people. Hmm. Okay. All right, get down, buddy. It's not it's not your show no more. I I, I gave you the floor. You need to get down. Leo, get down. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. Leo, get down. Get down. Leo, get down off of there. All right. So let's get into another caller about Lori Harvey before we get into talking about other things as well. Gadsden's World, what's going on? Yo, what up, Jay? What up, Jay? Y'all can hear me good? We can hear you good. Long time no talk. I know you was a little apprehensive. 
apprehensive. <laughs> you were apprehensive about calling, calling in. You said I was mean to you last time. It, listen, it wasn't. Time, it, was, it wasn't you. Let's let's make that clear. I think you're an excellent well, host, and well, you know you're really impartial. You know you're you're fair. Um, your audience though, they they light you they light you up. <laughs> well, I think. I think while all of my viewers aren't always going to agree, you and I definitely don't agree on a lot because you're a Kevin Samuels fan and baby, Kevin Samuels. So I think I think it was a hot button topic. And, and I think one of the last times you called in, it was about Kevin Samuels and if he is, um, what's the best way to put it, uh, a positive delight or, or, or helpful in any way to the black dating world and specifically all of his, the, the harmful things that he said about black women. And, and I do think that the majority of my audience, I believe, I think it's like 80% are women and 20% are men. So uh -huh. I'm sorry if the chat was hard on you, but I do appreciate you having enough courage. I think I'm 10 of the 20%, by the way. But anyway, let's... Uh... <laughs> I, I appreciate that. No. Nah, so, um... What are your thoughts about Lori Harvey? Is she a hoe? Yes or no? First of all, I think Lori Harvey is a beautiful young lady. And, you know, kudos to her for um, capitalizing on the opportunity that her stepfather uh, brought into her life. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but she's definitely a hoe. She she is out here in these streets and she for whoever. So, I mean, not whoever, whoever got that check. And I think that you, you've been listening to Future, huh? She belongs oh, to the streets. Well, she, <laughs> you know, Future, Future put her in a song for a reason. You know, before that, we didn't know who she was, and then she was in a song, and she was like, "Well, shoot, you know, if, if I'm gonna be in these streets, I'm gonna be in these streets. Y'all gonna know my name before it's all said and done." So, you know, hey, I. I <laughs> so let me ask you this: How many people have you had sex with in the last three years? Me personally. Mm -hmm. That's invasive. Um, let's see. Oh. I mean, because I'm not on the shade room every week. Um, uh, it's not about being on the shade room. Being on the shade room is not voluntary. Keep in mind, it's paparazzi or stalkers. Mm, some people call them, but let's let, let me see. The last three years, uh, I'm a virgin, Jane. Mm, yeah, that means you don't want to give up your number because it's embarrassing, and it probably is more than Lori Harvey's. So. The double standard that exists. No, that, that's what the comment's saying. The comment's saying zero. I'm agreeing with the uh, comments. No, I'm asking you a question. Don't, don't, um, <laughs> don't, 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 don't be daft with me. Damn. Um, have you slept with more than five people in the last three years? Five women? Yes. So I'll sleep with this one. Are you a hoe? No, no, I'm not. It's different from any women. I say it. Leo agrees. Mm -mm, Leo calling you out. You don't understand how to translate. Leo's calling you out. Sure. Leo is a black cat. <laughs> he agrees with me. No, um, he's calling you out. I, I feed him every day. Trust me. He's agreeing with me. <laughs> no. Um, ah. But no, no. Uh, it's different. It's different for men and women, for sure. Why? Um, men the same way. Holes? What, what, what's the difference between a male hoe and a woman hoe? Is the body count got to be double? Is, is a woman a hoe if it's five in the last three years, but it's the guy's a hoe if it's ten in the last three years? It's all about uh, Leo's really mad at you. He need to give him another treat. I think he was down there with his father eating chicken or something because Leo liked wing tips. That's the only part of the chicken he liked. Well, get some fried chicken and take that wing tip off. <laughs> and he, when I tell you, he eats the whole thing, even the bone. Right. I mean, he eat, give him the drumstick with all the meat on it too. He don't want it. Give him that. He likes wing tips, but what I, he, I think he probably is because we had Royal Farms chicken yesterday. Mm. But anyway, wing so tips. you're a hoe, but you don't think you're a hoe. Elaborate on that for us. Interesting. Um, so no, what I'll say is that it's all about uh, transparency. I'm trying to think. It's not transparency, but the word is like visibility, if you will. Just like I could say zero, and quite frankly, you would have no choice but to believe it. Or I could say 20, and then that's it is what it is. You see what I'm saying? But the fact that like you're you're making a public spectacle of your relationship, who was real who was Beyonce in a relationship with before Jay-Z? That guy she went to prom with. We all seen a picture of that guy. He was an average guy. Like she went to high school prom. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then it, it was high school prom and then Jay-Z. 
Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nobody who would quintessentially say, like, oh, Beyonce a hoe too. Because we don't know who Beyonce is with. She's not putting it out there for public display. What's you Beyonce what got to do with you being a hoe? No, but I'm saying about the difference between men and women. You you bring up you 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 bringing but, up but, women and Beyonce, but, but what's well, Beyonce got to do with you being a hoe? You're right. you a hoe. Jay Z. How many women was Jay Z with before Beyonce? Several. He was with Aaliyah. But who? But who do you know? Aaliyah. Who else? You see what I'm saying? It's all about visibility, and quite frankly, you don't know that I am or am not a hoe. Just you just I told you, me you've had sex with more than five people in the last three years, right? So that's why I'm I'm saying that you're a hoe based off of your own admission. And then let's talk about the word hoe. Visibility for a and being a hoe because people let's see. Talk it. About I mean. <laughs> Jane, I don't want to talk over you because that's not Kevin Sanders no, 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 don't no, no, like no. what people Hold talk on, over. Let him, me so let me I, let me I need you. to put Leo out. Hold on one second. Okay. Because he I don't really but while she's doing that, y'all, let's talk about the word hoe for a second. Um, a hoe come on, come on, come on, come on. is some you know, we all know what a hoe is, right? And look, she she need to mute that. <laughs> Go have Peter looking for Leo. <laughs> Um, but look, we all know what a hoe is, right? And quite frankly, I haven't done anything for any financial gain. But um, let's look at Miss Harvey's record, right? You said let's look at who? I'm sorry, I just put my headset back in. Yeah, no, no, I was trying to keep it going. Um, but no, I said that we all know what a hoe is, and quite frankly, I don't think I could ever be a hoe because I'm a man. Um, I'm not selling it to anybody. But let's look at Miss Harvey's record, right? Her relationships are on full display for financial or some notori- notoriety game. And I think that's what makes her a hoe. Before, I would have said she was just promiscuous. But now, because she's gaining monetarily from her relationships being on display for the world, she a hoe. So you saying women in the hood who aren't getting any sort of financial gain... They're not hoes. It's not such thing as broke hoes. I, 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 I've never heard of a hoe being contingent on money or monetary gain in return. I've, I've, I've honestly, you, a, a hoe is a promiscuous woman, woman, or promiscuous person, actually. Now again, you're saying it's based I, on money. I would, I would correlate uh, whoredom uh, to financial gain. Now, again, I would say promiscuous or pr- promiscuity. Uh, you know, someone who's very, you know, out there, you know, putting their relationships out there, but they're not necessarily, you know, getting any gain from that. They're just sleeping around, things like that. But again, if a woman is putting her relationship out there for a financial gain, for some type of, you know, notoriety and not concerned about the shame that's associated with being known for being with multiple men, um, I would I would call that a hope. OK, so you brought Beyonce into this. And to be fair. I don't think that Beyonce has anything to do with this conversation because Beyonce and Lori Harvey don't have the same things to lose. Beyonce goes through a boatload of things to protect her privacy. And a lot of times it's an inconvenience. And Beyonce mm-hmm. and Beyonce's family have spoken about that. They mm-hmm. jipped themselves out of be able to, being able to enjoy things publicly because of the empire that Beyonce has to lose. So to say Beyonce moves a certain way and Lori Harvey doesn't, those are two totally different people in two totally different circumstances. And again, Beyonce gifts herself out of enjoying certain things based off of keeping things private. Meaning she, she, when she was dating, before she got with Jay-Z, she couldn't just go to restaurants and do this. So she made a decision not to, because there's only one Beyonce. There's only one Beyonce. So to act like Lori Harvey has to jump through the same hoops or to live the same life as Beyonce to keep things private it, it it really doesn't make sense and it doesn't really have much of any correlation. And I, okay, All right, do you want me to speak on that or do we want to move forward? Okay. Um, so again, I think that Lori Harvey and Beyonce are more correlated than we'd like to say. They're both African American women in the you know celebrity spotlight, if you will. Um, at one yeah, point, still in time, the celebrity spotlight too, but she don't do shit. Right, I say African American women. Um, at one point in time, Beyonce wasn't Beyonce. Beyonce was the lead member of Destiny's Child. I don't. I, I don't know. I, I, listen, I know a lot about Beyonce. Beyonce <laughs> has 
always been Beyonce. Come Beyonce has been in dance and tap dance and recitals, and she's been winning awards and winning mm -hmm. trophies based oh, on I never, her now, now, I never said she wasn't talented now. Since Come on, she now. was seven. So, you know, you can't name a talent that that, that Lori has. You can't tell me she's, what talent she's great Lori at, has she's great at that being makes her her money. <laughs> she's great at being photographed. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's not all Beyonce no, does. And Beyonce, again, Beyonce is great at being photographed, and she's also an entertainer. Is Lori Harvey an entertainer, or is she just Steve Harvey's stepdaughter? Yeah, she is just Steve Harvey's stepdaughter. And the thing is, um, again, I'm not taking anything away from Beyonce. Beyonce is an amazing talent. We all know that. Um, but at one point, you know, Beyonce was, again, the lead singer in Destiny's Child. And, you know, again, she won all those talent shows. She was on, they were on Star Search or something like that, right? I think she lost on Star Search. But the point is, at one point, Beyonce wasn't Beyonce. And, you know, she had to get that notoriety, that fame to become Beyonce. And now we all respect her as Beyonce. But, you know, Lori Harvey is trying to get that notoriety, trying to get that popularity. And she's willing to, you know, some women do it one way with their talents of song and dance and entertainment. Some women do it another way. And I call those women hoes. That's how this all correlates. So... You just admitted that Beyonce is talented and you can't say that Lori Harvey is talented because she's right, not no, she's she, Steve Harvey's stepdaughter. So they're 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 not the same. I'm a, I'm agreeing with you in that. Right. Which means you contradicted your prior statement. How so? Because I said Beyonce is talented. Lori Harvey's a hoe. Lori right. Harvey's getting but you put famous. them in the same basket and they're not. So Beyonce has a lot to lose. A legacy that she built to lose off the back of her talent where Lori Harvey didn't ask for talent. And so I said that that's a false equivalency. And you said, well, they're both black women in the entertainment industry. Right. And I explained the difference. And yeah, they're, they're black women in the entertainment industry, but it's a false equivalency to put them in the same sentence and say, well, Beyonce kept shit private and Lori didn't. Be Beyonce lost a lot of her uh, uh, just a, a lot of her ability to enjoy every day the, the, the simple things in life just going to noble just pulling up and eating so yeah mm. that that's how you contradicted yourself you put them in the same basket and now you're admitting that they're different well you have to remember what basket i put them in i said they're african-american females in the celebrity i just said that realm. right so that's still a fact Like that's the same bubble. That yeah, but in. to compare every woman in the in the entertainment in in the entertainment industry together, it doesn't make sense. You can't put every African American woman in the entertainment industry. And the only reason Lori Harvey is in there is because she's a, ch a stepchild of Steve Harvey. So right, it's but, really not the same. She didn't ask for this shit. Her right. mother had a child. And then married Steve Harvey, whereas right. Beyonce did something different. So it's the false equivalency of you saying, well, Beyonce does things a certain way that Lori doesn't. They are not the same. Right. But now she's doing other things to become, to get the notoriety. What are the other things? How she entertaining her... us? All, all, all you can say. No, no, not, in, not in entertainment. She's displaying her relationships for public consumption. That's not being an entertainer, honey. It's they're, not. They're, they're still different. It's not, but that's how she's getting her notoriety. That's my point. That's just by way of how nosy and how stalkerish the paparazzi are. So you don't think she's making it known at all? Like she's not her putting it out there. Trying herself. to be made known on social media. So is everybody else on TikTok too with a million followers. That doesn't mean that they're in the same basket as Beyonce. Every person that had a media pass on the Golden Globes carpet the other night also is technically a black woman in the entertainment industry. It doesn't mean that you can compare their behavior and demeanor and their choices to a Beyonce because they're different. And that's the point that I'm trying to make. Mm -hmm. Well, the original point was Lori Harvey's a hoe and she's using her hoedom to get notoriety. And that's how she's becoming more celebrity is by being a hoe. She's not showing any of her talents. She's not showing it. Like, she's actually a very intelligent young lady, but nobody knows that. All we know her for is dating multiple Black actors. So, that makes her a hoe. Well, as long as, well, you, you know, as long as you understand that you are also a hoe, <laughs> um, 
because you are, you are, right? But you don't know, you, but you don't know who I've like. I could say I've slept with a hundred women. You don't know who they are, so you can't. Say it's that. not about me knowing who they are. You told me you've slept with more than five women in the last three years, mm -hmm. which means you're based off of the standard that you gave Lori Harvey. You're also a hoe. You're a hoe. But how am I gaining from sleeping with? Those you don't five have to be women? gaining shit to be a hoe. The broke woman over in the projects, fucking want a different man a week or a different man a month. A hoe is a hoe. See, you, I've literally never heard anybody correlate a hoe to, you know, because that's a difference, right? A prostitute is using sex for financial gain. A sex worker is using sex for financial or monetary gain. Mm -hmm. But a hoe has never been correlated with money. That's some shit that you literally just brought up. That has never been correlated because there's a difference between a prostitute and a, hoe. And a sex worker. Well, but right? there's a difference between a, a prostitute and a hoe. Okay. Yeah, hey. there is a difference between a prostitute. Okay. No, hey. they, the, the, the definition by default is I'm being promiscuous. I'm selling my body and giving this, this sexual shit for money. That is what a prostitute and or a sex worker is. Not a hoe. Okay. Hey. Hey, y'all. We got a new definition of hoe. That I no, didn't you know, gave no, the no, new I definition said, of hoe. I got a new definition. Okay. I'll take it, Jane, because this your show and you're doing an amazing job. I didn't know what a hoe was. So if that's what a hoe is, everybody let me be the first to tell you that Gaston's world is a hoe. You are. Yeah. That's not getting shit for it. I need to be. I need to be a better hoe like Lori Harvey. I need to be better at being a hoe because I'm not getting nothing. Sexual for it. economics. You got to give that dick away to get something and 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 return for. It. I need to be better at you being. You don't a have hoe. to be in Hollywood in order to be to be a hoe. You don't have to be getting money in order to be a hoe. If you fast, you fast. If you promiscuous, you promiscuous. So how do we how do we differentiate the um the hoes that are getting like some type of gain to the hoes that aren't? Like what? What do we call them? I mean, you might call them high class hoes. You might call them Hollywood hoes. You might call Hollywood them Hollywood hoes. Whoa, 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 wait, no. Let, let's go. I like Hollywood hoes. Lori Harvey, the Harley, Hollywood hoe. We gonna we gonna make that stick. We are gonna tag. You that. gonna make that stick? I don't think she's a hoe because I don't oh, think don't? it's fair okay. to say that a woman in her twenties, right? We're not talking about like an older woman. We're talking about a woman in her twenties, right? And we don't even know if she has sex with these men. We're making. We're, we're, we're making assumptions because it's salacious and the public likes to negatively label black women. That's what mm -hmm. they like to do. They, they look at a black woman and they can't, the, the, the first thing that comes to mind is something negative and they want to put it out there and they want to make it stick and they want her to be the laughing stock of, 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 of the butt end of the joke. That's what mm -hmm. they want to do. But to think that a woman can't have, uh, uh, let's just say if the five pictures that we saw in the last three years of her dealing with men if she slept with two different men a year in her 20s, because that's it's been three years and we've seen five pictures and all of a sudden she's the biggest slut we would never fucking seen, mm -hmm. right? So to sleep with two new people a year, and not even to say that that's an ongoing thing, but let's just take the, uh, what is it? That, that would actually be 2.5, right? Five years, five, three years, five people. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden we're demonizing her and saying, you know what? You should have just been with one man this whole time you slept. Meanwhile, we let the men run around and see that this is the problem because men run around and they 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 do. I, I'm not a hoe. I'm just taking what these bitches giving me. <laughs> I'm just I'm just taking what these bitches giving me. How can we give one standard to men when it comes to this and expect women to not to not and, and men not live up to this same standard? Mm -hmm. How can we teach our sons one philosophy and teach our? It, it sounds very Ti-ish. Ti wants her daughter, wants his daughter to be a virgin until she gets married. But he's okay with King and his son going out here and doing whatever the fuck because oh, because well, the woman's the one that get pregnant. So I want my son to be fucking a lot of uh, 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 of young girls, but I don't. I, I want my daughter to be kind of like my property, and I want her to belong to me. She's in my possession. That doesn't even make sense in society for you to have one rule for one and one rule for the other. Society will never be even and balanced that way. It's a flawed way of thinking. It really is. Mm. We're going to go to the bush because, baby, you stressful. You stressful. I know I said I would take it easy on you, baby, but you, the baby, let's go. It was gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. A couple of really good comments, I see. 
first of all, Famecom Network, thank you for the nine ninety nine super chat. It says Kevin Samuels was a trick that led with his wallet and put on a misogynistic view to cater to insecure men. Following him as a guide will leave you used and your dick dry. Oh, I agree. But hold on. There was another comment that I saw about the white women. Nobody rushes to call these white women a hoe when they go from man to man to man. It's, you see a black woman, right? Three years, two men. Oh, that's a hoe. Oh, it's, what, it wasn't a year and a half. She was with this guy. And now she, oh, she's a hoe. Like, it, it, it just, it, it doesn't make sense. Here's a comment. They ain't never called Kim and Chloe no hoe. They really don't. They focus on Kim's drama. I think they're, 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 they're enthralled by their outward appearance. At least Kim anyway. Chloe. But they don't call Kim and Chloe hoes. And they, they be going, and, and not only do they go through these men, they go through these black men like water. At what point do we just, Kim the hoe, Kim the hoe. Lori is a hoe for five men in three years. How, we we can't even count on all of our fingers and toes how many men the 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 damn Kim and Chloe done went through in the past couple years. Mm -hmm. So why is it that we're so? I I just wish we could at least keep the same energy or at least understand that it's not realistic to think that a non married woman. We're not talking about no woman that's married and out here doing dirt. We're talking about a single woman exploring her options. Why are we so quick to demonize a black woman? And leave the white woman and the non-black woman unscathed. It's 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 fucked up in my opinion. Because if your granny was doing it, if your mama was doing it, if your mama got divorced from Donald or Butch, and she decided to go on two or three dates a month, and you found out that your mama had two new bodies a year, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't call her a hoe. You would say, you know what? You got out that relationship with that piece of shit. Live your life, mama. It's not like she out here doing sneaky links every month. Every whatever, two men a year? That's nothing. That's nothing. You know, and, and, and especially don't even get me started on being single and having a little fuck buddy where you can just have your casual sex and y'all don't even expect anything from each other except for to, to scratch each other's itches. What's a hoe about that? About a mutual understanding with... Uh, uh, <laughs> Man, if my mother leaves some long, crazy relationship and somebody was driving her crazy and I found out that she fucked two men last year, she's not a hoe. She's living her single fucking life. But hey, I don't know. We ain't talking about... We, I ain't gonna cape for Kim. Um, but I do want to ask, uh, in the last five years, how many women has Kim slept with? Or how many men has Kim slept with? What'd you say? Ask the question again. The last five years, how many men has Kim Kardashian slept with? <laughs> In the last five years? Yep. More than five. Maybe you don't follow? What are their names? I don't know their names because I don't know what all the pink colored people look like, but I know it's more than five. <laughs> Jay, Jay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't. It's, it took me a people. long time to even remember Pete Davidson's name, and the only reason I remember his name is because he got that tattoo with the um the Turin name mm -hmm. on his neck. Other than that, I don't remember what all them people look like. She called herself taking a break from black men and all that. Mm. But not to mention, she hasn't been divorced for the last five years either, though. Well, that's so, what I'm, that was that was part of my point is that she was actually. But before one. she got married to Kanye, let's right. not act like she was this pretty. Pretty, a pretty version. Hell, Marilyn Monroe is a hoe too. I mean, if you if you're going by that standard, mm -hmm. but, but well, you, but I don't dis, I'm not disagreeing, with, but we're not calling them just those are Hollywood hoes, and apparently they have a little bit more skin in the game than regular. No, hoes. they're white hoes. There's a we're, difference. Well, well Lori Harvey's white, a Hollywood hoe too, though. So right, right, uh, but, but but by your standard and your definition, sure, right, right. But for some reason, we 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 slap the label a hoe on black women, but when it comes to these white women. Taylor Swift, for example. <laughs> I don't know nothing about Taylor. I don't know. I, that's one pink person I don't know anything about. I'll give you that. Okay, but we don't... Nobody in, in the media... And, and it comes up on the blogs that cover white people or whatever. I don't know. Like, like, like Hollywood Unlocked, E! News, People Magazine. I don't know. Like those different things. We don't... Don't, don't nobody be... She's a whole... She, but, but, but when it comes to black women, right? And, and a lot of times this stuff comes out because people are so intrusive. They're so intrusive. It's not like they're sending these pictures to the blogs. 
we would have never yeah. even known that Lori was dealing with future had she not been in the car and trying to cover herself up with the jacket. She didn't want that to be known. They're getting out there. Let's listen now. They, that's, they, and, that, and, that, and that's your assumption. And that's your assumption. She, you saw the picture she just took with the new, the, the British dude. Now that those pictures were in. God bless her. He is a. Yeah. And quite yeah. frankly, he's a friend of Michael B. Jordan. So at this point, she's getting past And acquaintance, around, so how do you know they friends? How do you know they friends? You acquaint see okay, picture? okay, Jane. Okay, Jane. Yeah, I have seen him in the picture. But right. acquaintance. They're colleagues. They, okay. They're actors. She's getting passed around the industry. And it's 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 crazy. That's that's your thought? You Am, know, I Am I wrong? Am I wrong? She's getting passed around the industry, Jane. Where her regular dude from Memphis? And you being passed around your hometown? You said you fucked five people in the last. Dang, three, it's not years. about me. It's about Lori Hart. No, no, no. It is about you because it's about the double standard that you place on women in general. You're no different. That's 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 whole. That's my whole point. You got all of us are broke. There is nobody that's rich watching this stream. There is nobody making Idris Elba money, dancing Idris money watching P Diddy money watching this stream. Everybody is broke watching this stream, myself included. Don't think that because you broke and you don't have money and you done fucked five people in the last three years that, oh, I I'm not a hoe because I'm not getting money off of it. You're a hoe. You passing that dick around to everybody in your hometown. Use a hoe. Use a hoe. I'm going to go back to what the comments said earlier. In actuality, I have slept with zero women in the last five years. So I'm not a hoe anymore. You can play semantics or play daft or, you know. You but can I'm not, play I'm not a hoe anymore, Jane. And I think mm -hmm. that that should be acknowledged. Because mm -hmm. you have, what other proof do we have? Do we have my pictures on Instagram to say, mm -hmm. oh, sh there go Gaston being a hoe again? Mm -hmm. Nah. So I'm not a hoe, y'all. Yeah, I take it back. Oh, wash clean. Mm hmm. <laughs> I, I'm 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 a bo I'm born again, y'all. There you go. Mm hmm Just Jay says she's gonna come up here and regulate. Just Jay, take take it easy, okay? What 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 you got to say? What are your thoughts? Just Jay? I'm just relaxing. As you can see, I had a cigarette. You know. <laughs> um... <laughs> Listen, chat. What? Listen, 2023. I am not entertaining reprobates. You understand me? I refuse on? to even try to rationalize the rhetoric of these insane people. At the end of the day, I'm not sure why people are overly concerned about other people's crotches. I don't know if it's an issue in said quote unquote community, but we have this uh, over occupation like this 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 thing where we just always have to worry about other people house and what they doing the girl is in her 20s okay this this speaks volume to the nature of sick-minded individuals right let's 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 put her under lock and key shout out to y'all who think this is like 300 centuries ago um she got options and niggas don't like that let's let's keep it real she's gorgeous niggas don't like it because they want to lock her up in the house at the end of the day nobody don't know what she doing with her crotches except for her and the people that was up in it just like we don't know what you doing with your crotches mr gaston i i prefer not to be called a baker in the comments please well i don't know nothing about the comments but i mean i understand that but Wait, Again, what, I mean, you calling Lori a hoe? I mean, what is it? Come on, man. It's just Jay. No, in all seriousness, I'm up here, you know, What's, to be supportive. You know, hold on, hold on. What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> no, he said a I mean, naker. Somebody calling him a a you know, a naker you a naker. naker. A well, I I know I said niggas. I said hold niggas on, several I'm, times. I'm so I can set some ground rules because I don't what gets in. Nigga, nigga, nigga is a term of endearment in our community. Naker is a derogatory term used by women to insult men of African American descent. I, I really don't appreciate it. Like I'm you talking about you talking about the word that's spelled N A K E R. Correct. Okay, so let me just say this: sometimes people use that word in the chat because when you put nigga, whether it be with the hard E R or the A, sometimes the algorithm. Jane, they label Jane, the video Jane, as offensive. I'm sorry, I, Jane, this is your channel, but let's not play slick and loose with words. We know Nobody's exactly playing what slick. If anybody's been playing anything for words, it's been you. What I'm telling you is sometimes okay. people misspell curse words or offensive words in the chat for the sake of not trying to set off the algorithm. Some people come in here and they spell shit, S-H-Y-T. Somebody, some people have been calling you a hoe in the chat and they've been spelling it H-A-U. So I apologize if you find Naker offensive 
What I'm saying is some people intentionally spell it wrong because they understand how YouTube's algorithm works and they don't want to set it off, which will shadow ban my video. So I'm sorry mm -hmm. that you feel that way. And I'm sorry that you find the word naker to be offensive. But he here's what I'll do to meet you in the middle, right? Because I'm, I'm not trying to play coy with you. Trust me, I don't have time to, to, to play with words with you, okay? If y'all want to call him a nigga in the chat with an A, not the hard E-R, call him that. He clearly has an issue with N-A-K-E-R, so don't use it. Just go ahead and spell nigga out and call him that instead so that we can keep his feelings in mind as you comment about whatever it is that he has to say. But we can continue. Because I do want to make that clear. Um, and I know, again, this is your platform. If you don't want to go down that road, we don't have to. But, um, I mean, men's feelings are important too, right? So It is. And I, I use the term naker too in other people's chats because, again, sometimes putting N-I-G-G-E-R, it'll get the video demonetized. Right. It'll get the video shadow banned. So sometimes I, I, I've, I've literally never heard what you just said. But, hey, hey, your feelings are important. So look, y'all. I could, I could, put, I could, I could put nigga um, in the chat, or if 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 you can even put ninja in the chat, if 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 whatever, just don't put naker because we want to. He said men's feelings are important. We want to keep his feelings at the forefront. We need to make sure we protect his feelings and we take care of his feelings. But we can continue. Thank you. So just Jay, I'm sorry you were saying I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, shit, I don't even remember. This is hilarious. Yeah, you know, this, uh, again, we're talking about celebrities, but this is the type of, uh, this is the type of behavior that goes across the board, right? In general, people want others to be considerate of their feelings of how they are impacted by the things we say and the things we do, but yet we don't express that same consideration. Yes, Lori is a, a is a celebrity. You have called her a hoe. Right. I mean, I'm I'm not understanding why all of a sudden we just we so invested in, you know, now we have to get a whole lesson on on what nacre means and all, like come on come on now. It's it's just it's just too much, baby. First of all, this whole thing started out when she was asking you about yo ho tactics. Then, then we swerved off the road and it went to Beyonce and her whole tactics and how she was raised and all this. At the end of the day, people have to be responsible for their own behavior. And I think if we all were more occupied with our own behavior and our own crotches, I think we would be in a better place, personally. I'm not sure why people so pressed. Shout out to the 50 year old niggas and the 60 year old niggas on YouTube that be pressed about what Lori doing. And how she gonna be ran through and she ain't gonna be able to find a husband and all like listen y'all need to stop and mm -hmm. gaston i am sure that you will be willing to to empty your pockets if lori presented herself to you i never now, said we lori just, wouldn't be able to find a husband okay no, i Kim didn't say that's what you said husband. are you are you 50 60 year old nigga is that no, because that I, ain't what it looked like because no, that's what i said no, okay I'm not. Well, babes, I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't referring to you just then. I was, I was giving a shout out to the 50 and 60 year old niggas on the internet. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure you would be willing to empty those pockets if Lori presented her fine, beautiful self to you. So, I'm just saying. Now, Will she that, get the time of day? Yes, is, that, is that to me or the 50 or 60 year olds? Because you made a difference. You want to play games and I ain't here to play. I mean, you, said, you told me, like, no, that wasn't for you. So, I want to know what you're talking to me. You like to play semantics, and like I said, 2023, I'm not entertaining reprobates. Black people have a habit of, of wanting to deflect, and we'll talk, we'll, we'll go round and round the mulberry bush. That ain't got shit to do with nothing. Uh -huh. I personally don't have the patience. Now, I behave because this Jane platform, but yeah, I don't have the patience. At the end of the day, why people can't be concerned with their own goddamn behavior? That's what I want to know. You think Lori like being called a hoe? She is a celebrity, but you think she like that? You think she like being called a hoe? Hmm. Uh, That's an honest question. If you could answer that, guys. She's a I person. Think, she I has feelings. The, right. I think if the check clears, she wouldn't mind. Mm, shout out to the niggas that stay tricking. That, like that's but, an assumption. That's like like that's an assumption. You talk you talking about the check clear. Every everything's not about money. And trust me, Lori doesn't. Well, that's the thing. We don't even know what checks are being cut. This is this this is my whole what, point. We don't even being, know. What check is being cut to call her a hoe? Like what, what they got to do with you calling her a hoe? Talking about she being figure. passed around. She's a public sir. Figure. There are plenty of people are that have on, never you asked me, ask me questions to answer them, or you ask questions to answer yourself. 
Okay, well, listen, go ahead. Go well, ahead. Yeah, yeah, you do your thing. Sure, listen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't, I, yeah, okay, I ain't it. No. <laughs> Who's this picture on your uh thing, just Jay? A lame ass nigga. Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Looking at another lame ass nigga. <laughs> You got, I'm going to have to, let me, let me get Dr. Umar to mediate this. Things are about to get heated, you guys. Hold yeah, on. This education, special education, psychiatric medication, juvenile incarceration, emotional frustration, and premature extermination. <laughs> oh, yeah, I cannot. Yeah, I cannot. Listen, I'm, I'm serious, Gaston. Like, I just, <laughs> Comical to me. I just I can't play these games with people. Cause what I realize, people will be batshit crazy out here trying to rationalize and make sense with unreasonable people. And I I'm, I'm just not doing it though. No Listen, I got enough problems in my life and going around and around with people that don't make no sense. Mm -mm. Just no. About, let's talk about it, just Jay. Okay, Ain't so nothing to talk about. Hold on. Let's let's get back to the last question because I'm interested in hearing his answer about it. Do you think that and, and and honestly, the answer that you gave, if the check clears, I'm sure it's not about you being sure, and it's not about her being offered a check to be called the hoe. Like that doesn't even make any sense. That's a deflection, and 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 that's an effort to take the conversation in a whole another place. Do you think Lori Hart? Because you 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 let it be known. You put your foot down. I don't want to be called a naker, which oh. Jay, Jay. Jay. Okay, right? Jay. right? No, no, no. Let, let me finish my question and okay. I'm going to shut all the way up and let you answer it. Okay. Do you think Lori Harvey is okay or wants to be, as a black woman, I'm not sure if you would respect a white woman the same or any different. If Taylor Swift asked you if you would just shut the Do you think Lori Harvey is okay with being called a hoe as you like to so effortlessly let that shit leave your lips and call her that do you think that she would be okay with that and i don't want to hear about no check clearing because that's not an answer that's an assumption well i'll elaborate on the check clearing what i meant to say by with that is if the check clears she's still getting paid from instagram she's get, still getting paid from whatever else whatever other medium is using her pictures using her likeness so be, that's not being a, i don't want to hear about pictures figure, though that's not answering the question being a public figure comes with certain things that's not answering the question I'm How's asking you if you because you 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 got this little picture up here on the screen, right? And 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 it's, but don't nobody want to hear Jane. about you. Don't you you don't nobody talking about these pictures when you don't want to be called the naker. A lot of people say when well, you came up on this platform, you open yourself up to whatever people say in the chat, right? Because that's that's really the equivalent of what you're saying. However, we took your feelings into consideration because you mm. have defined naker to be a derogatory term, which a lot of people haven't. But hoe is definitely a derogatory I'm, term. I'm so I don't want to sure hear about her being a, a, a public figure. Do you think that she's okay with being called a hoe? Because so it seems you're determined to call her a hoe regardless. Do you think she's okay with that? Or do you just not care? Because that's what you want to call her. So uh, can you ask that question again? You want to call Lori Harvey a hoe. And it seems you're finding any excuse to do that. And you're using, well, she, she be posting pictures. She's a public figure. No, I didn't ask you about her. I, of course she posts pictures. And you, I mean, the sky is blue, right? Just like my shirt is blue. Just like I'm cute, right? We all know that. <laughs> We're asking you, you don't want to be called a certain term. We're asking you, do you consider or even take Lori Harvey and what she prefers that no woman wants to be called a hoe, right? Do you think Lori Harvey wants to be called a hoe? Yes or no? Not bringing up a check clearing, not bringing up her posting pictures or being a public figure. It's common sense. Do you think Lori Harvey wants to be called a hoe? Yes. All right. That's your so that's your final answer? Because I'm waiting. Is that the final answer, Gaston? Like, honestly. Because, you know, honestly, calling somebody a hoe is derogatory. And mm -hmm. you find naked derogatory. And I literally stopped the whole chat and I even laid down ground rules. Even though, honestly, I find it to be absurd as fuck. I find it to be absurd. But I'm going to lay down that ground rule because you're a guest here. I but it's crazy that. how you don't you don't take a woman's per I can tell you from any woman's perspective, black, white, Indian, green, but I'm a black woman and so is Lori. That's that's disrespectful what you call her, but it, it don't stop you from saying it because that's what you want to say. It makes you feel better by calling her that even though you sleep with more than five women in three years. So you don't give a fuck about black women's feelings. No, you just said all women. people to take women. your feelings into consideration. Mm-hmm. 
that's interesting. And 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 and, and do you want me to elaborate, or is it not? Important? I mean, you can sure. The question was again: Do I think Lori Harvey's okay with being called a hoe? And I said yes. The reason why I said yes, because in your title of this video, it says Lori Harvey is a hoe? Question mark. Mm -hmm. And so the title of my video doesn't have anything to do with how what Lori feels. But go ahead. Well, the reason why I say it is because at this point, Lori Harvey is a public figure and things are going to be said about her in question or in kind. At this point, she knows what comes with it. That's not she it. Knows, but you She knows the things that people have said about her stepfather. I, I to a million subscribers tomorrow. That doesn't mean that anybody can call me. If I blow up to a million subscribers at that point, I'm a public figure too. Hell, some people would say that I'm a public figure now. That doesn't mean that I'm okay with being called anything in the book. That mm. people assume of me. You're 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 playing death and you know it, but I get it. You stick to your guns. I remember that from the Kevin Samuels situation. You're never gonna admit when you're doing or saying something that is hypocritical. You're never gonna do that, but that's okay. But just because you're a public figure doesn't mean that you're okay with every name that the general public throws at you, no matter how derogatory it is, no matter how degrading it is, no matter how demeaning it is, it doesn't mean, and she's not somebody that acts to be a public figure. Her mother just so happened to marry Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. So you playing stupid right now. You are. Well, so her mother married Steve Harvey, and then she could have left it at that. She could have been on his show a couple of times. I don't know none of Steve Harvey's other children by name, but she took it to the next level. She said, I want to be more known. I want to be out there. I think she tried acting at some point. Um, we don't know what she played or in. I'm sure she has she has an IMDb though, so we know she tried acting at some point. That, so that didn't means really. That every actor is okay with being called a hoe. If no. not, then the no. point that no. you're making. No, you're right. No, you're right. No, you're right. no, they're not. No, they're not. Every actor is not okay with being called a hoe. Like I said again, she's put a certain spirit out there of herself. You know, people have said her names in songs. She didn't. She didn't say, hey, that song needs to come off the radio. People put certain things in blogs. People put certain things in tabloids. She ain't seen no cease and desist out. Hey, this needs to come off. This isn't, that's not how I want to re be represented to the community. She wanted the fame. Sending out that's cease my... and desist is like adding fuel to a fire as a celebrity. I, right, I, I, I don't then... know if you know it or not. I, I know you like jumping all over the place and jumping off subject to the, she didn't send out a cease and desist. If every celebrity sent out a cease and desist, it would make things 89 times worse. I didn't say whether or not she liked being called a hoe. I said, is she okay with it? And I think she is right. okay with it. I don't think she likes it. Out cease and well, when Tosh, when a certain other YouTube YouTuber said certain things about a celebrity, that celebrity sued her. You're talking she wasn't about a okay Cardi B versus a Lori Harvey. Again, this goes right back into what you were talking about. Comparing Beyonce to Lori Harvey, apples to oranges. Beyonce and Lori Harvey, Cardi B and Lori Harvey are not the same. But I'm not, they're not the same exact person, but I'm have, I have to say somebody. I don't have another Lori Harvey to compare Lori Harvey to. Exactly. Well, I mean, you have to, you have to say somebody. You have to say somebody because uh, right. you just insist on going round and round this mulberry bush. And this is what happens when people have a need to be right. Shout out to your boy KS. You have a need to be right. So you're willing to say anything that doesn't even make fucking sense. Okay. Because for you to say that she's okay with being called a hoe, you would have to be in her mind. Right. So, so it's a safe assumption, right. Based on, your information that you're providing about IG and all this other IMBD. Listen, listen, it's too much. You, right. you, you didn't appreciate being called a fucking naker, okay? So we could safely that. assume, and we so we could safely assume that any other decent regular person, especially a woman, because double standards will always exist, okay? We could safely assume that any particular woman wouldn't want to be called a hoe. In this case, Lori Harvey. I don't understand why this is so difficult. Why why does this have to... I, I don't get it. This is crazy making behavior. And like I said, 2023, ain't nobody entertaining reprobates. This, this, is, this is madness. This is common sense. I don't get it. You so we could call it. her a hoe all day long, but you said nothing about that super chat about KS tricking on the AF and making money off of niggas. Off, off, a, off of motherfuckers who want to lick wounds all day and, and let's play patty cake with each other because we angry at all these old black ass women. Liz, you ain't made not one comment about his tricking. 
I didn't know I was supposed to. What, what did you I mean, mean, you're not. I'm. I'm not. I'm just saying, babes. It's. 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 It's, it's just. I mean, you do what you want. I'm just saying for me, it's indicative of where your mindset is. I, I can comment on it. if You like You don't have to. I'm just making a point. I Make your point. Ask your question. The whole point is if you wanted to comment and bring balance to the conversation, I, I I instead, right instead of coming with a spirit of I am, I that am was, man, I'm up here, women are down here. Okay. Yeah. I was invited yeah. up here. Now we both, I, hey, I was invited up here. I wanted to have the conversation. I thought it'd be mm-hmm. funny. Yeah, you know, kind of taking a left turn. But I'm you were try here. you were trying to be funny. Oh I thought we were all trying to be funny. But when, hey, when did it I'm take a left either. turn, babe? When did it take a left turn? Tell I me think, when. Think, when when think people stop laughing. Left, I think it took a left turn. Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been laughing. I think it took okay. a left turn when you decided that you didn't want to be called something that a lot of people didn't even find to be derogatory. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do a vote in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you find Naker. N a k e r to be derogatory, and put a two in the chat if it's not derogatory. Now, That's what the time that before, you hold on, hold on, hold on. But, you to, had to, to educate. You, you let us know what you don't woman, feel okay with. Hold up. If you're a black woman, you wouldn't find this term offensive. So to ask you black find women what term offensive? The term that I said this term is t- commonly used. I am get, a black woman, and I right. don't find nigger to be. Exactly. I just said you wouldn't find it. Hold on, let me finish my point because you interrupted me, so you're not getting the whole picture. Okay. Right. So we're gonna ask the chat to vote. Let's see if we get any ones at all. Let's see if anybody feels like Naker, right? Because it's not just black women in the chat; it's black men in the chat too. Okay. And quite a lot of them. One, if Naker is a derogatory or a disrespectful term towards black men or black people, and a two if it's not so when you decided to come up here and she's a hoe she's a hoe everybody know hoes is a, it, it, it's a derogatory term unless right. you out here saying i'm a hoe i'm a paid hoe it's derogatory but she's a paid hoe see that's your opinion and i can sit up here and say you're a broke naker but you don't like that and you've determined that to be derogatory Right. right, and that's only based off of what you've said. So you it's, you want to keep not calling? Based on what I said, no, I can you, show you, you evidence of. You, let me go ahead and hit the mute button on you because you, what, what you got to do is you definitely got to let me finish because you're not getting the point. And so for you to continuously call a black woman, because see, you 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 brought other black women, and and the difference between a Lori Harvey and a Cardi B and a Lori Harvey and a Beyonce is they're real life entertainers and celebrities. Lori Harvey is a social media influencer. So you can twist and play these games all you want, but what I haven't heard you do is compare Lori Harvey to any of these whole slut ass white social media influencers or people. See, because for some reason we don't equivalent the white people who sleep with more than five people in three years to being a hoe. And so the false equivalencies that you bring up and and, and you still want to call Lori Harvey a hoe. And I've already told you it's disrespectful to call a woman that. And you're like, but she's a hoe. And that's why there's some people in the chat still calling you a naked. Because why are we supposed to respect your feelings when we're telling you it's disrespectful to black women and you won't even bring other white women into the fold? You won't bring other non-black women into the fold and say, you know what, these non-black women that I know and took picture with more than five men in three three years, they hoes too. You're fixated on black women in this. And so that's really where it took a left. You want to pump the brakes as to what you are and what you aren't called and what you consider to be a derogatory term. And there are plenty of black women in the chat letting you know that calling a woman a hoe, especially when you don't even know who they really fucking. You've seen five pictures in three years and you're assuming she done fucked them all. And that's an assumption. And so for you to pump the brakes on yourself and feel like you can just go all gas with this black woman and you really don't even know what's going on in her bedroom, I think that's where things took a left because people are pulling your card. You're being hypocritical. You're being hypocritical. And I think that's where things took a left and people were already feeling some type of way about it in the chat and they took that opportunity of, wait a minute, he got feelings? He don't want to be called what? But he calling Laria what? Oh, please. So... To answer your question, that's where things took a left. (laughs) 
So somebody can say something or jump in. That's that's what I needed to. Well, say. um, again, like I was saying, it's very indicative of the mindset of 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 people when we are okay punching down on others, but we are highly offended when people punch down on us. I personally think that it's in human nature to be hypocritical, right? By by definition, by definition, we are hypocrites, right? But it, it does say a lot when people lack the self-awareness. You feel me? Like I have biases. I'm well aware of those biases. And I think that many times I know me myself, I can appreciate a conversation a lot more if people were honest about their biases. The undercurrent with conversations like these, okay, like like let's keep it real. The undercurrent, it boils down to black women. Black women cannot get a fucking break from said people. And it's unfortunate because it is obvious there was nothing to say about Taylor, Kim, whoever. Are, are people pointing this out just to say, oh, look what they're doing? No, it's to point it out and say, well, my God, you, you, you seem to not have a problem with this, but you have a problem with this. So, so even if we're going to go there, there is double standards when it comes to us and them. And how people like yourself, i.e. black men, choose to view said women. Kim is looked at as a businesswoman and whatever else, even though she's been busting the light, like spreading it low, busting it wide since I don't know when, back when she even had that damn unibrow. Okay. Men don't be concerned with that. That 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 don't be none of the concern. And I, I, I personally find it disgusting. I personally find it fucking pathetic that people lack the fucking wherewithal to look within themselves. I have fucking biases, but guess what? I can acknowledge those biases. That's why I can present myself and come into a conversation and be transparent. When you have an undercurrent of bullshit, people going to weed through that bullshit. Even if they can't put a finger on it, they're going to be able to weed through it. Now... I learned about that word that you spoke on earlier, Naka. I learned about that in, in, in YouTube spaces. Before that, I, I had never really heard the word. Right. And so, well, yes. It's, it's, it in this news clip one time. I, I, who okay. Was she, who was she, I never it, heard it, it was a white YouTube woman. Either. Okay, so. She about the Lakers, and she said, Naker or something Don't like give that. me the line, sis. I don't know. I remember the clip. Just I just Jay, can't can you, can you remember what that was. you heard, heard it? Um, I heard it. I mean, spaces on YouTube, like quote unquote, manosphere areas. I've heard it in the areas with the women because I peruse YouTube streets. I'll be everywhere. I'll be I'll be on lives where people don't even speak English. You understand what I'm saying? But I've, I've seen it in spaces. So um, I can imagine from what I've seen that the word is derogatory. Right. I don't totally understand the origins of it. You have explained it. But this is my thing, Gaston. Jane took the time to acknowledge your offense. And that's what makes the difference. Now, that means that a person has to have the capacity to empathize, even though she didn't totally subscribe to the fact that you were offended. She acknowledged you were offended. Mm -hmm. Now, she said she thought it was bullshit because you're sitting here calling somebody else a hoe and you see nothing wrong with it. But yet she acknowledged your experience and acknowledge your feelings. And because she brought you up here, she wants to be respectful and treat you as the guest you are. And so she said what she had to say to the people in the chat as well. Like that, that's all it's about is acknowledgement. You know, right. that doesn't mean that that's going to change your perception of Lori or any other woman. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're entitled to that. I would I, like, I'm one of them people. I don't tell people how to feel. You feel how you feel. Now, that's going to dictate how I choose to move with a person. But, yeah, people feel how they feel. And that's fine. But I feel like if you could if, if, if you or me or anybody was more aware of our biases and, and how we, we switch up depending on situations, I, I think that the conversation could be had with a little bit more um, transparency and and just coming from a more genuine place. You know, it, it, it just comes off ab absurd when when. You know when it's presented that way, you feel yeah. me? Because they, they ain't like you, the only person feel that way. Because like like she said, it's women out here who might feel that way about Lori too. So I don't want you to feel like I'm just coming at you just because you're a, a man per se. Well, no, and and I agree. You know, I'm here, right? And again, like I said, I'm always here for the conversation. And uh, I think that one thing I want to make clear is that I didn't have any issue when Jane called me a hoe because we were based on the same standard, you know, on what made Lori Harvey a hoe. 
And so when Jane said, well, that makes you a hoe too. I said, okay, you're right. I am a hoe. So again, when I found particular disdain with this one word, I explained why. And I made it very clear. And, you know, there were people in the comments who continued to call me that word. And that's fine. But again, it's a word that's derogatory towards black men said more specifically by black women. And I haven't said anything derogatory about black women since I've been on this panel. Now, I've said something derogatory about Lori Harvey, but that's because that's what's in the title and that's what I came up here to talk about. And again, I was trying to be funny, trying to keep the conversation going. Don't know Lori Harvey personally. You're right. I don't know if she's been sleeping with these men individually. I know she's taking pictures with them. And I'm pretty sure Future has. Future's not really the type of dude to be saying women's names and songs that he hasn't, whatever, right? But um, that's possible. She had. It's possible she's a virgin. We don't know. But the point is, you know, I came up here, you know what I'm saying, to have a conversation, to have some fun with Jane. I love Jane's channel. And Jane's a very respectful creator, so happy to be here. But, you know, there's something bigger to be said here. And I really want to have that conversation if that's what we're going to do tonight. If not, then, you know, I'll just go ahead and shut up. I mean, well, listen, can, can I shoot the shit right quick, though, Jane? Uh, let's keep it real, Gaston. If, if Jane was ugly as fuck, would you be up here? If the girls wasn't out, would you be up here? Ew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, there's truth in Jess. You understand what I'm saying, but... <laughs> No, yeah, I, yeah I support, I'm, I'm just I support, curious. I support any hardworking black woman. Mm, do how tell. How Lori's hardworking, no. Is she, <laughs> we, we talked about it. Jane, is she hardworking? I'm, who, me? No, is Lori Harvey hardworking? She does have a life behind what you see. Oh, uh, shit. She, a, a minute ago, she had no talent, Jane. Now she that, no, hold, hold on. I'm talking. You you said the entertainment world, and you compared her to a Beyonce or a Cardi B. That doesn't was, mean that she doesn't work, right? Okay. I, I go and work my nine to five. <laughs> Is that talent? Am I in the entertainment industry in that aspect? No, but she yeah. does do things to make her money behind the scenes. And here's the thing, you know, it, 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 in any point that you don't agree with, it's just like you know you're in denial about it. So again, I acknowledge your feelings with the term that you found to be derogatory. You're hell-bent on calling this woman a hoe. I don't know how many times I've said that calling this black woman a hoe, especially because the standard is not even when it comes to men, and the standard definitely ain't even when it comes to white or non-black women and them being called a hoe just as much as black women are. It doesn't matter. You still set up here and said, but Lori Harvey's a hoe, right? But nobody in the chat is supposed to call you a naker. It doesn't make sense. And I'm letting you know, as a black woman, right? That's not something that you should be, you might not, you, promiscuous would be better, right? You might feel like she's fast and she's loose and really you don't know that. I really just, just think a lot of men are upset that they can't fuck her. You can't fuck Lori Harvey and you never will. And I'm sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm, you know, th th this is not for you. This is for the mm -hmm. sake of the video because I know I got to be a little sensitive with your feelings and shit like that. I appreciate you ain't it. never going to be able to fuck Lori Harvey. You never will. So it's easier to call her a hoe. I don't know if you remember high school when you might not even have met admit to shit like this, high school, college in general, when you can't get a woman that you want and you see her with one man one year and then another man in two years, you quick to call her a, a, a hoe or a slut to your homeboys all because you couldn't bag her ass. And that's the bottom line. You want people to respect your feelings and not call you a certain name and you don't even know who this woman is or is not fucking she really unfortunately just inherited the the the, the public spotlight and this hyper visibility from steve harvey and mm -hmm. she can't do shit in private anymore because any and everything is going to be leaked it doesn't matter what new restaurant she finds she could fly to bailey cabo haiti this place this that or the third and they're going to take pictures of whoever the fuck she's having lunch with and her lunch dates might not even be somebody she's fucking mm -hmm. it could be somebody for a work opportunity a job or whatever but see the, the 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 general public likes to make so many assumptions and it's i think i feel like and listen i'm gonna bring up your daddy kevin samuels because that's your daddy right it's so easy for kevin samuels followers to sit here and say negative shit about black women y'all don't come at asian women that way y'all don't come at the kardashians that way y'all don't come but it's so easy for y'all to sit and relish she's a hoe what what negative thing but she not a hoe if she giving you some true the five women that you fuck a month 
or whatever the case is. Oh, 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 they not hoes. They, they, right. they the bitches you getting your rocks off of from. So it's easy for y'all to sit and relish in, in, in the feeling that you get when you're calling a black woman a derogatory name for whatever reason. And that's the real unfortunate part here. To see, you, you want to talk about the larger conversation that needs to be had. That's the conversation. Why do y'all feel so happy when y'all call a sexually fluid black women, woman, of a fucked up name or, or put some derogatory stamp on her. Why does that make y'all so happy when honestly, a lot of y'all are doing a lot worse? Cause I asked you if you fucked five women in the last three years, the answer was yes. And really the answer is probably three, four, five times that. But I'm not time. a hoe. You can't assume that. You can't assume what? You can't assume how many people I've been. Oh, really? But you me. can assume who Lori Harvey fucked, but I can't assume things about you. This is the hypocrisy within you and what you present. It's an assumption based on evidence. Exactly. Based off the evidence and, and, and what you so say. So evidence it, have I presented you? First, the first three words you said was, it's an assumption. It's right. exactly what it is. And you call Lori Harvey a hoe with nothing more than an assumption. Have right. you seen her pussy facts? No. Mm. But you call her what you want to call her, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my fucking point. Yes, Stone. Yes, ma'am. See, now I be feeling now I feel bad for you. See, that's the thing. Most people think I'm 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 the mean one, but I I be empathizing with y'all's asses because she done ripped your head off. Now you sitting over here in the corner looking crazy over this there by that that, that 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 Hulk. This is Jane's platform. I'm not trying to rip Jane's head off on her platform. You know better, but you wouldn't do it anyway. I mean, you though. can try and rip whatever you want, but you don't even have any logic to hold up what you're saying. You going based off of assumptions, but when I use those same sort of assumptions on you, you don't like it. You can't assume that about me, Jane. Well, you can't assume that about her. I'm just, I'm just fighting this type of janky ass fire with the same type of janky ass energy, and you don't mm. like it, and you won't let it ride. And so, therefore, the same applies to Lori Harvey. I won't let what ride. Let's. You about. won't let the energy. What are you about to talk about this I'm little crazy stuff? The assumptions <laughs> that, that I've thrown your way are uh -huh. the same type of assumptions you've thrown. You just said you haven't seen Lori Harvey's pussy facts, right? Right. Right. And so I just tried to throw the same type of assumptive logic because I asked you if you fucked more than five people in the last three years because that's what we're working with with Lori Harvey. Five right. pictures. And, and even to say, I, I asked you if you fucked five people in the last three years and you say yes. Right, we don't even know if Lori Harvey will fuck these five niggas in three years. All we got is pictures, so we're right. going off of assumptions. And you've called her a hoe more than fifteen times, almost twenty times. You didn't called her a hoe based off of a what? An assumption. And so when I use that logic on you, you you you, you try to pop the brakes, Jane. You can't say that, Jane. You can't. Why can I? Because you yeah. use that same type of logic on Lori. Well, Lori, why logic? can I use it on you? The logic was you calling her a hoe because you're assuming that she's a passive her because you're assuming that she done fucked five people. Right. What was your assumption based on, I guess, is what I'm saying. Are you not listening? Like, what, right. what, what are you missing? I'm missing the part where you said my assumption about you being I a just and said, sat up here and having, said to you. well, you said three to five times that number. That was what I was referring exactly. to. Exactly. And, and it's not the what was that an based assumption. On? Right, right. Well, and that's an assumption. Based on that's what? an assumption, right? Based on what? It's an assumption based off the off, off of the way that you're talking and the way that you're presenting yourself. So whether it be three or five people, whether I want to multiply the body count, because I, I asked you about five. You didn't give me an exact number. You just said it was five or more. Right. I so I made an assumption. More. I made an assumption based off of what? Yeah, I'm asking. No, no right. What, what, what did I make the assumption based off of? Bullshit, it sounds like. Ex exactly. And what's your assumption based off of? Pictures. Bullshit. Because that doesn't mean she fucked them. I've got plenty of pictures with niggas. I ain't fucked them all. <laughs> Facts. I get that. <laughs> that was a good one. You, you, you put that together. And, and that's why I'm a fan of your channel. Because quite frankly, again, y'all don't know, but I think Jane is an excellent content creator again. And it's ironic though when we talk about black men, black women, all that. Um, I've been big up in black women since I've been up here as well. Like again, Lori Harvey's one black woman. Said great things about Beyonce. Said great things about Cardi B. Said th great things about Jane. But we want to focus on the native things I said about Lori Harvey. 
I find that interesting. Why is it so? Why is because it so? It's because because it's the hypocrisy. You want a certain exclusion. You want people to not call you or make an assumption about you or call you a certain name or 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 label you in a way that's negative. But you want to label a certain black woman based off of nothing more than what. Bullshit, an assumption. You want to say that about a black woman, but you want these black women, because ain't nobody, I, I, I can guarantee you that 99.9% of this chat is black. You don't want any of these black women to call black you a women. nigger because yeah. you find it to be what? Derogatory. I guarantee mm -hmm. you there ain't in, in any black women in this chat that find the, 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 the name or the label ho to be something that they delight in. And so that's when people really light you up. Had you had you not really came out about that naked shit, there really wouldn't be as much ammo to throw at you. But, but it's not about that, delighting in the word, Jane. It's about again the word naked is offensive because of the the thing and that. that and, but but that's right. your opinion. You don't find the word "hoe" offensive because you you just easily it's in your title. It Do you feel like it's you two offensive? don't find it offensive? It's in your title. No, it's not that I don't find it offensive. You call it me is. a hoe. And that's why I put the question mark, because I don't agree. I don't agree. That's why you see, do you see the question mark afterwards? Or do you I see do. an exclamation point? And you see me saying, you know what? Lori's a hoe. No, that has been the sentiment on social media. And I'm here to defend her ass because I don't find her to be a hoe. So no, you you trying to make it seem like because of the title of this video, it means I find it to be a, a term of endearment. Baby, you gotta play a better. You gotta find a, a better way to play semantics with your yeah. words, cause this ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> so, what was the last point you was trying to make about me thinking that "ho" is a is an okay term to use about black women because of the way that's the video not, was that's titled? Not, that's not. That's not anything about what I was about to say. Okay, so and it's like, it, and that's that's why when I said I'll, you, I'll, I'll I said be quiet. Earlier, I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet. And I'll mm -hmm. let you tell me about what about my title and, and, and to make your last point. When I said earlier about, you know, we all play a slick and loose words. Um, again, I didn't say anything about black women as a group. This stream, this conversation is about Lori Harvey and the choices that she's made on the information that she's putting out to gain fame, to gain celebrity. You think she's so, doing it to gain yeah. fame? She really is just living her 20 year old life. But and the paparazzi are stalkers. Do, do, do you agree that the paparazzi literally stalk these celebrities and their celebrity children? Do you agree? I can agree with that. OK. So when she takes when she takes her Instagram account and deactivates it or she deactivates her other mediums that she's using to make money. Then I'll retract my statement, but she's making money. So off she of needs this to deactivate her Instagram in order for you to retract your statement about her being a hoe. She's making money off the attention. I'm all right, buddy. All right, buddy. I, I'm not going to be able to rebuttal every stupid thing you say. You say a lot of stupid shit, and I'm not about to sit here and debunk everything because part of me feels like you. I want to make it. I want no. I want to make it clear though that what what I'm saying is not about every celebrity women. makes money off of their Instagram, but, whether it's positive or negative. That doesn't mean I make money off of videos that don't even do well. I make money off of videos where people are dragging me in the comments, and the video just doesn't do great, and people drag. That doesn't mean that I want to be called those things. It just means that that's a part of the ride and the roller coaster that I'm on being a content creator and being a person that's in the public eye. Lori didn't ask for this. Right, and I didn't say she liked it. I never said she liked so it. So when I asked you if she liked being if called she, I, the hoe, you said You asked me if she's okay with it. And you said she's a celebrity. She's in the spotlight. Jane, that was how you answered you, it. Jane, if you, if you hit a million subscribers tomorrow and it was a video that everybody said, oh, Jane a hoe, Jane a hoe, Jane, on that video made you hit a million subscribers would you take the video down and lose? I would all the take it down, but what? But would that erase what people already think? You can delete whatever the fuck you want to delete off the internet. Does that mean that the scrutiny? Let me back. Let me back up. Would you take down, go away? Would you take down your channel? Would I take down how I make my money? Right. And how I live my life just right. because people are calling no. me a hoe based off of one post and out I of eight hundred. 
Right. And that would make... take down my entire channel because some people are assuming the way, you know, we just sat here and we talked about the assumptions and you felt like me calling you a hoe. And so would I take down my entire channel because a small mm -hmm. percent of the population was calling me a hoe and how I pay my bills? I eventually want to do YouTube full time. But will I deactivate my channel every time people decide that they want to call me something that I don't agree with? Please use a little bit of common sense with the questions that you asked. Right, in. because the answer to that question is absolutely not. Because it wouldn't bother you to the extent that you would take down a major part of your life, something that you dedicate a lot of time and energy to. So that, in turn, would make me think that you were okay with it. Not that you liked it. That you That's okay a ridiculous conclusion, and it's based on what? Just like when I assume no, no. that your body it's, count... No, no, no. This, on. Is, this like is based on the fact that you don't want to take count. your channel down. When I assumed your body count was times three, you said it was an assumption based off what? Bullshit. That's a bullshit assumption to think that I'm okay with being called a certain thing because I'm not deactivating my entire page or 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 or, or an entire post or a video. Nobody's ever gonna agree. Everybody that views my videos and my content, none of them are gonna agree with what I have to say through and through. That doesn't mean that I'm obligated to delete my page in order for people to understand that I don't want to be called a term that I find to be derogatory. Mm. So what are you really saying? What I'm really saying is this was an invitation to have a conversation. And I came up here to have a conversation. None of the thoughts, views, or opinions that I've expressed this evening uh, reflect on my personal views or opinions. This is all a show. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for leaving <laughs> plenty of comments. Like the video. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Baby, Jane, 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 and I got y'all. We got y'all. Who trying to live in Kevin Samuel's footsteps so bad, baby? We got y'all. This is Kevin Samuel's Jr. right here. I invite you to come up here more and more. And I'm sorry that I get so passionate because I know what you were saying in the Discord before we before we came on. I saw what you put in the private chat. You said I knew this was cap. <laughs> kind of like I knew you was going to do this to me. And I'm sorry. I, I, I. You're, I'm you're sorry that I know. get passionate. You're good at what you do. I'm sorry that I get passionate. I think we should do a show together because I think people were. You know how Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp, they sit there and sometimes they mesh and sometimes they don't get along. But when they don't get along, the show does better. If we could talk behind ratings the scenes. Ratings-wise, yeah. Ratings-wise. <laughs> right, right, right. right Ratings-wise because that's what. If we could talk behind the scenes about boundaries and things of that nature, I, I really think that we should talk in the DMs. Um, about 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 doing the show together and um, really get to know each other a little bit better because I think people will really enjoy this. There are a lot of people who don't, but honestly, believe it or not, there's some people here who really agree more with you than me. Mm. So you know, I, I know that you said you have a channel. In the yeah, past. I did check the Discord. Um, and then like it's like you said, we could talk offline. Um, but like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Um, naker is an offensive word if you didn't know, so don't go out there calling black men at work naker. Don't go out here calling you black a victim women now. Hoes. Yes, on you, you a victim, baby. <laughs> when you don't know that black women have slept with five men and then not women, black women, just and Lori Harvey. pussy watching, right? I love, I love so don't black, be telling people not to call women. people nakers when you want to call black women hoes. Somebody said earlier in the chat that the black women in his life allowed this shit. I love black women, and it's again, very hard to tell. It's hard know, to tell. They know the difference, <laughs> Jane. They know it the is. difference between. I'm not lying. It's hard to the, tell that you love black women. They know the it, difference between entertainment and the truth. And quite frankly, me being here is a sign of me loving black women because I'm gonna support y'all through and through. You ain't gonna do that, Ike Turner 2.0 shit. Uh -uh. I'm tired of I that. Put hands, I ain't put my hands. I put my hands on now. nobody. You showing up and saying all this disrespectful, vile shit about black women and saying, you know, my presence alone let y'all know that I love y'all. Man, you take that struggle love ass bullshit back to the fucking ghetto, back in the ghettos of the 1940s, and maybe them bitches will buy it. But us, in 2023, we not buying that shit, my presence alone. No, your, 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 your rhetoric let us know all that we need to know about you and your politics and how you feel about us. And it's Friday, so we got a little bit live. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. It's, it's Friday. Friday, Friday. It's Friday, Friday, and I'm ready to sing. Um, <laughs> I had a night with a black woman. Mm. You finna stop that shit. I did. 
it be that gas lighting for me talking about I oh what it. hold on what what he said back there i knew that it was cap but i support you you thought you That's was coming on a hot was day the type of response and it's just gaston like, thought this was gonna be a hot how day. am i not supposed to get passionate about the night. fuck up shit he's saying he want to lay down ground rules for him and what he listen do that's he all i think girl i am not i am not entertaining reprobates in 2023 you understand what I'm saying? because uh listen uh people who brain ate out by worms gas <laughs> uh, like they've been huffing Can i mean it's a different thing God. Yes, and, and and yes, and that and and that's exactly what I am witnessing a lot on these YouTube streets. There's a lot of unmanaged mental illness running amok in these streets. Right. It it it, it, it yeah. I I just I personally ain't gonna be doing it. You know, because if you have a person that's willing to say anything to try to make sense of some shit that don't make no sense, nope, nope. That's crazy making behavior, and I'm just not gonna participate. See, you using all them little tactics that is normally used out here in these YouTube streets. You want to sit here and gaslight. You want to talk that shit. You want to punch down. Then you want to cry and say that people not being considerate of your feelings and this is not what you're going to be having. Then you're going to go back to deflecting, acting crazy, acting like you don't speak of the English, and then use the victim. And, oh, see, I knew this one, what it was. You, this was Cap Jane. But I support you. Come on now, that's that Ike Turner shit. I hate that old I hate hospital smell face ass shit. Come on now. We're not gonna be doing that. This time out. 2023, we're gonna have to use a little bit more sense. 2023, we're gonna have to uh have what they call mutual respect. And this is what a lot of people are missing. If we can connect and identify as human beings, okay, we we human okay, beings. This is about human beings, okay? We have an experience here. Doesn't matter if you got a, a dang lane, even right. though you ain't want to talk about said dang lane running all up and everything, but we're going to talk about Lori right. Cat. Right. Shout right. out to the fellas out here with the asparagus tips. Shout out ah. to the niggas with the unmanaged ass, passing out BV face ass niggas like Nick Cannon, but we ain't finna talk about that though. This dude look like he passing out BV like candy and got the nerve to be calling women's cats stank. See, this is what I'm saying. This is the problem I have with a lot of people out here, especially a lot of these insane men out here in these YouTube streets. Mm -hmm. Men in general are okay with fucking other men's daughters and fucking up the lives of other men's daughters, but they don't want that for the women in their lives. But not the women in their lives. I mean, don't get me wrong. You got some out here that just fucking hate. They got them mamas and shit. But in general, the 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 the, the daughters that they end up having, or or the women in their life that they care about in their circle, th those those they want to be handled with respect, and and they want those women to be handled with consideration. And you know, shout out to the fellas like, oh no, my baby girl ain't. Oh no, guess what? Your baby girl is gonna be a hoe in some niggas' eyes. Okay. Every woman has been a hoe in some man's eyes and she could be a damn virgin. And guess what? She would still get that same heat because that's how double standards work. Yep. This is why I don't argue double standards. Assumptions work. Assumptions. Right. He, he wouldn't be okay with his daughter, you know, with a couple of different pictures. And, and really, male friends are a thing, especially male friends that you ain't... Uh, uh, Child, shout know, out to the crazy man that say ain't no such thing. Ain't no such thing. She's fucking all them men. She's fucking them. He was just so letting it loosely come off as he's admitted. I don't have a pussy facts of Lori Harvey, but I'm gonna call her a hoe though. Um, okay, okay, okay. I'm just saying, we got to be a little bit more considerate of one another, but yeah, I mean, it's easy to assume, but like, let's just be honest. Like, if you if you was honestly guessed on, if you if, if you was just honest and said, Yeah, I'm assuming about her coochie mouths, I did. Well, that wasn't what you said at first, though. We 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 had to play a whole game. You you wanted us to participate in this whole uh, game when you know better. Come on, man. Why we just can't be honest about our biases? Why why we can't do that? See, that's the thing. He said, let's have let's have the bigger conversation. And then when I when we had the bigger conversation, and I bring up the points that are disrespectful, that are hurtful to black women, he's like, okay, well, well, she's a she's a celebrity, and she's not a celebrity, she's an influencer, but 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 nonetheless, does that mean she doesn't have feelings? You know what I'm saying? She invites this stuff in her life because she's a she's a public figure. Well, nigga, you brought your ass up here with this flawed ass logic, so the chat is going to say what they got to say. You're trying to control the chat, and I even help you control the chat. I'm like, listen, y'all, we got to be. God, we gotta, we gotta be careful. He's sensitive. <laughs> he 
you, you know, he I said mean, to because, them, you know, we got to protect each other, right? But other black women that you don't, Lloyd Harvey influencers, they don't deserve protection. Just the people on YouTube and clicking links, they're the only people that deserve protection. Hold on, Becca. I'm sorry. What did you say, Gaston? I said we have to protect each other, right? Who's each other? Like, who are you talking about? Who's the See, here, here we go with this crazy talk. I don't What's get it. What's the pool of people that you're talking about that need or deserve protection? Because why do some black people deserve protection and some don't? I'm trying to understand the difference in who you want to protect. I'm protecting everybody, Jane. You're not protecting Lori. Wait a minute. All. Hold on now. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, thank well, this, you for this super chat real this quick was... before we continue because, baby, he clearly want to get his ass ate up again. Street TV, thank you for the $20 super chat. I appreciate it. Street TV said, get him, Jane. Look, I'm not even trying to. It's 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 just common sense, and he clearly has double standards, and he don't even he don't he he don't even want to admit it. At Jane, first, he just double, wanted to get his at, eyeballs scratched out at, by you. Some of these men like that kind standard, of stuff. At first, his double standard was men versus women. Then it comes to well, no, a hoe has got to do with money. If you having sex for money, that's what makes you a hoe. No, that's a prostitute or a sex worker. There's plenty of broke hoes that be fucking a different nigga every day, every week, every whatever. And, and I agree with that. Got nothing to do. You agree with that, which also contradicts your very first statement that you made when you came up here, right? And then when you say we got to protect each other, I'm trying to figure out who the fuck the we is because I've let you know how disrespectful it is for you to hurl the word hoe, especially without even knowing who Lori Harvey has fucked. You don't care about that. You still want to disrespect her in that way. You still want to disrespect black women in that way, but then you expect these same black women to be in the chat and respect you. That's the issue. That That's massage noir. You don't realize it, or maybe you do, because there, there's a lot that you realize that you don't want to admit, because you, you just want to stand your ground and shit, but you, you're you you're dead wrong. That whole, I just want to, we, we, we just need to protect each other. You're not talking about who do we is. I don't even know what that means. As you can see, for the people that know me in different spaces, this is the avatar that I normally have up. So yeah, this is me holding my breath, waiting on a motherfucker to protect me. I'm good. Then be crying. Oh, shit, they so masculine. These women are out of control. Listen, women in general would, would, would not be as quote unquote masculine if we felt so protected. You, I mean, you really have to be trolling at this point to even say something like that because you, because, because you done A Town stomped on, on Lori Harvey. And now you talk about protection. Guess all this can't even be real. To be honest with you, babe, I ain't even mad with you because I just refuse to invest a lot of energy into this. This, this is mad madness. So you're not mad at this, Jay? No, not at all. If, okay. if you ever see me in different spaces, you, you'll know the difference. You you will know the difference. I actually um respect you. Yeah, you you will know the difference. I'm just saying, this is crazy making behavior. It has to stop. Who are we protecting? So and and you're right. Out here. You're you're right. It does have to stop. So who has to apologize first? Yeah. It ain't about who need to apologize. It's about self awareness and starts with self. Who comes to the about. table? No, who comes to the table first? What, what are you, you talking know? about? Here we go with this table shit. Now here you go talking crazy. What? 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 Who? Who? Who makes the first move? Like who? Like, like, who? Who are we talking about? Can we clarify who we talking about? In our community. Who, who is a part of this community? Because depending on what day it is, motherfuckers want to say these black people are part of the community, but these ain't. Now, I'm a fat ass single mother, so according to a lot of the talking points, I ain't a part of the community. So who is you talking about? Now we need clarity, okay? Make it clarity for me. Black people. <laughs> I think, I think, I think the person that needs to step up to the plate is the person acting like they protecting everybody, and that would be you. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm protecting us, Jane. I was, who, who's us? Then you say black people, but you're not protecting the people that you so easily criticizing and calling them derogatory things. Again, how many times have I said calling a woman a hoe, especially when you don't even know who she has and hasn't slept with? Right. It's disrespectful. But then you sit up here and say, I'm protecting us. And I think even me showing up on this panel means that I support and I protect black women. That's bullshit because you still want to call us hoes. I'm not. See, you keep saying us. Is I, Are you? I'm Lori a black Harvey? woman. I'm but a black you, woman. But are you Lori Harvey? Because when I tried to make the comparison. Am I Lori Harvey? Look, look at me. Tell me. Look, look at my channel name and look at my face because you asking rhetorical questions. When I tried to make the comparison between Beyonce and Lori Harvey, questions make said they wasn't the same person. Of course, but you wanted to compare Lori Harvey to a Beyonce. Right. And you wanted to compare Lori Harvey to a Cardi B. And but now, but now, we're, but now we're all black women. And now it's all black women. 
I mean, that's... if you want to keep it real, let's not play games. Uh, black women are always grouped together, and black people in general are always judged as a group. So let's let's stop playing these games now. You ain't gonna play games. You ain't gonna play in my face. Are we keeping them together. We keeping them separate. Keeping who together? Is black what in the hell? Black women group or black women individuals? Well, I speak for myself, but in general, as a collective, we are always judged as a group. Why are you acting crazy? Just like y'all black asses are judged as 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 all, all black men are judged the same. Right. Ain't nobody looking at you as no goddamn engineer architect whenever you get out the car and they say license and registration. Come on now, let's stop playing games. Right. I agree with you. So when I say Beyonce is a black woman who's an entertainer, a celebrity. And then Lori Harvey's a black woman who's a celebrity. She's not a celebrity. She's an influencer. You really need to... I don't know if you know the definition of a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Lori Harvey is not a celebrity. She is an influencer. And she is literally just the stepchild of Steve Harvey, who is a celebrity. A celebrity is somebody who was put in work in the entertainment industry to entertain the general public, albeit talk shows, singing, dancing, comedy, stand-up. Um, whatever the case is, actors, how even Instagram skits, you you might even get away with that. But that's not Lori Harvey. So you really need to stop with these false equivalencies and putting Lori Harvey and Beyonce in the same category because it's not the same. Mm -hmm. So stop that. Bring up somebody else. Well, it's not the same. Bring up somebody but they're, right it's not the same, but they're both black women. So. Uh, yeah. And the sky is blue okay. and I'm black and I'm light skinned with locks. Like, what's new with the redundant shit that you're saying? So the point was that a black woman is putting her sexual escapades, her relationships, out to the public, and another you black woman. No, 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 no. And, you and another black woman back because you don't know if she's had sex with these men, okay. and you've admitted that. Her we've already went over that. She told y'all she was out here fucking. We've already hold up, hold up, hold up. We've already went over the fact that you do not know that she's had sex with these men. You do not know that. You're assuming that because you want to fuck her and you can't. You don't know that she's had sex with these men. And going on one date with one man does not mean, or taking one picture that the paparazzi might have done, or even that you did, does not mean that you've had that 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 she's had sex with him. So stop it with this derogatory shit that you want to give to these black women that doesn't exist. Because when I assume that your sex count was times three of the five of the last three years, you told me I was assuming that out of what? Bullshit. And when I asked you why you assumed that Lori had sex with five men, you said because of pictures. And I told you that was bullshit. And you said what? You said touche. That is a good point. I assume that. So let's get it right. You're talking about a black woman. Put some fucking respect on it. You do not know she's had sex with these men. You want to degrade her so bad that you want to assume that she done fucked five men in three years and you've already admitted that you fucked more than five women or at least five women in the last three years. So at this point, you're a hoe, but continue with what you're trying to say about Lori. That we were both hoes. I agree with you. Now you do, but when you first, again, contradicting when you first called in, because at first you said you weren't a hoe, because you said I'm a guy, so I'm not a hoe. So thank right. you for contradicting yourself from when you first called in, but continue. No, because you convinced me, and I agree with, I continue to agree with the points that you're making, because you make valid points. So I said that we're both hoes, and then you didn't want to agree with that either. Because, because you've still... admitted to having sex with at least five people. You don't know if Lori done fucked these five niggas. You're assuming <laughs> that, and you've admitted but... that. Again, um, it's not just me, right? Like people who do the same job you do with investigative journalism have made these same assumptions. So again, and that doesn't make it right. Bloggers, it make it, YouTubers, right or wrong. The New York Post, everybody they make assumptions all the time. Don't think that because people make a video and title it as such an assume something that it's true. So that's not helping your case. Move on to your next point. So it's not about right or wrong. I'll give you that. It's never been about right or wrong. It's about making a show so let's make a show i think that if a woman wants to put herself out here as a influencer and the only way that we've known her to influence is by being in pictures with showing up on scenes with being named in songs um you know 
being named in songs, that being assumptions, right? Okay, what's next? I think assumptions can be made from those things. And and those are the things that the media zooms into. It doesn't mean that she's not living a life outside of the pictures that the paparazzi steals from her by impeding on her privacy. That but doesn't mean that that is her entire life. And it doesn't mean that she's having sex with those men. So what's your an point? People take on her, pictures I, of her. I think and, yours, and so I think, if people take pictures of her with a woman, who's to say she don't go both ways? These pictures mean nothing. So what's your real point here? I think you're making an imposition that she's being stalked or these pictures are being the taken The paparazzi from her. are stalkers and we are. No, they that are. Position. But we're making an imposition that she's being stalked or she's not. By the paparazzi. Come on now, stop it. No, no, stop it. But who's to say she's not volunteering these pictures? That's stop an it. assumption. Is that assumption stop or no? Stop it. And her is that an assumption? These pictures got to do with what? As far as you calling her a hoe and refusing to stop, despite the fact that I stopped the chat from calling you a naker, something that you find to be derogatory because based off of your admission, it's derogatory to black men. I'm telling you, black woman to black man, calling a woman a hoe, especially when you don't have a pussy facts, it's derogatory. Mm -hmm. But you are determined to call her that because that's the narrative that you want to paint and you you're, you're sitting here fishing through your mind of any way that you can rearrange words or facts or events or pictures to call her that because that's what you want to do so i'm asking you what do you really have to to be so determined to call her that but you want me to stop all these black women in the chat from calling you a naker but you want to call this black woman that and you don't know who the fuck she didn't open her legs to or who she hasn't. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm right here. So if I say something's offensive to me, you know, you know, it's true because I'm telling you, this is offensive to me. We don't know if that's offensive, Lori Harry or not. That's an assumption as well. But you, you also assume spoke on the behalf of black men, right? You you're said, speaking you on didn't the... say that this is a term that's offensive to me. You said people in the chat are calling me a naker and that's disrespectful to me. And that's a derogatory term to black men. That's what you said. Right. That's what you said. And right. what it's did I do? To me. I stopped the chat. Right. I stopped the chat and I said, chat, don't call him that. You didn't just make it about you. You made it about disrespect but initially, it, Hold on. it was somebody calling me that. Respect to black men. And I'm telling you that you calling Lori Harvey what you calling her based off of nothing more than assumptions. <laughs> nothing more than assumptions. I'm telling you that it's disrespectful. However, you're still determined to find a way to call her a hoe. So she won't be no hoe or she was busting it open of, for him. So you can speak on the behalf of black men and what these black women in the chat should not say. But when I speak on the behalf of black women and what you shouldn't say, you feel you're exempt from that. Why? And that's why the chat is roasting the living shit out of you right now. Because one, you're talking about me as an individual person. That's what Lori, it, that's, no, 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 no. that's how it started. It was talking about me. Well, she is an individual person. And for some reason, you and all the rest of the women in the chat are getting offended for her. And you're getting I got offended, a, I got by offended other black for, men. I got Again, offended for me. You know what? You're so bad at playing semantics. You spoke well, on it's the like behalf. You, when I'm trying to get a word spoke, in, you cut me you off. You spoke on the behalf of black men. You didn't just say, you know what? I don't like the term naker. And that offends me, period. You didn't make it about you. You made it about black men. You made it about how it was derogatory towards black men. Mm -hmm. You didn't just make it about you. And therefore, I instructed the chat to do something different, to appease your feelings, right? Had you not brought other black men into it, maybe we would be in a different spot, but that's not what you did. So I'm using your same ass logic that you used to stop people from saying something that you felt was not only derogatory to yourself, you said out of your mouth that it's derogatory towards black men. That's what you said. And so I'm telling you that the term that you're using to describe Lori Harvey based off assumptions is shit that you do not know. I'm using that same logic to say, well, then don't call her this. But you feel like, no, you feel like you you should be the exception to that rule. And that's the hypocrisy within you. I can be hypocritical. I think uh, just Jay brought that up earlier. Like we all have a little bit of hypocrisy in us. As well, I think if you acknowledged it instead of feigning ignorance, it that's what just, would uh, make the conversation a little bit different. I, I mean, just, I know I'm, what you're saying, babe, but it's the undercurrent. Like you, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't fix. Uh, 
some shit that done fell all over the floor. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yo, because it's not even like he he's admitting it. He's like, oh, well, I can be hypocritical at times. No, you were, right. you were wrong with that. You were completely it's the wrong. Gas you feel like you have the right to speak on behalf of what's disrespectful to black women, black men, right? With the term naker. You said it's disrespectful to black men in general, not just you, black men. But when I speak on the behalf of shit that's disrespectful to black women, you feel like I don't have that right. Lori, I'm an individual. And that I didn't say okay, you don't have that right. That's what you implied. Because you're you're playing yeah, with words and acting that. like you didn't speak on behalf of black men. Well, then goddammit, I'm speaking on behalf of black women. What's different? So, no black woman's a hoe anymore. I didn't say That's that. not the point. And uh, Man, listen, the, the, the problem, the, the problem with I'm these conversations. Hold on a second. The problem with these conversations is the the semantics. Okay, let's get to the the root, the undercurrent. The undercurrent and the root of the issue is you are coming off in a disrespectful way to black women. Okay. And people are receiving that in a way that is not like it, it's not going to produce a productive conversation is be, because of how you're coming off. And it's like not. I told you, you feel how you feel, he's but it's, 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 admit that he was wrong it's, and, he's but, and this is what happens in a lot I'm of willing, these spaces. I'm willing to admit that. So we're not calling black women hoes anymore. It, okay, so I like I'm not I call them black women hoes. It's a difference because if you want to talk about super, you still playing somebody, semantics. Somebody though. who is oh, right, he, he is playing semantics. But if you want to play semantics, let's just go there for just a brief moment. Okay. You're using assumptions now. If a woman comes out and says, I, "F you know, I, I, I fuck a different nigga every week or every month," if a woman comes out and says, "I'm fucking a different nigga every day," I'm fucking a different nigga every week. I'm not getting tested or whatever. That's something totally different. But you're assuming based off of five pinches over the course of three years that she's a hoe. It's bullshit. It's unfair. And it's degrading. And it's disrespectful to black women to act like dating ain't exactly what it is. There is no woman out here in the world in her 20s who in three years ain't went on a different five dates in three years. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially what it is. Pictures. Pictures. And you're calling her a hoe based off of your assumption of pictures. I damn sure know I done went on more than five dates in three years when I was in my 20s before I hung my jersey up. And I'd be damned if somebody called me a hoe based off pictures. Of, well, I saw her at this bar and then I saw her at this restaurant. I don't know if she fucked them, but she's a hoe. Bullshit. It's bullshit. But black men love calling black women degrading shit. And so they will they will play the, this this mental gymnastics game and they'll move the goalpost and make excuses to call her a hoe. And it's bullshit. You didn't like me assuming that your body count was three times five in, in every three years. <laughs> you you stopped me real quick. You, you, and, and it's a matter of really what's really telling about you is when and where you pump the brakes is really where myself in the chat really starts to see what you find offensive, but what you feel like should be OK for black women to tolerate and deal with. That's that's really the main point here. Shout so, out to the people sending super chats. Hold oh, yeah. on one second. Let me you. just say thank you to the people. Um, send the super chat. Street TV is in the chat. Shout out to him. Thank you so much. I see they matching super chats, and that's that's crazy. I've never seen that before, but thank y'all so much. Um, JK143 sent $20 and said matching with Street TV. Got me talking to the TV too. Street TV sent $20, said matching JK143. Who's next? Okay, shout out to y'all. Hold on, House of Princess sent one a while ago okay street tv matched that one um princess said this man got me going through the tv he's a host <laughs> um yeah thank y'all so much for the super chats but yeah you know back to the conversation it's amazing where the buck stops for you as a black man mm -hmm. but where you won't allow the buck stop even when i'm sitting here telling you and, and, and plain and simple black and white sometimes i can use big words but i'm not even using big words tonight so it's not difficult to understand what the hell that I'm that I'm saying. I appreciate you not using big words. So, so you know, we'll yeah, I, I, I get it. We got to make things real simple and clear right. for you, because baby, because I'm like a black man. Is that because, why you got to make things real simple and clear? For no, me? because you sit up okay. here and you play games and you play semantics and shit. So oh, okay. there's there, there's no room for interpretation for you. No, it's not because you a black man. <laughs> you you wanted to play that game too, or you think I'm stupid? Because no, it's you're playing stupid up here because you just don't you don't want to be wrong with when you're called out for being a hypocrite. That's which, why things have to black be women, made so, simple and plain so for you. For January 14th, 2023, which black women can I call a hoe? You know Superhead? Do you know who Superhead is? Yeah. 
Okay, you know, women who admit that they fucked that many men and that they, they, I'm sleeping with this man's husband and I'm sleeping with, and I'm breaking up this home and I don't care, I can steal your man from you. That's a hoe. Do you think they like being called hoe? They, they love it. And they love so it. How, Superhead has endeared the name. That, that, this is why I brought up Superhead. So you can move the goalposts all you want to. I'm just having a conversation, Jane. And Come I'm on, having a conversation with you too. So you you can try to flip the script, but the mm -hmm. fact of the matter is you still haven't apologized and really owned up. Apologize? I don't know her. Apologize. TMZ ain't apologize. All them white folks call You're everybody. not TMZ. Exactly. I'm not TMZ. So don't hold me to a higher standard than you do us. No, nobody's holding you to a higher standard. Y'all are different people. It's the same way you were trying to hold Lori Harvey to a Beyonce standard, and they are not the same. So cut the shit. But they're both You're not them. TMZ. Hell, I'm not TMZ. So cut the shit. Well, not cut yet. The shit. Wait, cut wait, the shit. Cut the shit. No, cut the not shit. Not yet. No, ain't no not yet. No, no, nah, we not got even blind. You can't even butter my chops. I'm not trying to butter your chops. Shit. I'm just saying. Cut, not no, yet, cut the shit. Because we're talking about disrespecting black women, which is something that's so easy for you to do and something that you think is a joke and you think it's a game. But when it comes time for people to pump the brakes, stop calling me that. I helped you put that shit down, even though I find it to be, it don't matter what I find it to be. I respect your feelings. But it's amazing how you want the buck to stop for you, but you don't want to stop the buck for black women. But then you want to come up here and say, the fact that I'm up here means that I support black women. No, the fuck it doesn't. Your politics. And what you've said has done way more harm than good. And your presence alone isn't enough to cap or support or protect black women at all. Does it hurt your feelings, Jane? It's not respectable what you're doing to black women. If you would do that to her, you would do it to anybody. That's not true. I don't. I, that's not true. And that's, and, and, you know, and that's your fucked up opinion. And I find 90% of your opinions to be fucked up. We okay, disagree. I appreciate the 10. But look, uh... Like I said, that's not true. Mm. I would if, if it if it hurts you, Jane. I do apologize. It's it's it a black woman being slighted for nothing more than assumptions for being in the public eye. I'm uh -huh. not that much in the public eye, but I do create content. There are people who make assumptions like that about me, and so whether it be you, see, you might not do it because maybe you're a fan of mine. Right, but other people with your same I'm a mentality, subscriber. Well, hold on, <laughs> subscriber, <laughs> fan, whatever. I got you. <laughs> you know, I, I wish I had it in me to really laugh at your ass the way you just laughed at me. But it's I'm laughing cool. with you. But no, 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 no. But no, you're not laughing with me because I'm dead ass serious and you're fucking okay. joking because let's, you think it's be a serious. game. No, because you think it's a game and it's not a game. Mm -hmm. It's not a game the way you demean black women for nothing more than an assumption, but you don't want that shit done to you. And it's been proven at least four times on this live. Mm hmm. So me demeaning Lori Harvey is me demeaning the entire... You demeaning black women that you have no proof of doing so and degrading them. Matter of fact, you know what, chat? Go ahead and call him an acre. Go ahead and run, run the chat up. Call him an acre. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I bid you a good evening. That's the case. You can have because... a good night. And that's that. And so, like I was saying about this dude, it's, it's 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 the double standards and it's the it's 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 the hypocrisy for me. It's the hypocrisy for me. Okay. It's the hypocrisy. It's the way he wants to call black women whatever he wants to call them with no proof. Do you got the pussy facts? No, but I want to call her a hoe though. Okay, so the chat should be able to call you whatever the fuck they want to go. But but do it hurt you, Jane? Is that really what it's about? So just because it wasn't me, just because I wasn't the address that you put that disrespect on. That means that I'm supposed to be okay. But, but did I hurt your feelings, Jane? Oh, so you came up here to disrespect a black woman and you thought that because I... And not the black woman that you put an address on that disrespect to. I was going to be okay with it? Absolutely the fuck not. Because it could be me tomorrow. It could be anyone. And if it's, if it's that easy for, for, for you to do it to her, then you would do it to me. And you would have no way of defending me if it was me if I reached a million subscribers next year. 
or 500K next year? How can you defend me when you sit here and you defend and you so easily say this shit about other black women with no proof? God forbid I start networking with other uh, male YouTubers and I take pictures with them and niggas start saying that shit about me. How can you defend me? You can't because this is your logic. So it's not about, oh, did it offend you? Yes, if you're talking shit about a black woman with no fucking proof and you admit that and then you don't want the same disrespect handed to you because when I tried to flip it on you, no, that's not fair, Jane. Oh, it's not? Oh? Oh? Oh, okay. You want to call Lori what you want to call her based off of your fucked up assumptions. A lot of people have heard your thought process as you set your ass up here. And they want to call you a naker because they feel like you're an incel. So if that's the case, then they have that right. Happy goddamn Friday. Just Jay, what's going on while I cool off? Oh damn, girl. I I didn't even know I didn't even know he was he was gone. The baby done left. Baby need a nap. Listen, y'all, these babies is sick out here. These babies is sick out here. Shout out to the people from St. Louis, Memphis. In the building. Listen, child. Anybody listen, listen, listen. See, this is what I'm saying. And Jane, I feel you, right? We share the same sentiments. And this is what a lot of people in general don't I understand. Don't what black woman you can and cannot disrespect with no basis. How? That's what I'm saying. And he seem like, oh, well, I disrespect you. What's the problem? And you what do you say he'll defend you tomorrow? He gaslit everybody and said, uh, it's about us protecting one another. The fact that I'm up here means that I'm protecting black women. Keep that shit. Oh, wait. Because he up here, he protecting black women. Listen, shout out to the Ike Turner 2.0s. Listen, listen, ain't nobody buying that shit. People gonna stop playing with me. Like I said, 2023, ain't, I ain't entertaining no reprobates. These motherfuckers will have you fucking crazy. This is crazy making behavior. So, yes, we know that the words, uh, uh, you, people use the word narcissist and stuff. Babe, you gotta keep that noise down. I'm talking. Um, the people use the word narcissist and stuff a lot, right? Or people are narcissists and whatever. Very, uh, there's not a lot of people that are diagnosed with NPD, right? From what I've seen, and I'm not a professional, but people in general, all of us have narcissistic traits. You have some people that lack self awareness, and like those those traits are even more so present, right? And so this is where you get people who will feign ignorance. I Listen, it burns me up and it will have you crazy. People like that will make me scratch their motherfucking eyeballs out. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is why I have to avoid such people. And like you told me before, Jane, when you get into it with crazy motherfuckers, motherfuckers don't know who is who. So I'm really trying to avoid just engaging with such people because you cannot have a rational conversation with people like that. It is annoying as fuck. I just refuse to do it. People like that are not interested in having an honest conversation where they can see themselves. It's like it's like, you know, he, he you know, and I mean, don't get me wrong. Some people don't have the capacity to see themselves right. They're limited in that aspect. Some people really have a hard time with accountability and I won't even make it a uh, 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 issue of race or gender or whatever. Some people truly have a, a, a hard time accepting responsibility for their own actions. And typically, as we know, what that looks like is constantly pointing fingers and deflecting and talking about everything else except for the, the matter at hand. And so I'm all about getting down to brass tacks. I'm all about digging deep. Let's get to the root. The root of the problem is a lack of mutual respect. That that That's what the fuck. It's, it starts with mutual respect. If people can't come in and in, 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 into a conversation with a level of mutual respect, the shit is going to go awry. People can't always put their finger on it, but people know when you're being condescending. People know when you're, you're acting like a fucking nut and you're trying to play crazy and you're trying to talk to people as if they slow and you want to all this old goofy ass. Listen, listen, ain't nobody doing this shit. 2023, y'all better stop letting motherfuckers have y'all crazy out here. 
don't defend me because you be, because you know me. This comment is really good. You shouldn't defend a woman just because you know her. Black women are the least protected, and here comes the man. <clears throat> And here he comes and demands respect, but he refuses to give it. I don't want you to just defend me because you know me off of YouTube. So you'll disrespect every other black woman that you see, but you'll defend me for what? Don't defend me if it's based off of, if it's, if it's not based off of you really feeling like black women deserve protection be, from derogatory terms based off of baseless ass assumptions. I don't want you to defend me if that's the case. I don't. And it's not okay for you to disrespect any other black woman, but turn around and defend me just for, for whatever reason, because you're a subscriber, because you're a subscriber, you're going to defend me, but disrespect a a any other black woman. It's bullshit. Keep that. Well, Keep like I said, no. and that was a real question earlier. Like I said, it's truth and jest, but that's when I asked them, would you be up here if, if Jane was ugly as fuck and not attractive to you? It's really long too. And it's just like, yo, because it's the truth. Uh, 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 fuck the desirability politics, okay? And if shout out to me. In a fire tomorrow, and I and, and and I'm looking just like that, and I'm looking mm -hmm. crazy. Would you really still be defending me because I'm black? Hell no, nah. he'll be black. like that bitch burnt the fuck up. Like, her goddamn like, skin melted on her goddamn it? face. Damn that black bitch ugly. Don't have protection. <laughs> you and, and 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 it's it's it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. This shit is disgusting and you, it's you pathetic to me. Okay with disrespecting certain black women, and then you set up here and said, "But it's about us protecting one another." You know what? If walking in Kevin Samuel's footsteps mean that much to you, and I, and I wanted to ask him about the last date he went on, because baby, I can't really. Let me let me stop. Um, we need to go to the bush, baby, because that was disrespectful. It's, it's the same way I get worked up about regular tragedies and fucked up and unfortunate shit that happens in the black community. It don't have to be me in a car accident. It don't have to be me being beat up by the police. It don't have to be me, any of that shit for me to feel, for me to empathize and for shit to hurt my feelings when I see negligence transpiring in the black community, especially when it's from us. So to say, because you think that this is, you know, you 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 think that the derogatory terms are uh, terms are a joke. He thinks it's funny that Lori Harvey is Harvey is being called to home. But when I told the chat, continue calling him a naker. Oh, I'm a go. I don't want to deal with that. I, you don't want to deal with that. But you think it's funny when I'm telling you that this is disrespectful. What you're saying and how you're treating Lori Harvey. That's a joke to him. But I didn't take his feelings as a joke when I tried to put the chat in chat. And told him, y'all don't call him that. Right? You were very so respectful any, and considerate. Any injustice to black people is an injustice to me. It is. If anybody who knows my channel and what I talk about and what I represent, I don't have to be the one being brutalized or being uh, uh, demeaned or degraded in order for me to empathize with that and for me to say that's fucked up. Right. And it's fucked up. Period. And that's why I spoke on just the nature and the character of a person, you know, um, shout out to my homeboy, Sale. He, 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 he would always tell me, pay attention to how a man treat women they not attracted to. And to me, it speaks volume um, because when you come across people of decent character, it doesn't matter it's when we talking about men, it don't matter if they're attracted to you. If they're not attracted to you, they handle people the same way. I am not, uh, I don't pick and choose when to have integrity, when to have my moral standing. You know what I'm saying? I stand on whatever the fuck I stand on at all times. And in and, and, and these spaces, sometimes that's difficult because you have to pick a team. You have to pick a side. I don't pick sides. I don't pick teams. I rock with what resonates in my spirit and what I deem to be right based on my moral compass. And guess what? That shit is not subjected. It's not subjective. And it's not based on whether or not you have a penis or a vagina. Shout out to the people out here who think having a penis means something. Guess what? Like I said a few days ago, I don't give a fuck if you have a dick. At the end of the day, we're all human beings. And if we can come to each other with mutual respect and be able, like, like just have a willingness to listen. Even You don't even have to agree with a person to, to, to listen or to be considerate of a person. It don't, it don't even require that, you know? And so that's what confuses me with a lot of people in, in, in these spaces and the, these people that have 
that those talking points and, and such rhetoric. I, I honestly just find it pathetic. I ain't never been I, I like we've all had times in our lives where we have been impressionable, right? Because we go through that as we develop into adults. I've never been a fucking follower though. If, 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 if something doesn't resonate in my spirit or I don't feel that it's right, I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm, I don't co-sign it, you know, but you have these people shout out to the, 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 listen, sheep abound out in this motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Sheep don't live in my motherfucking house. When you have masses of people that are willing to follow rhetoric that is is uh, irrational, it don't even make fucking sense when you just look at how how people should connect as human beings, person to person, regardless of gender. Mutual fucking respect, common decency. Why is it so hard for people to say, hey, if that was my daughter, I wouldn't necessarily want that. Do we all say shitty stuff? Yeah, like, hey, like I said, I ain't here to tell you how to feel. But when you lack self-awareness, to me, that's that's what speaks volume. And, and that's what resonates with me. I rock with people that have some fucked up ways of thinking, Jane. But to be honest with you, I could rock with them because in the midst of they fucked up thinking, they still able to see they self. I personally, I personally enjoy people that have self-awareness. So to me, that means that you ain't got to be perfect. You could do some shitty stuff. But if you're able to see yourself, I could rock with people like that. People that can't see themselves, I, I can't. It's exhausting for me. It takes a lot out of me. They fucking energy vampires. All they do is sap and, and take and take and take. And there's no reciprocation. There's not even a, a level of reciprocation when it comes to understanding common decency. You got people out here that truly think that it means something because they have a dick. Dude on a panel told me the other day, I'm a man and you're a woman. I said, man, what in the fuck does that even mean? Like, <laughs> you sound crazy. What the fuck that's supposed to mean? They give you a right to talk to me any kind of way? And I'm supposed to sit here with my hands folded? Like I said, ain't nobody doing this Ike Turner 2.0 shit. Oh, we finna tap dance all on y'all peeking toes. We finna fucking A-Town stomp y'all's asses. And y'all supposed to sit here with your hands folded and shut the fuck up and rest in your femininity. Guess what? Life is about polarities, okay? So when you have a lot of bitch assness out here and you have a lot of a lot of fucking puss ass behavior out here, women are going to match that. And tap into their masculine energy. So shout out to y'all talking about femininity, conditional. That fuck all that shit. If I come across a bitch ass nigga, I'm just gonna have to meet that energy with something else. We can't be both uh, rocking with bitch assness. It don't go together. You understand what I'm saying? And so yeah, Dreaming Edmund. She apologized when that shit first popped off. She apologized, and people in the chat tried to rectify that behavior. And I remember because I remember seeing her comment. She said, I apologize. If whatever she didn't agree with him, she felt like what up. And it's like people extended you all this grace. Extended you all this grace. And all for you to not extend this grace and for you to be hell bent on calling a black woman a home. And that really it it sets a rhetoric because it's not just Lori Harvey who was hurt by this. It's the black women in mass who assumptions are made about them and whatever the case is. It's, it, it doesn't do us any good. So even to say it's a joke, let's let's just say, for example, hell, I'm just saying hypothetically. I'm just saying hypothetically. Let's just say this person came in a chat and said, you know, I really don't think she was a hoe. This was just for the show. I want y'all to look at my face right now. Y'all know I got a Discord, right? Let's just say somebody came in the chat and said, in the Discord right now and said, I don't really think she's a hoe. It was just for the show. Does that make it any better? It, it 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 really shows how you enjoy using black women as 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 the butt end of the joke as entertainment, but you don't want to be used as entertainment yourself because we always. I need I need. And no, that's the thing, that's, you know, the fact. Go ahead. Okay, sis, the fact that you are visibly upset and you have been visibly upset, right? To me, a person with common sense would say, wow, she's really common upset. Common sense, read the room. You disrespect she, the she's really, me, She's really life. upset. So point, Let me sit down and get it together. You, you're, at this point, you're trying to trigger me. 
at the expense of all black women, not just myself, but because I right. give a fuck about the way black women are perceived, what they're called, how they're degraded, and some of the disrespect. You know, if, if niggas is calling her a hoe, imagine what the white folk are going to do and the other people are going to do. It sets a precedent. It's like, well, that's the thing, you know. It's absolutely correct. Like we are the, the the least protected. You know, you have some people that will, um, you know, try to hit that with rebuttals. But when it comes to black women and indig- indigenous women in the U.S., listen, least protected like a motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? But people will continue to be dismissive of that. They won't cool. acknowledge it. At what it. point are you going to come in a chat and make a make a white woman or a non-black woman the ass end of a of, of, of sex? Well, you? if you notice, he at never once mentioned any of those people. white people and say, you know what? Well, but, but no, it's so easy to do that. Absolutely. It's so easy to do that to your own people. People don't understand the level of uh, internalized oh, self-hate. You don't know. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like it, it requires the self-awareness, right? The fact that we were raised in these environments, we have a lot of unconscious biases. And, and shout out to the people that call a lot of those unconscious biases preferences, which I find to be bullshit. Okay, people like what they like. But if we're going to really dig deep, let's get to the root of why many of us like what we like. And it's usually rooted in some... Uh, way or fashion uh, it's usually rooted in some type of self-hate or some narrative that was built you know what I'm saying coming up or whatever whatever experience you feel me but it's like people just lack the self-awareness the fact that I saw you upset will make me say okay let let me think about my behavior or be mindful how I I engage in this conversation visibly upset this doesn't require a lot of emotional intelligence. And, 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 and shout out to the people who are willing to troll, willing to antagonize, provoke, How can create I troll discourse. Like lighthearted shit, right? Lighthearted shit, but mm-hmm. not at the expense of demeaning, you know, a black woman. Like, what, what was I talking about last night? I was talking about uh, uh, Tyrese was defending Will Smith and then Ray J came after Tyrese based off mm-hmm. of Eddie Murphy, based off of the whole, you know, there's some things that there's room for, you know, a joking, a joking matter. Demeaning a black woman ain't one of them. Well, oh, they always try to say, oh, yeah, you need to no. be lighten up, lighten up. It's a joke. It's a joke. Well, no, you know, no. like I, I make, you know, I make certain jokes and, 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 you know, right. there was some people who were offended by what, what was the, 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 the name of the child a little bit. And I felt like that was like li- a, a little bit. Be like, oh, yeah. like it, you know, it's a name. It's right. lighthearted. It literally looks like a little bit. It sounds like a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And that's nobody being the ass into the joke. That's really me making fun of an enunciation or what it looks like. Right, right. right. No one's being hurt here. No one's being demeaned. No one's being degraded. It's the way the word looks on paper. And and I totally respect the fact that humor is subjective, right? Because I I have, you know, found myself like some sometimes the timing could be off. You feel me? I, I had a situation a couple weeks ago where, you know, people were expressing their frustrations with Meg and Tori and I mean, some people are just weird. They really like it was a lot of black men just taking Tory upon themselves as if they was Tory, which I find weird anyway. But um, you know, like dude was going on and on about, oh, this man life about to be ruined and da da da. Like th- just this this perpetual victimhood that is just it's just fucking nauseating. And I I, I kind of did my finger down my my eye like I like I was shedding a tear, and I was being facetious. And so uh, a person took that as me laughing at the downfall of all black men. It's like, no, it's bananas. The most it, it, it's not even like, that. The most mm-hmm. disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is a black woman. Why are black men making spaces and thinking that it's funny, and then to say, "I don't really think she's a hoe. I just did that for the show." Like, why are you making extra room to the? They don't give a fuck. If people are gonna be honest, they don't give a fuck. Woman for the sake of your entertainment. Like, I don't mind mild trolling based off of the topic and right. the subject matter, but you're making extra room. And then, and then you double down on it. If you really didn't think that, like there have been times, let's just say the Fame Calm Network, 
He comes mm-hmm. up and he'll troll from time to time. But mm-hmm. after 10 minutes, he'll be like, all right, Jane, I was just joking. The truth of the matter is like, blah, 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 right, blah. right, right. You know, 10 minutes later, he's like, all right, I, I was just Yeah, joking. yeah. You still have to come like, in a way where you rectify. So you spent over an hour up here on this panel doubling it down on how and why she is a hoe off of an assumption that you don't know. You didn't want me to use assumptions on you, but I used your own shit against you. And you, wait. Don't call me a naker because I don't like that. Well, don't call Lori a hoe. Okay, well, who, just who all the way offended. Who can't we call a hoe then? Who can't we call a hoe? And why can't why can't I call her a hoe? And then it's, it's, it's you're all around the board and moving the goalposts all that all those times like that, baby. Well, well, what's funny is all that came about because, like, when you asked <laughs> when you asked him about how many people he slept with or something like that or whatever, he was like, "Whoa, First we're being all, intrusive." Like right, so that's how all that 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 segue and that whole swerve off the there road. That's how all that, like that ended up there. Getting pussy. <laughs> oh well, shit! I didn't say that. But oh, ouchie! That ain't, ain't nobody to talk like that. That's getting no pussy. Not no average ass nigga with no money. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got Kevin Samuels' money. You know Kevin Samuels ain't even had a whole bunch of money. He was taking all. Kevin, Kevin Samuels was a great you know, trick, but I mean no he deal. didn't discuss that. You know but like he was like, no was money. I supposed to comment on that? It's like I mean you but, you don't you know, have to, but type, it does speak volume. He the type. He's got a different, and you know, and since what he was saying was just for the show, and he don't really believe that. Let's just go ahead and say this. You know what I mean? Since we saying shit for entertainment yeah, purposes, that's very irresponsible. Really it. It, you, you, you sound like an incel. You sound like you don't get no pussy. There's well, nobody fucking you with this type of rhetoric and with this type of politics. Right, and it sounds like every time you get into a woman's face, you change what you got to say in order to get some pussy or some romance or sex back. That's what it sounds like. That's what it's given. That's the definition of an incel. But a lot of times, these sexually frustrated men. Who can't get no ass? They sound the way he be sound. That's what be going on. That's what be going on. I'm just saying. That's 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 just what it sounds like. And you know, and I may or may not mean that, you know, because for all intents and purposes, we're using what black people as the ass end of the joke, and we just we trying to create good entertainment. We just saying the opposite of what we think. For the sake of making people laugh, or in a yeah, it you don't sound like you. This is the same that came on my show and said, Thanks to Kevin Samuels, I got new shoes. And you, I got you, you needed Kevin Samuels to tell you to get new shoes, to have a good pair of shoes, and to, and to do basic shit for you. What new shoes? I could go, I could go pull up the video <laughs> if, 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 if you think I'm lying, don't make me pull up the video. Yeah, I like it. Listen, people are really crazy. Like this for... Samuels. I said, What did you learn? He said, He taught me that I need to have a good pair of shoes. So I went out and bought some new shoes. And well, well said, uh, child, let me shut up because I don't want to be disrespectful. Said, child, I listen. Up. All I'm saying is, motherfuckers need to heal. If we all take time to do our own motherfucking work, we won't be out here projecting and throwing our goofy ass shit on other people. This shit is weird. Okay, and and yes, you know, a lot of people come to the internet for entertainment and shit like that. People, you know, everybody more compass is different, so I try to accept that, right? People already know I could go off, but there are still some things I'm not willing to uh, 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 really indulge simply because I still think it's important for people to be responsible with the shit that come out their mouth. You know what I'm saying? You can't talk about community shit. You can't talk about projection. I mean, protection and, and things of that nature when you are willing to exacerbate an issue by spewing rhetoric that is not conducive nor helpful. The other day, I got ac- accused of bringing division amongst black men in some of the YouTube spaces, which I find hilarious. Um, you know, and so those type people are so hell bent on not seeing themselves right because as we know when you have to look in the mirror it, it ain't it ain't always fun you, you understand what i'm saying if you can look in the mirror and reckon with yourself and all the shit that you come with that takes bravery so shout out to the fucking cowards that continue to point fingers and blame everybody else when they don't have the capacity to see themselves I can't fucking have conversations with people like that. And to Dream and Edmund, never, never regret 
doing what you felt was right to do. So so don't regret apologizing to his ass because because it's in your nature. It's in your fucking nature. And never apologize for that. All you have to do is just reestablish boundaries. You know what I'm saying? I used to be one of the people that I feel bad because I was nice to a motherfucker and this and this. And damn, I, I, I shouldn't have gave this motherfucker the goddamn leeway nor the space. No, no listen, it's in your character. So so never fucking apologize for that. Let Never. me go ahead and tell y'all this. I'm going I'm to just go ahead and share it. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Because this, this is what's so funny about this situation. And I don't even believe it. He's in the Discord right now saying, I don't believe she's a hoe. It was all for the show. I was just saying that for entertainment. Hell no. Nah. Hold on. You're trying to whisper and apologize in the Discord in front of 20 people in the Discord when there were 300 people here who heard you? You can't yell disrespect and publicly humiliate or disrespect someone, a black woman or a lawyer or whoever, publicly, and then whisper your apology. And he's wondering why the discord is letting him have it because it's like you're trying to whisper this apology and saying that this was just for entertainment purposes. Well, hell, it was for entertainment purposes when they was calling you a naker too. They was just be entertained. That doesn't really affect you. It's just what they're calling you, right? The same way you want Lori Harvey to expect this shit. And it's, I just want y'all to understand that he's literally in the Discord right now saying, I didn't mean it. I was, it's just BS. And, and really, I don't believe it. I do feel like he really believes it, but he's trying to alleviate the Discord right now. And they tearing him up. They tearing him up in the Discord. I don't believe, like, there is no way you're going to yell on a megaphone and from the rooftops about disrespect towards a black woman or black women in general based off of assumptions. Because if you'll do it to Lori Harvey, you'll do it to any other social media influencer that you see her take two or three pictures with men and call her a hoe and some degrading shit too. And then you want to whisper the apology on the back end. No, if you're really sorry and apologetic about it, you gonna click that motherfucking link and you gonna come up here and you gonna apologize and that'll be it. If not, you meant that shit and you want it to echo loudly out here in front of everyone and you wanna whisper the apology on the back. You want, baby, when you get me to whispering, bitch, it's over. You wanna whisper the apology on the back end when you yelled everything with your chest on the front end. Baby, that's not how apologies work. You're not about to say whatever you want to say in the middle of the street and on social media in front of everybody as loud as you can and then apologize in front of an intimate group of 10, 15, 20 people on the back end and think that that apology suffices. Absolutely not. The people in the Discord aren't the only people offended by that. That was fucked up what you said and what you did and I tried to help you understand it at every corner. You didn't want to understand it. Because you didn't want to. Bitch, just Jay, not you having my picture up there. <laughs> you didn't want to understand it. And so they eating you up. You, I, I mean, he said, hell, I can come back up. I'm not that at all. I mean, if you want to come back up, you can. I, I'll drop the link again. I really don't think you about about it. I really, honestly, I don't think that you have it in you to apologize. I really don't because you stand 10 toes down on what you're wrong about all the time. So I'll drop the mic again. If you got the girls out. He going to come. Ew. That blue is lovely though. It's you color. It's you color. Um, That's what I'm saying. These dudes, is, these dudes be clowning. Like I said, if Lori gave him the time of day, that motherfucker been and took out PPP loans and everything else to empty all them goddamn pockets. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing Gaston. Gaston. Here's the link. If he, I, I, I put it in the back. You know, Come on, Slinky Link. Front end two. Uh, I'm not really taking on new people because I'm going to have to get off here and eat. Y'all know when I don't eat, I get cranky. Some people might think I'm already cranky, but no, nah, I, 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 I feel like there was an injustice to black women. And I had to speak up and be bothered about that. I, I, there's a certain amount of media training, right? And I get it. My face be speaking volumes and sometimes, but. Um, no, I had to speak up about that. That's that's foul and that's fucked up to do to put any label, especially when he don't want people to call him certain things based off of his clear, flawed way of thinking. He didn't want to be called a certain thing for the show. So it was crazy he wanted to provide a certain element of disrespect towards black women for the show. But when people provided a certain label or a name for him, it's the book stops here. Why was why did the book stop? It's off of entertainment, right? 
if she can be the ass end of the joke, why can't you be the ass end of the joke? I mean, I just don't. I guarantee you, he won't click this link. I guarantee you, he won't click this link because he's not going to apologize. He's not sorry. He really feels that way. He's just trying to appease the Discord in the background. But hey, look, I put it in the Discord. He was just in the Discord two minutes ago, a minute and a half ago. I put it back there. Let's see if he really got it in him to um to bring his ass back up here and apologize. Because it's really not against him. It's really for the protection of black women. And then for, well, damn, did I hurt you, Jane? I mean, what you're saying, go. I mean, that's like a white supremacist calling a black woman outside my house a nigga. And for me to be taken up for her or speaking up about that. And for the man to be like, but did I call you a nigga? Nigga, you did a disservice to this black woman. And bitch, I'm offended. And if you're going to do it to her, you're going to do it to somebody else. And it could be me tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm offended by the possibilities of who else you're going to do this to. And the harm caused from what the fuck you just said and what the fuck you just did. Yes. Yes, I'm offended at the possibilities. If our people's. If, 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 if everybody from the civil rights movement wasn't offended by what they saw happening to other people, we wouldn't be where the hell we are today. And we still got a long way to go. We still got a long way to go. So here's what we're going to do. He didn't call back in. Let's see. He, he, he trying to prove me wrong by calling it. And it's okay. Let's see if he'll apologize. And let's see if the apology is sincere. What I need for y'all to do right now is hit the thumbs up button. We're going to bring him up. And let's see how this go. Okay? Okay. Get into this Black-owned business, Sickies. It's got things for inside your home, outside your home, and even on the go. JasmineMadeIt.com is your new destination for Black-owned magic mugs, tumblers, and even wine glasses. You can even customize the tumblers and wine glasses. There's a lot going on for a low price over at jasminemadeit.com. And if you've been serious about wanting to support more Black-owned businesses, here's your chance. Let jasminemadeit.com handle all your problems for family and friends. You ever had a friend over and they just wasn't catching the hint or paying the rent? Y'all asses all get to stepping! <laughs> yeah, tell them to get to stepping with this nostalgic Mart themed doormat and shop over a dozen different doormat designs over on jasminemadeit.com. Alright, stickies, you know what time it is. It's time to put your money where your mouth is and shop black today. Make life easier for you and your household by taking your family's hot or cold beverages on the go with one of these unique tumblers. It's insulated to keep your beverage at temperature and it comes with a few different reusable straws and even the specific brush that you need to wash it so you can keep it sanitized and germ free. It's got all kinds of designs to match your mood or style. So grab something for your wife, the hubby, or even the kids over on jasminemadeit.com. That's jasminemadeit.com, and I'll see you over there. All right, and we are back. And don't forget, you are able to use the code Jane for 10% off, and there is no minimum purchase requirement. I love this cup for hot and cold beverages, okay? So, listen, this was a show that got really heated. It's in real time. We ain't no Jenny Jones. I wasn't even able to get to any of my other topics, but that's okay because it gives me room to talk about things for tomorrow. Make sure y'all hit thumbs up on this video if you have not already because it's definitely real over here. Ain't nothing fake and ain't nothing scripted over here. Hit thumbs up and let's bring our guest. There's so many of you all love in the comments back up again shall we hey thanks for letting me keep you connected and in the know with what's happening in the black world don't forget to smash on that like button for support and for more black news all right so he is back what is going on and what do you have to say well jane first and foremost um as i said many times before i, I love your platform i love you as a content creator and Quite frankly, when, you know, you put the message in the Discord and, you know, since you bought, the, I wasn't even going to really bring up the Discord like that because that is uh, someone mentioned there, your safe space for, you know, your patrons. Um, you know, you put the message that, hey, gas can come up. I was like, nah, because, you know, last time things got a little crazy, um, you know, and he was like, nah, like, it's not even like that. Like, just come up. Like, let's just have a conversation. I was like, all right. But, you know, I mean, again, in support of your channel. 
supported you as a content creator. I'm glad to be up here and have a conversation with you. I had no clue you were going to disrespect black women and refuse to understand the disrespect, no matter how well, many times I explained it. So that I don't mean to, I don't mean to cut you off. Way. I don't mean to cut you off, but um, the misunderstanding uh, in that was um, that this was a, a direct directed towards all black women. Again, we were having a conversation, and I said, "Hey, you know, this is what it was. It was really in joking manner in in the beginning, and then as the conversation went along." It was just to continue, like going back at it, going back at it. And I was like, I, it was, you know, I wasn't that serious about it. Like, it's really a joke. And so um, I will say that I, no, no, I will say that I apologize because what I've noticed, not only from Discord, not only from your chat, but from you, um, is that, you know, this was really hurtful. Um, this was, in fact, really a disrespectful conversation towards Black women as a whole because this uh, moniker, of uh, being labeled as a whole is disrespectful, um, and I don't I don't want to be the face of that. I mean, my name is up here. This is my name. Gaston's world is a social media handle, but my name is Gaston. Um, so again, I don't want to be labeled as someone who uh, publicly disrespects black women. Um, that's not who I am. That's not how my mother, who was a single mother, raised me. Um, that's not how I've treated any of my ex-girlfriends in the past, any woman that I've ever dealt with in my life. Um, like I said, we're here to be on YouTube. And I didn't, now that I know that genuinely you and other women here were hurt, um, that's not who I want to represent myself as or any other black man as. Because I absolutely believe that we're all better than that. So... I apologize if not. I apologize if that's disingenuous. I apologize that I hurt people with the things that I was saying. I apologize that the conversation wasn't productive or uh, helpful. Um, and I hope that moving forward, you know, we can continue to have. I hope that moving forward, we can continue to have conversations that will be productive, that will be uplifting, because I'm absolutely capable of that. And um, I know that at this point, a lot of people are already angry enough that they don't want to hear this. But I have a mother. I have, um, let's just say, a significant other that I want to know that if they ever see this, because this is YouTube, this is a public platform, and for the how many you said, 300 people in here, 30,000 people can see this tomorrow. So for those people who may see this in the future and say, wow, did he really think that? I absolutely did not. And um, I apologize that it came across that way. So for the people in the chat who don't forgive me, for the people who are watching this, they'll say, oh, I, the, my feelings are already hurt. The damage is done. You know, I'm sorry. But for those of you who know me, who know who I am, who know how I was raised, you know, it's not who I am. So I want to thank you, Jane, again, for having an excellent platform and for giving me the opportunity to come back and say my piece. Um, because like I say I didn't come up here to hurt anybody. So. OK, so to touch on what you said about the discord being a safe space and me bringing up the discord. Yeah, I did. I did invite you up here. I didn't invite you up here to disrespect black women. And that's exactly what you did. You mm -hmm. made Lori Harvey the butt end of a joke. Cause that's what you're calling your whole take now. Cause you doubled down on it and you're saying it was a joke. At no point did you make it apparent that that was a joke. At no point did you make it apparent that that wasn't how you really felt. You stuck by that for a little over an hour for a little over an hour, you didn't make it apparent that you were joking. So I didn't invite you up here, just like I wouldn't invite anybody up here to disrespect black women, to get into your initial point. So for you to come up and say, oh, you talking about the discord, that was a safe space. I didn't know you would talk about the discord. Yeah, I let the discord know because it seemed like you came up here and you disrespected black women and Lori Harvey, based off an assumption, the same assumption that you didn't appreciate when I flipped that assumption on you, oh, baby, you didn't like it. <laughs> you didn't like it. And so you you called it out. And I let you know that well, this, this is the same thing that you're doing to 
Lori Harvey. So at no point did you make it apparent that you were joking and making this black woman the ass end of your baseless assumption as joke attached to a derogatory ass name. You didn't make that apparent. So I'm not here for that. Um, also, is the Discord a safe space? Mm, absolutely. However, due to the fact that you went in the Discord immediately after you dropped down and said, I was joking. I didn't mean I didn't mean that. I said, Well, let me let the people know. He's saying he did this for entertainment purposes and he doesn't really feel that way. Let me let them know that I don't I don't just have somebody up here disrespecting my platform. He's saying it was all cat. He's saying he came up here to talk sh shit and degrade Lori Harvey for the sake of entertainment. And I felt that that was something that I owed the people. Because again, you were trying to whisper and apologize on the back end, something that you wasn't willing to do up here. So that's why I let it be known. And that's the only reason you're back up here. You wouldn't have called back in and apologized had I not said that. The chat was, uh, the Discord was already eating you up back there. You wouldn't have came back up here and said that. So at no point is the joke with her being, because because when you were the ass end of the, of the joke, when you were being called a naker, and when I assumed that you fucked five times three, when I assumed your body count was times three, you didn't like that. You stopped me dead in my tracks. You didn't even want that shit to live. You didn't even want that shit to catch air. But I just wanted to give you a taste of what you were giving Lori. So at no point did you make your joke known. I do have some people that troll and they call in. But again, five or so minutes into them trolling they say all right i'm just joking here's what it really is you stood and you wanted to die on that hill well over an hour you were up here defending that shit playing mental gymnastics and playing semantics very in, in a lackluster way may i add you're not good at playing semantics i really think you should stop but you won't i I don't know why you would think that it would be funny, especially when I literally applied the same logic that you wanted the chat to stop calling and saying certain things to you. And you wanted to speak on behalf of black men, but you felt like I didn't have the right or I wasn't justified. You said Lori's an individual. I said, so are you. You spoke about black men and was disrespectful to them. Why can't I speak about what's disrespectful to black women? You still wanted to call Lori Harvey a hoe. And that's the hypocrisy in all and everything that you had to say. And then you turned around and said, well, I would defend you, Jane, if somebody said that about you just because there was, you know, a couple pictures about you. I don't want you to defend me just because you're a subscriber or you like my content. I want people to defend me who really give a fuck about the plight of black people or black women and understand how unprotected we are. We are the least protected. We are at the absolute bottom of the totem pole. Black folk are at the bottom of the totem pole, period, point blank. Women are at the bottom of the sexist totem pole, period, point blank. So I don't want you just defending me because I, I, I don't know why you follow me or if, if, if it's content, if it has anything to do with my looks, I don't care. But if you find it okay to disrespect a certain black woman, but then you want to defend me, it just, it doesn't make sense. There's no logic there for me. And so I just, you know, for you to say it's a joke, I feel like it's bullshit. I do. And I'm going to be honest with you about that. And I get it. You're going to disagree and you're going to say, well, you, you don't know. It, it, it's cool. It it, 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 it it seems like it's an easy way out for you to say, well, I didn't really mean any of that. But even if we're going to go with you thinking that, you saying that that was a joke, the fact that you found it so easy to degrade that woman, no matter how many times I explain how and why that is so degrading. To call someone that. I didn't, I, I, I didn't even ask you why you felt like Naker was degrading. Did I? Because I can rewind the video and find it if need be. When you said, I feel like this term is degrading, I said, all right, chat, stop calling him that. It wasn't until later on that you described why you felt like Naker was describing. But it didn't take much at all. All it took for you was to say, you know what? I find this term disrespectful. I had to chat, stop calling me that. And I said, chat, stop. I respected your feelings off rip as a black man. And you said it not only offended you, it offended other black men too. And I took that into consideration immediately. And you couldn't even give that same grace to another black woman in the media. And shit like that runs like wildfire. There'd be a lot of celebrities dying based off of overdoses, based off of suicide, based off what the public is saying. Yeah, a lot of them should have thick skin. They should. They should. 
This is the reason why I never want to blow up because I've had suicidal ideations before. So I'm not sure how I would be if I ever blew up big. So I really don't ever want to blow up. I just want to make enough money to survive. But all I'm saying is you, the, oh, I was joking and take what the, what I'm saying is offensive to black men into a, a consideration. But when I say what's offensive to black women, you like, fuck that. Well, I, I think she's a hoe. So I shouldn't call no black woman a hoe then. You know, it would have been fucked up for you to say they calling me a naker in the chat. I feel like that's disrespectful to me and black men. And for me to say, oh, so we can't call none of the black men nakers. I didn't I didn't play no games with you about when you when you called out what you felt was disrespectful to you. I didn't play no games with you with that. I didn't play semantic. Oh, oh we can't say nakers. It's what I said was some people like to misspell the word nigga in the chat. That may be the reason. But I said, hey, you know what? Y'all stop calling him that because he's not comfortable with that. That's what I said. I didn't play no games with you about, oh, so I can't nobody misspell a word. I, I didn't play them games with you. I took your feelings into consideration right away. And it was about your feelings and what you were saying on behalf of other black men. Period. You saying that you was joking about calling Lori Harvey and standing on a hill that you wanted to die on about degrading her for over an hour and saying it was a joke. Don't come off as genuine at all. You can respond if you want. Um, well, in response, I will say that, like I said again, um, I appreciate you and your platform. And I'm sorry that, you know, this is where we are. Because, again, there was a point in the conversation where I said, uh, you know, I hope this was entertaining for y'all. Like, this is all part of the show. And, you know, we kind of got back into it somehow. So, um, yeah, because your apology and the way you came in, you said, oh, I thought the discord was a safe space. You invited me up. Yeah, the discord is a safe space. And yes, I did invite you up, but I didn't invite you up to sit here and demean black women. Oh, no. So what I meant was like in the conversation, um, I said specifically, like, oh, this was all part of the show. Like, you know, was, um, and then, like I said, somehow we got back to that and so like you when you said like hey you know like you know we should like we should talk in dim like we should talk offline you know what i mean like i didn't think this is where we were and so that the fact that we're here again i'm deeply apologetic because i thought we were uh someone on the same page so um to everyone that uh like i said my words this evening may have hurt um i hope that you can go on the rest of the evening knowing that um, that's not genuinely how I feel. I have, I'm a black man. My mother's black and my father's black. Everybody in my family's black. Nobody's, uh, nobody in my direct lineage is biracial. Or any, so everybody's black. So I respect and love black people. Um, and so the fact that this is where we are right now is disheartening for me because, um, you know, I've been the ass end of some jokes myself. And, you know, whether a black woman defended me or someone else did, um, you know, I was appreciative of that. So, again, I can understand you being in defense of Lori Harvey um, as an individual person. And uh, if I saw her face to face and she said, hey, you said some things about me on the Internet, I apologize to her as well. Like, I deeply apologize. That it wasn't my so intent. You, to you wouldn't say those things to her face that you said on the show? I'm sorry, say that again. So you wouldn't say those things that you said on the show. You wouldn't say those things to her face. If we're if we're sitting on this show and I said that, and she said Gaston, that offends me, I say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Just but like just like you defended would, me. Would you but would you say those things? Would you call her a hoe to her face? No. Coward. Like, that's, we, that's coward. No, I'm no, not where, calling you a coward. On, I'm just saying that that's cowardice behavior. No, no, based on where we're, at, behavior, no, no, based on where we're so. at, based on where we're at right now in the conversation, no. So earlier in the conversation, we're having a show, we're having a discord back and forth. It's, it was funny. We laughed. It made a conversation, we laughed. In that instance, perhaps. But if she said Gaston, that's a, just the same way I said that's offensive to me. I'd rather you not do that. She said, Gaston, that's offensive to me. I'd rather you not do that. 
you know, we're not having that. We're, that's not happening anymore. And then we talked about all the different ways that we can say, oh, maybe promiscuous or maybe this. But like I said, I thought we were having a different conversation. So, again, the fact that this is where we are right now is really disheartening to me. And so, um, again, I'll continue to apologize and, you know, we can go from there. Um, I'm going to continue to be subscribed to your channel. Again, I love your content. And why I'm subscribed to your channel, because I think you're an excellent content content creator. Um, and yeah, I'll continue to be in defense of all the black women that I've come across in my life um, because I love my people. So, um, you know, I wish you the best and uh, I'll continue to be in your comments. Hopefully I'm not blocked forever, but I'll continue to be in your comments and um like I said, I continue to support you as a content creator, and I apologize again for this misunderstanding because um, I absolutely love and respect black women. So I uh, hope all of you have a good night. Uh, if you haven't already liked this video, please subscribe to Jane's channel because she is an excellent content creator. Even though it's my ass on the fire tonight, she's still an excellent content creator. So y'all should you should have been subscribed. You watched all this and heard all this this far. You you definitely need to subscribe. But um, thank you so much, Jane, for having me up. And uh, just Jay, it was nice talking to you as well. And for everybody in the comments, um, y'all have a good evening. Happy Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> Happy Black Cat Day. Happy Black Cat Day. I got my black cat, baby. Baby, I didn't know I was gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change the title because I'm gonna leave this one. This retrograde is kicking ass, honey. Mercury have... is kicking ass. So, baby, baby, what? I... Oh, I'm just wet. I just what? I... I just this one. This one took me by surprise, baby. Being on the air, I just. Uh... Wait, I'm crying, man. Your oh. name out your <laughs> Will Smith. Keep Lori Harvey's name out your mouth. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. <laughs> Will Smith just smacked the shit out of her. <laughs> Will Smith just smacked the shit out of her. <laughs> Will Smith just smacked the shit out of her. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of her. Something about the way that tattoo be lighting up with the little lights. You <laughs> so I like that. And the chat got me cracking up. I cannot. <clears throat> but the chat, this was very interesting. Um... I I don't even know what to take from I, I I don't know I don't know I just I really personally don't even have the energy I'm I'm just on some 2023 if you don't give a damn I don't give a fuck is is, is what I'm saying <laughs> don't give that's a damn. that's, a, that's hey. it I, I listen I ain't got time to be trying to figure shit out you know like um I'm one of them people I always try to understand where people coming from and you know I really be trying to see people point of view and. You know, even in my, my daily reflections, trying to just understand where people coming from. 2023, I don't give a fuck. I, I don't give a fuck where you're coming from. Don't, I, I don't care. Don't want to know. I just, I don't have the energy. Mm -mm. No, I wanted just to, saying, I just ain't what, doing it. I wanted, I wanted to, now that I think about excuse me, now that I think about it, that it's done. <laughs> the Discord, bye. Um, I wanted to tap into my inner Wally. Now that I'm done, I said I should have tapped into my inner Wally. Yeah, listen. No, Wally, Wally always got women calling in. So I'd be like, but ma'am, you can't say that. Ma but ma'am. Because I remember Wally was talking about R. Kelly and the woman was trying to call in to act like R. Kelly wasn't a predator. Wally said, but ma'am, he's a predator, ma'am. But ma'am. But ma'am, he's a predator. <laughs> But Listen, Wiley always give me my life. Wiley had me crying Man, laughing. Sir, don't hit the same. But you know what? I do need to start. I need to start when I disagree. But sir, but sir, which <laughs> I think that's what I'm about to start doing when I don't agree with the guy called. <laughs> Shout out to Wiley and this Mercury retrograde because Wiley been on one too. 
but sir, so what you saying is, but but sir, you can't <laughs> say, sir, <laughs> sir. <sighs> You gotta do it like uh uh what what was the movie back in the day the uh you can't handle the truth <laughs> Wait, which one was the um the one with um Tom no what <laughs> shit I, don't get me the line that that yo you know that movie but I just went where Wally be dis <laughs> be disagreeing with somebody he really he really don't be disrespectful but it just it be the way the ma'am's cause he be like but ma'am but ma but ma'am but ma'am and it be like damn. That should, that should be so funny to me. And sometimes people find disrespect and you calling a man, but it's like, ma'am, I'm calling you ma'am. <laughs> I get that from people, and it's just a habit for me. Like, some people I'll just call sir a ma'am, and they'll be like, don't don't call me ma'am. It's like, well, it's just a habit. Like, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, but now you feel disrespected. And so, shout out to the to the weird people out here. Shout out to, like, you know you know me. I'm always talking about elders and how I don't go back and forth with elders. I did come across one elder, though, this week that I I fuck her up. I I beat her motherfucking ass. You hear me? There's, there's some elders out here that be asking for it, and I, I don't advocate for them motherfuckers for a long time. But, but I came across I one the other day. Ma'am, I, I be beating her know. ass and calling her ma'am at the same time. Ma'am, stop fucking playing with me, bop. <laughs> stop playing, ma'am. Stop playing with me, bop. <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, <laughs> ma'am, sir, ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> sir. Oh my Sir, ma'am. This was a really good show. I didn't plan on being here this long. I really didn't. But the show got really good. I didn't get a chance to talk about Superhead. I didn't get a chance to get into Black Twitter, Black News. I didn't get a chance to get into any of that stuff. Dang. It was a lot, huh? And Wait, was this I, the first topic? Yeah. Ooh. Lori Harvey. We, I didn't get past it. I had a couple yeah, other topics dang. that I needed to get into. I wanted to talk about what's going on Netflix. Black Twitter, Superhead, and what's going on with her? Her karma. I call it her karma. What mm. Superhead is going through, Corinne Steffens, is her karma right now. Um, and I wanted to get into some other stuff as well. However, this was a topic that lasted. And, and because I knew, I saw it was a hot button topic. Everybody's everybody's calling Lori Harvey. I know you didn't anticipate uh, this swerve, though. This I, was I a whole, not. listen, this was a Hail Mary U-turn swerve. So, uh, yeah. It's a thing. It's a show, and sometimes you should be able to move past certain topics to get to your other topics. But I felt like mm -hmm. this. One, so this one is it's it's very late because when you talk yeah. about not like dealing with one man at a time, or okay, well you took a picture with one man this year. Don't deal with any other guys for the next three years, so that you you know. The, the conversation is so goddamn layered and nuanced and textured. Very, and, very, um, very. And people try to simplify it, and it's not that simple. Yeah, it's it's not was, simple at all. There was a lot to discuss, okay? Yeah, and so I, I, I can appreciate that... Um, you know, it just, it just, to me, it just, it just uh, speaks volume to the frustration of, of a lot of people. It does. And, and there are plenty I can, of and you know me, I had a conversation with you, you know, the other day when I hit you up, you know, just asking you, you know, your opinions about things in general, because uh, black women in general are, 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 uh, we have a habit of, we experience people uh, attempting to shut us out a lot or just dismiss or discount what we say. You know, mm -hmm. it's like people would rather focus on the passion or the anger or whatever emotion they want to attach to it in, 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 the, in your voice or what it is that you're saying instead of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. what, what, what you were saying was I'm offended and I'm truly hurt. Because I'm tired of black women being stomped on and kicked on. That that was what the fuck resonated with all the shit you said. And a person doesn't have to remember every single thing you said. A person doesn't have to play semantics. Just peep the energy. People keep trying to discount energy. I be telling people all the time, I peep energy. energy that, that's what's going to determine how the fuck I deal with people. Mm -hmm. Because that determines your intention. I'm very sensitive to energy. That's me. I exactly. Can't I was listening to a live early. I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off because I really told myself I'm going to talk about this, but fuck it. It's Friday. I'm going to say it. Y'all know the NC Beat is um, the NC Beat is this blogger page that it it put in a great amount of the initial work to the Shane Quella Robinson case. The NC Beat is ran or owned by Gerald Jackson. Well, he took on another story of a black 
the young black woman who lost her life. And he found an Instagram post or some pictures and slapped his logo on it. And a larger YouTuber, Martin Lewis, has like 342,000 subscribers. Wanted to spread awareness to said story. Her body was alleged excuse me, allegedly found in the car, all this other stuff. Gerald called himself striking Martin Lewis over a picture he claims was copyrighted, which really wasn't his copywritten picture. It was a picture he found on Instagram that he slapped his logo on and he struck Gerald. So Martin Lewis went live about it and was like, are you about justice of this black woman? Or are you about your ego? Because I just used a, a, a picture or whatever. And so the mother, because Gerald had interviewed the mother of said deceased young black woman. The mother contacted Gerald and said, hey, can you just let him leave the video up? This is helping bring justice to my daughter. He has a big following. We need as many people as possible to know about this. Gerald's like, no, da, da, da. Gerald goes live today and said the mother's being messy. I'm about to go live and he go live. I'm going to strike anybody channel. I copy, right? I get the numbers. I get the views. You might have three. It was just disgusting. It's like you've covered this, 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 this tragedy of this deceased young woman. And now here you are going live dragging the mother of the, this grieving parent. And I mean, just watching his live, he was just so, and I'm gonna strike anybody and I'm gonna strike and use my, just because I, and I slapped my logo on it and I didn't take the picture and, and I'm gonna strike you too. It's like, you don't care about justice for these black women and these black issues and these black things. It was, I mean, like his energy was so fucking raunchy. It affected me so negatively that I had to click off of that video because I just couldn't believe he was acting that way. Like you would have thought that Beyonce came and blew uh, Jay Z, <laughs> Jay Z, not Beyonce. Pick up what I'm putting down. You would have thought that Jay Z had came past and licked his asshole and blew some smoke up there, baby, because it, the, it was the it was the big headedness at eleven o'clock in the morning for me. And I'm a strike anybody you think and then he was talking about other people who had covered the story this other lady her name was lamp with no light bulb with a stiff wig she covered it but she ain't got my follow and i got this file it was this guy you're covering a tragedy bitch you're covering a woman that's dead and you're sitting here talking about the wig of another woman with the smaller platform who covered the same story who didn't steal your content that was the thing he brought her up because he just wanted to talk shit and drag somebody because kaya brought him on his panel once or twice and you talking shit about another black woman who covered a tragedy who's bringing awareness to and all you could do was talk about her wig and she didn't even use your content you just wanted to talk shit about black woman this woman light bulb with no lamp, lamp with no light bulb and her stiff wig. I'm going to send her a box of wigs. She what the fuck that got to do with whatever he was talking about? What's that got to do with any, nothing? Mm. I mean, it just, mm. it disgusted me. I'm so glad I didn't see that shit. Bad. Oh, shout out to the motherfuckers out here acting like they be giving a fuck. This is what I'm saying. People out here need to stop motherfucking lying. His energy, his energy, his energy, and you're supposed to be covering all these black issues. Families, are I hope that less, I hope that families become less inclined to go to him because it don't take much to make him flip. It well, I mean, if you already dealing with families looking for justice and shit like that, like I, I, I personally wouldn't want to be in a situation where I'm looking to this person to help advocate. You feel me? And bring awareness and, uh, you know. Uh, you already grieving and dealing with whatever emotions that come along with that with that experience, right? To have a person, um, you know, meet you with that level of hostility, and so, yeah, that would be my question. Like you say, intention, and of course, That's intention hard. versus impact, two different things. Sometimes what we intend don't always have the same impact. But if you're about a certain thing, like even when this whole Shan Shanquella thing came out and stuff like that. I was just happy to see a lot of people putting it out there. You feel me? And so 
amongst content creators, it, it, you know, it, it, some people start shuffling a little bit like, oh, I came up with this first and that. And, you know, people just get weird. And like you say, like we all have ego, you know, and we all have to be mindful to 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 keep that shit suppressed when needed. Right. Everything has a place. And that's not the place for ego if it's about awareness. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's unfortunate because even if the mom is asking, hey, keep this up. And you won't even oblige the parent. I mean, what what we doing here? You know, so that's unfortunate. You're, you're you know, I, I I only knew him because of the Shanquella thing or whatever. But you know, that's unfortunate to hear because if we about awareness, I, I I wouldn't give a fuck how 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 people find out if it's about awareness. You understand what I'm saying? Of course, you want to. You know, you you want to whatever whatever come with you. You know, y'all and y'all creative whatever whatever the fuck y'all call it the creative rights and all this shit. But didn't you just say he got a picture from somewhere else? Somewhere else and placed placed his logo on it. And so that's mm. that's you know that's the whole point to me. Oh Jesus, it was, it was so the, far. It was the big headedness for me. Is and I'm gonna yeah. strike anybody down. I'm I'm gonna have my and it's like you really don't give a fuck. Well, uh, um, just for the sake That's of clarity, very- what what will he be striking down? People that use that picture. Yes. <laughs> he yeah, like that time to be playing games with people. I to goddamn it. He said it's his copyrighted content because he put his logo on. Yeah, people he, don't even stop playing. He found people it on don't his stop playing out here. So. You know, anyway, you know, long story short, I said I only brought that up, and I I don't really be, I don't. Shout out to Uncle Stu for the $2 ball. Thank you so much. I don't talk about, like, YouTube as a whole bunch. Yeah, I, I, I know you, I know you. I'll give Wally his props. I go lie, because Wally be doing the goddamn thing. Okay. Listen, you know me. I'm all for encouraging Wally and the shits, man. Wally got me crying. Wally be doing the thing, but I don't, I don't talk a lot about YouTube. Yeah. I, I just don't. But I, I just understand. Don't, I felt like that was so disgusting, and even watching his energy because he opposed it. He said, "Oh, the mother want to get messy," and then he goes live and he said, "The exactly mother, what the said. fuck?" And all the mother <laughs> said was, "All the That's mother said was, hey, can you let him use this footage because it's giving my deceased daughter more, mm. um, you know, more visibility, more, more, wow. more comfort. And you know, and just say, for instance, if uh, like that." that- respectful and his mm. ego on that live earlier today oh my god it rubbed me the wrong way i went I yeah went back to my desk. i was sitting in the bathroom i go live i was sitting in the bathroom about 35 minutes watching but i went back to my desk and mm. um i just felt crabby his energy had rubbed off on me i'm sensitive to energy in that yeah, absolutely. way absolutely i'm consuming or absorbing someone's energy that's less than positive it does have an effect on me, and I really should have clicked off of the live earlier so that it no, I understood it affect me that way. But I was just curious right. to think as to where he was going with it, and for forty right. minutes, gloating about how he's the biggest thing, he can strike people, his lawyers, I'm the clout, y'all ain't clout, all of y'all in the comments are broke. I'm better than y'all. What, bro? What? I'm not see, I see. This a, that, they should have never gave these niggas money nor internet. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of people. Listen, 2023. Listen, goddamn it. Listen. See, this is what I'm saying, man. The shit is just annoying, right? We like, I don't know. Like my mom say, people either too far to the left or too far to the right. You know, like. You know, we all have to be mindful and 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 and, and, and strive for balance. You feel me? Live people yeah. with real stories. They are apprehensive about coming to black black media, black YouTubers. Anyway, if you're not like a mainstream mm. like that, uh, 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 what what Gerald and the NC Beat did earlier today, it makes it worse for us. That's yeah. why they don't trust us. They feel like anytime they come on YouTube with a black person, they finna get the okie doke. They feel mm-hmm. like they. Finna- that's, that's bullshit because he sits and he wants to advocate for the death of a young woman and then turn around and drag the mother because the, the mother just wanted more exposure for for, for this for the story or the mm-hmm. situation. He turns around and he's gagging and he's calling people broke and bald headed and stiff wig and bald. And mm. I just mm. I, I mean it it it. It after my spirit. I mean, up. shit. I, tell us how you really I, feel, but shit. I mean, up. it after my spirit up. But when I finally went on lunch break, because I just felt like I said I'm going home and I'm going to sleep. But I went on lunch break and the wind hit me because baby, it was windy over here in Maryland. I go mm-hmm. on lunch break. That wind hit me. That that wind woke me up right away. I said, "Girl, don't go to sleep. Go home and go go live." <laughs> right, something. right, right. And you know, the wind woke me up. Other than that, his his 
when when I'm intaking somebody that has a not so positive spirit, or they it's exhausting. It uh it 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 don't rub me the right way, and I'm I'm too much of an empath. I really shouldn't have sat and and intake this long as 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 I did, but I, I, mm-hmm. I did. Um, no, I, I find myself in those situations too, you know, online and 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 sometimes I I have to have a talk with myself, like okay, Jay, like you 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 know you you feeling like shit right now because you engaged in that a little bit too much. You should have been clicked the fuck off, you know. And that's the thing. And sometimes you and I mean we watch for different reasons, and it's understandable why you would watch to see where that was going. You, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like you was just watching for a mess. It was more of curiosity and just trying to understand something. Like you're trying to process the information. Because from what I've seen, like I said, with, with that particular person, I, I only came to know about that person from the whole Shanquella thing and uh the couple of the 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 one or two uh initial uh interviews and stuff like that or whatever it was that I saw the coverage. You know, it, it, it came from what I saw to be a sincere place and a place of concern, you know, for the parent and their experience and stuff like that. So I can imagine for many people, if that was their experience initially with this, you know, with this content creator and then fast forward to this experience, you know, what I'm saying that's that's definitely a conflict in the mind. So I can imagine that people are trying to process that like, damn, like what? OK, wait a minute. You're, you're, you're saying this, but you're doing that. And so, yeah, we know people out here don't really give a fuck, but sometimes it hits different when you see it in real time and you see it play out, you know? Yeah. But yeah, it, I, I I do find behavior like that disgusting. I, I find a lot of behavior uh, disgusting, it's, but shit, at least just be honest. You never get on your channel. You know, right. some people, that, like, that's their thing they get, but, but, but to cover a tragedy mm-hmm. of this woman's daughter, her child, who was deceased, and then to turn around and drag them on, like, just, uh, just, just, oh. I, um, I can even accept if a person say, hey, I'm I'm being petty as fuck right now. I mean, even though it's distasteful, you feel me? I, I can accept even a person acknowledging they trash ass behavior. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least I can process it a little better uh, versus a person who would try to rationalize uh, things that don't really make sense. To, to others or how they're coming off to other people as we saw a little earlier but yeah it's, it's a mess um tasha nicole's yeah. five dollars super chat says jane should do two men and a lady you will go ham you know i know that wally be holding his audition it sounds like wally has already chose who he is doing for that i wouldn't mind doing wally's two men and a lady to be completely honest with you i really love what wally does and, and what he's presenting um, but it, it seems like he's already chose people, but I, I really, I want to see, I want to see how it goes. I wouldn't mind filling in sometimes if the lady is, 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 is unavailable, but, um, I, I, I want to see how he puts it together first. And then honestly, I, I, I really wouldn't mind joining the platform. Can you tell me a little bit about it? I'm not sure. I've heard about it, but I don't know exactly what it, what it is. Wally's Two Men and a Lady is a specific series that he has where he literally has, you know, two men and one woman, one, you know, and a lady. And, um, you know, he it, it, it was a show that he had done previously. A Storm was on there. I can't remember who else he named that was on there. Uh, but, you know, they, they talk about current events and topics and things. Oh, okay, they just cover different topics. Mm-hmm. And okay, so gotcha. he was holding auditions. He wanted people to email him with the uh, oh. reel, or he wanted people to call him. That's why you see Miss Barbara calling in a lot. Miss Barbara was, you know, audition. And I heard Miss Barbara sure. say that. She need to go audition for the manosphere. But I know you was on that today because we was talking about it in this. Uh, Miss Barbara was like, yeah, and I called, you know, and I called in and I just want y'all to know Wally ain't choose me. And that, you know, so it, it, it seems like he didn't chose people. You know, but I really felt like the reason why I didn't want to send Wally an email and audition is because I, I didn't want to get it and cheat Miss Barbara because I felt like Miss Barbara was really trying. She she has. Girl, please, nobody don't care nothing about that. No, them. look, I felt like Miss Barbara deserved it because she. I'm biased. Me. I don't I give know, a fuck. I know a lot of people feel like Miss Barbara be doing the most. Girl, that girl. I, 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 if I, you I, only saw how she attacked me the I, other day, girl. I, 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 I felt like with Miss Barbara. Ain't nobody stung her with that. You is kind. You is smart. Right. Uh, little black girl. Rumpa pum pum. What I the fuck she was saying, man? Ain't nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But um, <laughs> no, I, I felt like Miss Barbara deserved a chance, and I felt like other people deserved a chance too. That's why it's like I don't mind filling in. You know what I mean? And but I, I want to see what he makes of it, and if 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 I don't mind filling in, but. Once I see it and he has another season, I might really feel like, you know what, I want this spot. But I'm, I'm going to see what he makes of it first. But I, I really wouldn't mind feeling it. I've called in the Bali show um, before, and I don't mind it. And it, it, it was really great. So anyway, I like Wally. Two men and a lady would be absolutely Well, amazing. yeah, he would definitely love to have you, I'm sure, uh, for whatever, yeah, you know, uh, about thing. It the other day. I, th- I don't know if somebody else brought me up, but he brought me up. He was like, I don't have Jane on oh. two I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I wouldn't mind that. People sent me the clips. Matter of fact, somebody told me in the Discord in real time when it was happening. Hold, hold on, sis, though, but Troll Farm, hold on. But what did you... Uh, uh, you took my rent, I took my membership. I said, Troll Farm Buggy, go to hell, child. Troll, troll Farm Buggy know what they were doing. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to mess up the... um. What was we doing? We was having game night. We was having trivia night. Trivia night. And we was doing trivia, and he won't come in the chat talking about Y'all go to Google and Google the answers. I said, let me delete his ass and take his. his oh yeah, it's time for him to go. He's, he's out of order. Cash that from my from my bank account, right? I'm giving away fifty dollars tonight, right? Over the course of the and you telling people to cheat to get it, bitch. No, <laughs> these people gonna earn any money by doing whatever. And it was just a sentiment. People could have thought on their own to go to Google, but it's just the fact that you want to sit here and try to derail this game like that, and I'm coming out of pocket. Oh hell. Uh, oh hell no! Um, Street TV says I mentioned Tasha Nicole. Be sure to visit Street TV. Yeah, y'all be sure to visit Street TV. To be honest with you all, the phone call, Tory Lanes, um, the jail phone call, the Kelsey recording, and all that other stuff, it's all available over on Street TV's platform. So make sure you go over there and check out Street TV. I've been over there a couple times. I need I need to not be in the bushes as much. I was in the bushes before Street TV started coming over here and looking over there like what's up? What's like what's up with this channel? But Street TV literally has his ears to the streets all the time. So um when it comes to the Tory and Mega Stallion court recordings and court proceedings and things of that nature, you definitely want to go over there and check out Street TV because they be on it. I mean and a lot of people understand at this point, um, and, and kudos to Nikki at night for having everything that she has, but Street TV was the one who helped make that possible for Nikki at night. And that's something that Nikki has actually said herself. Thanks, Street TV, for making this possible. So if you uh, if, if you want to have your ear to the streets as far as what's going on with... Um, with Meg the Stallion and any other cases, because Street TV be talking about a lot of different things. Um, make sure you subscribe over there as well and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. It's Hawks Baby Girl sent the five dollar super chat and says matching Street TV. Who's next? Okay. okay. And shout out to Street TV because they've been matching all like the super chats that's coming, uh, yeah. the super stickers and whatever. They they they've been matching everything. Yeah. Everybody is matching every and and it's really dope, especially on a you know this this show got really into it. <laughs> this Child, show got I really wasn't expecting that. I see, I I, I would have expected me to jump out the window, but you jumped out the window today. I'm just saying somebody got to stay inside. Everybody can't jump out the window at the same time. I'm just saying, but it is what it is. It was needed, sometimes and sometimes people have to young. feel, feel, feel. Uh, I'm laughing at some of these comments, but yeah, because, child, you know, I don't listen, think child. It's funny when other me. black women are being disrespected, but they are black women and they think it's funny. That's pick me behavior. It's like, oh, these, them black women are being disrespected and shit. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. And I'm sitting back here on my throne for whatever reason, desirability, light skin, whatever. Oh, I, I mean, like, no, that shit is not. That shit is not yeah. funny when you're assuming shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, no. I mean, you I, know, I'm it's not. always funny when it ain't when it when it ain't us, when it ain't our experience, and 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 that's the thing. Like, mm-hmm. we have to learn how to be mindful of others, and and I mean, I'm sure everybody can can relate on some level to not being as considerate of others' feelings when you know when when the shoe on the other foot. We just we just all have to learn how to empathize a little bit, uh, better. You know. Yeah, we do, and I I mean like just. You know, and, and, and the only thing is, if, if has somebody called up and been like, yep, she a hoe, and I think she a hoe, and that's the reason why, and just went on about their business, cool, but when you, 
All that doubling down and trying to rationalize. I ask you to elaborate on your standard. And you say, well, I be fucking as many or more people as her. But I'm not a hoe. And I don't want y'all to call me this certain name because I find this to be demeaning and degrading. And and I try to apply the same logic that you apply to her. You're not making sense. Had you came up here and not seemed or acted as fragile... Because that's what the fuck it was. <laughs> Some people call me Maybe that was style. a part of the joke. No? You think that was a part of the joke? I'm not doing no, with you. No, it, it, it was... It was I'm not. <laughs> so, when you don't want to be called a certain thing, but you're determined to call somebody else a certain thing, and both of them are degrading, and I'm letting you know that, you speaking on behalf of black men? Cool, I'm speaking on behalf of black women. Boom. Okay, so now you've let me know that you feel like the buck does stop somewhere, but you don't feel like your buck, you should have to stop what you're saying or doing, but other people have to do it to you. Fuck that. That's massage noir, and that's how that shit works. And that's on period point blank. Okay? It's about a line. Okay? Um, and that's that. But nonetheless, let me get off here. I need to eat, enjoy the rest of my evening. I enjoyed uh, you. I enjoyed the chat. Shout out to the chat. Uh, appreciate the support. Go. Don't forget to hit the like, share the vid, subscribe, etc., etc., etc. It's all. A period. Okay. Period. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and find me something either to watch on Netflix and or Netflix been popping though, right? Baby, oh, oh, let me name a couple girl, things. La, 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 if you want to name a couple things, give me. You can name a couple things. Let me name a couple things. Um, trial by media. It's 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 a series, and I've only I've honestly only watched one episode. I feel like the it's gonna be the the episode that sticks with me the most. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna watch the other ones. It's called Trial by Media. I should save this for tomorrow. But um no, nah, save it because you sound like you was really like into it. Like save it. It's called Trial by Media. Okay. It's called Trial by Media. Season one, episode one, though. I can't say watch the whole series because I ain't seen the whole series. I've seen one episode, season one, episode one, trial by media. Y'all. It's good. A lot of y'all might hear the name Jenny Jones and feel like that's some bullshit. Ain't nobody watched that. Baby, it was the beginning of reality TV, although it was under the guise of talk show TV, okay? If anybody hears Ricky Lake or Jenny Jones, the medium between Jenny Jones and Ricky Lake was Jenny Jones, okay? What happened was Jenny Jones kept trying to exploit gay people who weren't out the closet yet. They were trying to exploit a lot, to be honest with you. And like I said, it was the beginning of reality television. It just wasn't called reality television yet. What yeah, it was Jenny called was, was, it was talk show TV and blindsiding some of the guests, which gave you that realistic reaction, which is sure. kind of what Jenny Jones was. Uh, I'm sorry, which was kind of what Jerry Springer was. Long story short, Jenny Jones had this episode where they invited this guy on. They invited this guy on and said, somebody may have a crush on you. It could be a man. It could be a woman. Come to find out it was a man who was a friend of his, 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 his female neighbor who he knew of. They had been, you know, in, in like parties together, but this was a straight man. Mm -hmm. He comes on the Jenny Jones show and this gay guy comes out and basically is like, I got a crush on you. And this mm -hmm. guy was so humiliated. Four days later, he shoots and kills this man. Because yep, yep. he was embarrassed. Not only was he embarrassed, his family was embarrassed because his family was homophobic. Yeah. So the dead family, the guy who got shot dead tried to sue Jenny Jones and the family. And it was literally a trial by media. That's why it's called trial by media. Listen, Jenny Facebook, ain't never fully you know, recover. Jenny Jones actually took the stand and they showed the clips really Man, good. they told her ass up on the stand, honey. Uh, what else was it? I put it on Twitter earlier today. Y'all really need to make sure y'all follow me on Twitter if you have not already. Because there was there were three things that I've been watching on Netflix. Okay, here it is. Trial by Media. Season 1, Episode 1 is called Talk Show Murder. Bad Sports Season 1, Episode 1 is also really good. It's called Hoop Schemes. 
hoop schemes. It's about these black guys, really this main black guy, but he had got his homeboy into it too. And, you know, they don't really be paying these college athletes anything. They don't really pay them much of anything at all. So sometimes they end up doing odd things to make ends meet. And, and, and sometimes it comes at the expense of point shaving throwing the game an investor comes in your ear and says hey i'll give you twenty dollars to either not win this game or oh. to get a certain amount of less points because again keep in mind these college players a lot of times the whole college is funded based off of the sports department Facts. and so it's unfortunate and so with, with 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 hoop schemes you saw this guy he was so good black guy threw away his whole career because he got a couple of $20 payments to shave points. It didn't even always mean that he had to lose the game. Oh, wow. All it meant is that he had to get under a, he had to, he had to win by a certain amount of points. So it was like, he couldn't win by 12 points. He would mm -hmm. get $20,000 if he won by six points or less. So he was given a certain, because they, they bet like that. They don't always bet. And you said it was like 20 K. Yes, he got 20 points each time he did that. And then if he brought his homeboy into it too, who also played, mm. it helped because he had right, right, right. trying to... And so, so I'm, just so I'm clear, like uh, with him messing up his whole career, is it because it's against they rules and stuff and them the to accept? He got Wait. time in prison. Oh, okay. So what is that like gambling or something? What what yes. would be the word? Oh, yeah. okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. He gotcha. Got time. He got a whole, the, the main guy got a whole year in prison. I think he got like a year and a day. His homeboy got five years probation because he participated sometime because he went up to his homie and was just like, hey, I need you to help me out. We 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 can win the game. It's cool, but oh, we can't man. win by more than six points. And and and, and da, 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 da. Wow. It's called point shaving. Mm. And that's what they was doing to these 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 college kids. Fucked up his NBA draft. He he was about to be drafted to the NBA and shit. Mm. That's but by tough. the time he got caught, that the literally the FBI started investigating this shit. And, like Belize um, said in the chat, it's like insider trading. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, gotcha. So that was that. The shout out to Uncle Stu for the five dollars super chat and Street TV says imagine troll farm buggy. So that's another good one. And, and like I said, I haven't watched all of the season of Bad Sport. Bad Sport season one, episode one is called, called Hoop Schemes. It's good. Trial by Media season one, episode one, talk show media. The last one that I'm going to name is Don't Pick Up the Phone. Oh my God. I think it's like a three part docuseries. This docuseries is three, it's just three episodes, baby. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I saw a movie that was based on this girl. It's a girl. Okay, I'm going to ask you about la, 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 it later. La, la, la. I don't want to get sidetracked. I'm going to ask you about that later. But Don't Pick Up the Phone is about this creepy-ass guy, very creepy guy, who would call up to mainly McDonald's but other fast food places too, Arby's and shit like that. And he would call up and say things like, There's an employee in your store who stole money from a customer. Um, and so I need you to strip search them. I, I need you to search them and make sure that the money's not on them. And then by the time they searched them and they didn't find no money, right, in the office in a private area, he's like, okay, well, you need to make sure there's no drugs on them. Long story short, baby, he... They they really needed to call it the strip search caller, I would say, but it's called. Don't I sent you the phone. uh the name of the uh movie, but yeah, it's an older movie, and it was it was pretty. It was it's like a slow burn movie, but it's very interesting. See, because I didn't even realize that um, I don't even remember if I knew it was based on a true story. I think I think it does say it's based on a true story, but yeah, it was pretty interesting when I saw the ad on netflix for it. and i was like hmm that sound like that movie but yeah i sent it to you and i think that's exactly what that's about because the way shit just like escalated in that movie it was insane it's, it, it's almost like this can't even be real I, I know right it doesn't seem like it should be real a lot of oh people my like, god you know the adults should have definitely known better but when you're calling mcdonald's and, and the employees are like 14 15 16 years old some of them don't know them better and they just feel like they need to listen to authority and right. people feel like they idiots right they no it sounds insane but it's very believable 
they even had this one video where it was going on in the office of the McDonald's. There was there was camera footage, right? Although there was no audio, there was camera footage. They had to take off all her clothes, all her clothes. They took her car keys, okay? They took her car keys, all her clothes. All she had was a McDonald's apron, uh, strip searching her. Um, okay, take off your shoes, okay? Take off their shirt, search, make sure they don't have because they saying that she stole something and da 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 da. Mind you, it's not a real cop, but they, but they sounded like a real cop because they work in the corrections facility, which is what came out later on. And um, it got to the point where it got so vulgar. Okay, tell her to jump up and down. Okay, how are how how are her breasts moving? What do her breasts look like? What do her genitals look like? Right. Then it went from the manager of the McDonald's to well. Do you have somebody that you trust who can come in and finish this search? She called her fiance. Her fiance comes in there. He finishes the shit. The guy all the way. Now, mind you, he called a lot of different places. All of them didn't get as bad as the one that I'm explaining right now. But he tells this guy, okay, tell her to suck your dick. Tell her to give you some oral, right? Now, obviously, he didn't say it like that, right? He, he was moving in such a slow pace. Some of these calls were as long as three and a half, almost four hours. And so he felt so bad that he, after he got his dick sucked by her, he ran out of there, right? Mind you, he gets five years in prison, but the manager got one year probation. Now, he was doing this to a lot of different places, right? And so you imagine somebody, you you already butt naked, you're 15 years old, at your, at, at your employer, you think you being, you know, the police, uh, strip search, you know. They take all your clothes and they take your car keys. So even if you wanted to run out of that bitch, because you feel like this is bogus at this point, you ain't got no clothes and they took your car keys. So you finna run out there butt naked with no car keys where your keys at, where anything at, right? I get it. It sounds crazy, but here's how, although it sounds crazy and a lot of people feel like it's asinine and I feel like it's crazy too. I do. There was a woman who won a settlement. I think she sued him for 20 million, 20 or 200 million. I can't remember. I might be adding an extra zero on there. She won a $6 million settlement from McDonald's because this man had done this over 50 something times to McDonald's all across the country. And McDonald's never warned their different locations. Woo! Hey, a caller calling in and telling y'all that there's been a crime and the managers need to strip search the employees. They didn't do anything to warn their employees. This woman won her lawsuit against McDonald's and she won $6 million because of it. But this man called into so many different places. Long story short, I'm giving you a spoiler. They found him, right? Because they tracked it down because he was using, this was back in the day. This was literally, he was doing it from pay phones, but he was using phone minutes put it put an eight in the chat if you I remember cannot. when you could purchase the cards that had minutes on it so he thought he was anonymous and he was purchasing these cards that had the minutes on it and he was going to these pay phones so the the the, the feds across all these because he was calling ones all over the place i believe he was located in florida but he was calling ones in the middle of the country top of the country side of the country he was calling all over the place and they, they finally tracked him down. He worked in a seat uh, uh, as a correctional officer. They took his ass to court. Do you know that they didn't find him guilty for shit? And he was a he had five kids and a wife. And he had been calling. And they searched his home. They found the cards and everything like that. Sure, and he's hot, calling gosh. up to these McDonald's and these Arby's, getting his rocks off off of managers exerting their power and shit over these young girls, because it wasn't ever no men that he wanted to strip search. It was always a girl that they want. He would call with some vague description or the, the girl with the hat and the, you know, whatever. And having him, he was getting his rocks off, off of that. He was never held accountable for that shit. But McDonald's sure did have to pay $6 million for that shit. It was crazy. It's called Don't Pick Up the Phone on Netflix. Y'all need to watch it. Question, did you ever watch Girls Incarcerated? That one's an older documentary on Netflix, but um No, I watched Orgasm Inc., but not Girls Incarcerated. Okay, this one is about young girls getting locked up like juveniles and stuff like that. I, I wish they did a follow up. They did two seasons, but I wish they did another one. And then uh, what's another one I've been watching? I don't know if y'all if, do you watch sci fi fantasy? Uh I like The Witcher. I don't know if you've been watching that one. That one's pretty good. That's like sci-fi fantasy no, but and shit. Really good, 
Yeah, I thought you t did. You do a, a video on that on the members only, right? Mm -hmm. I was. Oh, okay. You didn't get to it. Okay. Well, I still have a couple episodes to finish with that. I'm kind of weird. If I really like a show, I won't finish all of it. Like, I know. I'll be waiting. Time because we don't know when we going to get another. Exactly. So I'm one of them where I be trying to save a shit. Wednesday reminds me of Jessica Jones a little bit, and you know we don't got no more Jessica Jones. Right, we right, right. We're even gonna get any more Jessica Jones, but she reminds me of her. So yeah, that one. Um, it's the Edgar Allan Poe uh movie they got on there now. What is it called? The 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 Blue Eyed Child or some shit. Hold on, let me see what this thing is. Let me look it up. I be mean, okay. The Pale Blue Eye. That it got like a little Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes kind of vibe or whatever, but it's a, a Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, it's based on one of his writings. Mm -hmm. Um, you know what's good? Insatiable. That's it's a dark comedy, but it's 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 pretty interesting. And you know, I've been tearing up Blacklist, child. I'm so sick of Red and Tim. I know, honey. I know, yeah. I know. I, 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 what you want? I'm done. I'm done. Blacklist, and I followed it, and they was getting on my nerves. But I still had to. I had to follow it through. So I, did you finish it? Did you follow it all the way through? Oh, yeah. that's why I don't be telling you. I can't. I don't know what to say to you. That's why I just let you talk to me about Girl, it. Girl, listen, child. It was, it's you it's know, I'm, I'm at. I'm at him and Mr. Kaplan, child. Look, Kaplan and her little bobble head self, honey. She is. She is fed up, honey. It definitely irritated me because I just. It, it was. It was. It was the same thing as manifest to me. I felt like y'all. Y'all <laughs> doing this. Right, 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 right. Doing, but I, I just need to finish it because I'm so invested in these goddamn characters that let me just finish it. But I can't yeah. front child. Red be wearing me out. I be like, okay, Red, what is it now? And don't get me started with Liz and whole bobblehead ass looking like a Chucky doll. Like Liz, Liz acts slow, but that's that's a whole nother child. Liz acts so goddamn slow. Uh, Tell me, I I don't but, understand. But... It's a lot of good stuff on Netflix. I even be watching little cooking shows. I think it's like Chef versus Snack or something like mm -hmm. that. It's they have a lot of cool really ones. Because the chefs be trying to they like they get they get these different challenges. Like imagine regardless of how good you are at cooking or baking, trying to go in the kitchen and making a Cheeto or making a gusher. Or you know what me and my little one watched that one day. Let me look it up. They was making like like almost like midnight snacks and stuff, or like if any snack, but it's difficult to snack. replicate. But they would, you know, and these are professional chefs, you know, having to make um, you know, try to trying to replicate these snacks, the Twinkies. Okay, it's called Snack oh. versus Chef. Okay. Yeah, snack versus chef. Um, that's really good to me as well. But yeah, I'd be fine. Another one. And here's what I'll say, because I, I really do got to go. I got to go eat and spend some time. I did not expect to be live for four and a half hours. But um, I mean, we didn't out. expect Gaston to show his ass. Knives but... Out is so good. First of all, I saw the original Knives Out a couple and of years ago. And I ain't seen ago. that one, so I'm a wait. Girl, watch it. It's a when we when you talk about murder mystery and Clue come to life, come to listen. Movie, I used to have Clue look, on VHS, honey. Look, it's watch the first knobs out because the second knobs out it, it could make sense without you watching the first one but it'll help you you'll more so understand this this the more recent one if you watch the first mm -hmm. one it's really good and the reason why the second one is really good is because we shouldn't get this excited over one black lady but god damn it i am okay janelle Monet, she did the damn thing okay Monet, you'll be i love her she's so beautiful girl america Take me to a place I like to go. That's someday. a sale. Hold on, wait. What just happened? Wait. Hold on. They're not the on. same. They're no. not the same person. That's a sale. A sale from UK. Bitch, hold up. Let me look it up. Because now you got me. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Estelle and Janamo name, bitch. I think you're right. Well, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hey, y'all know Jay having a hard time because, you know, she know her music. Oh, no, Jesus. American. Hold on. I'm at, take me on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, bitch, she looked totally different. Oh. American. She looked totally. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so there. Yes, wrong. Sunstar. I just watched the the prequel, um, Blood Origin. Like, I don't want to totally finish it. It's only like four episodes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. So. oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm so dead wrong. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. It's time to it's time to have a smoothie. It's time to yeah, have I a need to smoothie. Give a fuck a but no, <laughs> it's really good though. It's really good. Um, Janelle Monae does such an amazing job. Yeah, she's uh, awesome. As an actress. So when you see the first one is called Knives Out. The second one is 
like you can knives out is on like the cover of it but uh, uh it's called like glass onion or something like that right 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 it's it's your classic murder mystery and you really has you you really don't have a clue as to who did it you can guess i love those and i love a premature get because i'll premature i'll be seven minutes in girl i'm like, presumptuous as hell girl <laughs> Listen, y'all finna kill me, but anytime I see gingers on a movie, the ginger automatically did it. Him did it. It's the ginger. Him did it. It's really no, but okay, so it got that vibe like, uh, uh, what is it? The Orient Express or something. It, it, it looked like it had that same kind of vibe because that, that's a pretty good movie. Classic murder mystery, okay? And the first one is called Knives Out. The second one is called Glass Onion. Even though when you look at the cover of it, it'll say Glass Onion, but it'll also say Knives Out because it's the same. It's kind of like a part two to Knives Out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, watch the first one, then watch the second one. I'm telling you, you are going to be blown the hell away. The guy that be playing James Bond, the 007, the little mm -hmm, the, the mm -hmm. white British guy or whatever his case Ooh, is. Oh, Daniel Craig? Baby, I don't know names. Don't get me to fucking Okay, 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 okay. Uh, but Janelle Monae is in there, and it is just, it's amazing. I, I, I just couldn't believe how much I was into it, especially. She's a very charismatic type individual I anyway, myself, so I can imagine. I call myself just watching it, because Leo father on the couch. I'm like, oh, what the hell he didn't put on? And then when I got it, I said, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> hit pause. Hit pause. <laughs> Don't be watching. You know, it's really good. It's really good. So, okay, okay. I'm going to drop down, and I'll let you close out. Um, I enjoyed you. I enjoyed the chat. Y'all be well, and I shall catch y'all again. Toodles. All right. So let's go ahead and get on out of here, baby. We've been here way longer than we ever thought we would, child. Oh, my goodness. Baby, I never thought I was going to be here this long. But, you know, it's Friday. We still got our little Friday show, and I thought I was only going to be here for two hours, maybe two and a half. And here we are, four and a half hours into it. It is what it is. Listen, I love y'all so much. Um, I hope that your mental health is taken care of. I hope that your invisible problems have at least been considered by you. I got to get out of here, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry. It's midnight. I ain't ate nothing else today. Okay. Is it my in the chat trying to get me to sing Estelle? Mm -mm. See, I can sing in the moment, but when I go back and I try to sing, I'm not good at it. Take me on a... Mm -mm. Here's what I will sing. Taina, Taina. No, I can't wait to see my name in lights. No one's gonna... I can't even say. No one's gonna stop me, you see. I will go far. <laughs> Somebody had tagged me on Instagram, right? That was... that was I, I had sang that. And I think, I think it was like Christmas... I think it was like the Christmas party that I did. And, and I was singing that just on some joking shit. And I opened up my damn Instagram app and somebody had recorded it and put me on Instagram. So I had reposted it in, in my stories because I didn't think nobody remembered some of them Nick Jr. shows like Cousin Skeeter and Tyena and all that other stuff. I didn't think that anybody remembered any of that stuff. But somebody did, and somebody resonated. No, I can't wait to see my name in lights. No one's gonna stop me. You will see. I will. Good night. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm all of those things. <laughs> so please don't take any of this goofy shit to heart, because, baby, I'm tired. I'm tired. And it's time to go. We will be back tomorrow to talk about some other things. I'll have to edit the title. But I love y'all. Okay? Okay. <laughs> anyway uh-uh that's somebody in the chat it's morning and we slept the night away it happened now we can turn back the hands of time. Y'all see the way my hands spread? This means I mean what I'm saying. All right. Goodbye, you guys. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>
<laughs> what did Kelly Price say next? Hold up. Now, now I just want to challenge myself to remember the lyrics. What's the next words? They said, oh, since you're doing requests. Because tonight is the night and I'm feeling all right. What's the words to that Kelly Price song? No, because at this point, I need to know. Kelly Price. Where the lyrics? I just, I, I just want to glance at them real quick. That's all I want. It happened. And now we can't turn back the hands of time. Yes, we've stolen this moment. <laughs> Bye. Bye, you guys. We both belong to someone else. As we slept the night away, as we lay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we forgot about tomorrow as we lay. <laughs> as we lay. We didn't think about the price we'd have to pay. No, 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 no. All right, bye, y'all. It's morning. Now it's time for us to say goodbye. Goodbye, baby. You're leaving me. I know you got the hurry huh, to face you. Why? Excuse me. <laughs> I would never, never want to hurt her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she would never. Understand. You belong to me for just night. How dare she get so possessive over somebody else's man? How do you belong to me for one night? As we slept the night away. All right, but y'all know when I get tired, I get a little, and, and then when I get hungry, please. <laughs> oh. All right, now. Let me go and get up out of here. As we lay, we forgot about the price we had to pay. Mm -hmm. We should have counted up the cost, but instead we got lost in the second, every minute, in the hours, as we lay. Bye, y'all, because it's, it's, really, it's, it's really time for me to go. I'm tripping. It's okay. <laughs> Hello, Barbara. This is Shirley. Me and that man was laid up last night. Hand him over. Turn him loose. Turn him loose to me. Barbara. Period. <laughs> you should have counted up the cost. Please, please, everyone. <sighs> All right, everyone, I've got to go. I do want to stay and I do want to clown with y'all a little bit, but I got to go. Anybody else want to name an old school song real quick? Because I, 
What else, what's going on? Don't put keep it on the down low because you know that's got little Robert in it, and I can't be singing that. What's going on? Oh, all right, y'all ain't y'all y'all so y'all not ready for my vocals. That's what I'm saying in the chat. Y'all not ready? Okay. Yeah. What's going on? Make it last forever. Mm -hmm. Don't let our love. Let me pull up them lyrics. Hold on. Ooh, ah, ah. Right, I'm done. <clears throat> I've been bringing up Keith Sweat. Where the lyrics go? Because I really should not be on here clowning. I really should. I really need to end the video and I need to hang up on y'all. I need to hang up on y'all right now. But at this point, we just sitting here clowning. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. The lyrics look corny. The lyrics look cornier than the song comes off. Okay. Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a strip. Somebody says somebody stop her. Ain't nobody ain't, ain't no stopping me. Uncle Stu said it's late. Go get you something to eat. You're right. You're right. Let me hear you tell me you love me. Let me hear you say you'll never leave me, baby. Until the morning light. Um. All right. That song's not as um as cool. Let me see what Donnell Jones got popping. And then I'm gonna go. Donnell Jones. Mm, he got he he got a couple songs I like. Hold on, what they saying in the Discord? Child, they probably in the Discord saying Jane Girl in this live. Not I made it to the shade room. <laughs> not me on the shade room, yo. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars super chat. Wait a minute, not me on the shade room. <laughs> this is why y'all need to follow me on Twitter because bitch, when I tell you, I'd have been posted by the neighborhood talk. I'd have been posted by the shade room. I'd have been posted by what's the say cheese digital media or something like that. <laughs> When I tell y'all I'm funny, I mean what I'm saying. I'm funny, and my finger is always on the pulse. I wanted to get to these subjects today, but we got we 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 got caught up with Lori uh, Lori Harvey being labeled a hoe instead. <laughs> I really think that Tay Diggs and April Jones. I felt like. They I felt like they was a cute couple. I really did. <laughs> and so them unfollowing one another on the ground. <laughs> I felt like, damn, not they might have broken up. <laughs> Baby, not the shaver. <laughs> Because I'm sorry, I, I every now and then I toot my horn, not too often, not too often. But sometimes, like, bitch, I'm funny, and I'm definitely funny on Twitter. I'm funny in general, especially if you're in a deadpan type of humor, and especially if you read my facial expression. But I'm really fucking funny on Twitter. I really am. I'm like, I just, I, this is why I'm on the, the committee of the Black Twitter board. You know, when we make decisions about what's going to fly and what's not going to fly in Black Twitter, I'm always into those conversations. Like, I am. I am a decision maker when it comes to Black Twitter and what, what the delegation be doing. <laughs> Not the shade room posting, your girl. If y'all don't, if y'all, if y'all was looking for a reason to follow me on Twitter, bitch, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> uh, 
follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. All right. <clears throat> now that some of my credibility has been um, validated, okay. Let me see what these lyrics hitting on. Can I can I hit all the notes in this song? And should I sing it? Hmm. Donnell Jones. What's some of his top hits? What's some of his top hits? Donnell Jones. I might I might sing a song for y'all. You know what's up, God. You know what's up. Where I want to be. You know that I love you. Hey, uh, uh. And that ain't going to change. What else? Where I want to be. All right, I can't, clearly. I, I can't even keep a note straight. I've been talking for too long. I've been talking for four and a half hours, I'm not going to be able to hit a straight no. But you know what? I might be able to do where I want to be. Let me go ahead and try that. See, the Discord is like, you making me laugh, sing, but also go to bed. So, like, y'all confusing me. Should I, should I click off? Where I want to be. <clears throat> Are y'all going to sing along with me? Because I feel better. If y'all gonna sing along with me and I won't sound as bad. So just let me know if y'all gonna sing along with me in y'all house. I just left my baby girl and I'm missing her. I can't. Hold on. I feel like I'm gonna sound a mess. Do I'm gonna sound a mess. Is anybody gonna sing with me? I need to know y'all gonna sing with me before I continue. And that's on period. What's I should say? <laughs> Sweet little diddy diddy. I don't mean to hurt you, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Never did I imagine that you would play a major part on a decision that's so hard. Do I leave? Do I stay? Do I go? I think about my life and what matters to me the most. Because the love that we share is real. But in time, your heart will heal. I'm not saying I'm gone, but I <laughs> got to find what life is like. Without you, but when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. How do I feel so sad? Now that I'm, mm, okay. And see, this is how I know you don't really fuck with me. This is how I know you really don't give a fuck about me. I do not have enough energy for another two hours, baby. This is goofy, sleepy energy, okay. <laughs> and you talk about another now if I stay up here for another two hours I'm really going to embarrass myself so you just need to stop it <laughs> you need to stop it child I know I sound a mess so I just I, I don't what's really going on <laughs> Barbara this is Cheryl <laughs> Sweet little diddy diddy, I don't need to hurt you, baby. They want me to sing "Beauty" by Drill Hill. Let me look at the lyrics and see if I really got got that in me. I, 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 just, I just, I'm just, I'm gonna just look. I can't make no promises. Let me just look. I gotta look over the lyrics to see if these notes are low enough for me to hit because I can't hit anything. Hmm. 
Let me see what's going on. Let me see what is going on. Yeah. What is going on? Um, if I can find an instrumental, then I'll do it. If I ain't gonna let me see. D -D. Karaoke. On every vacation at a verbal home, there's Girl, someone we, like we you. Don't, but we don't care about that, though. Oh, I got it on two times speed. Hold on. Y'all got me on here clowning, and I really should be going to bed. If y'all was my real friends, y'all would say, Jane, in this fight. But I'm on here clowning instead. I'm on here clowning instead. Y'all ain't no real friends. Y'all ain't no real friends. <laughs> Except my fiance used to sing beauty to me all the time. And that's on period because it's an amazing song. How did we get here? Okay. All right, let's see. Let's go back. Sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. It didn't start yet. My bad. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad, y'all. Oh. Hold on. All right. Sorry, didn't notice you then, but again, you didn't notice me. So we'll remain passers by until the next time we speak. I hope that I can make you mine for another man steals your heart. And once your beauty is mine, I swear we will never be. All right, I can't. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. I feel like my voice is shot, and I can't do anything that's even remotely decent. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. And this was cool. And I really played with y'all for a long time, and y'all played with me, making me think that I really had what it took, but I really didn't. Okay. I really didn't. So I'm gonna be it. They said, how did you get here by Deborah Cox? <gasps> I promise this is going to be the last one. I promise you. I promise you. Because I will do that. Because we had a remix when we was in school for it. I don't even need no music for this one. <clears throat> the remix for Deborah Cox was when we was in school. It was. <laughs> it was us actually answering Deborah Cox questions. And it was like. How did you get here? Bitch, I caught the bus. Nobody's supposed to be here. Bitch, I came to fuck. I tried this love thing for the last time. My heart says no, no. Bitch, my dick says yes. Nobody's supposed to be here. Let me grab your chest. And that was a remix. And on that note, I'm out. I love y'all so much. I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go. Okay. Shout out to the shade room for reposting your girl. Um... And I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. 
and I've got some things that that was the remix that we had in school. I ain't gonna hold y'all. It really was. It was the same thing as oh, what's the other remix we had to a popular song. It was something about I Believe I Can Fly. And obviously, we didn't know about Robert yet. I believe I can fly. All I, wasn't wanted, all I wanted was a chicken wing and a little bit of collard greens or something like that. Just childish ass fucking remixes that we would make to the... Um... <laughs> Just childish ass. I'm trying to remember what... Chicken wing, collard greens... And it was the it was it was it was the I believe I could fly thing. I can't remember how the fuck that song went. All I wanted was a chicken wing and a little bit of collard greens. Yeah, we was really fucking childish when we was in school. We really was. So <laughs> got shot by the FBI. Yes, yes, yes. Who put that in the chat? Yes, yes. That's that was the song. I, I got shot by the FBI. Was definitely one of the ones. <laughs> I believe I can fly. I got shot by the FBI. All I wanted was some chicken wings and a little bit of collard greens. Yes, we had some dumbass fucking remixes when we was in school. We was dumb. We was dumb. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I don't want no pigeons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what was going on. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, we was childish as fuck. But keep in mind, this was elementary, middle, beginning of high school. But it was it was a thing. But when Deborah Cox came out talking about how did you get here, we definitely made up answers to that shit. How did you get here? Bitch, I caught the bus. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I have been on here way too long. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm hungry, I'm delusional, and I love you all. Y'all say beautiful, black, and blessed until the next video. This was bananas. It was bizarre. If you know anybody that wants to debate about if Laurie Harvey is or is not a hoe, make sure you send this video to someone. And I'm pretty sure they'll get a key key out of it, even if they don't agree with me. Hell, they might agree with the guy who was up here, uh, Gadsden's world, okay? I love you all. I'm gonna go eat, enjoy my night, see if I can find anything on Netflix. Bye. But that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen, or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there. Bitch! Bitch, what the fuck you say, bitch? Oh. Uh, uh.